ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, uh, welcome in, guys. Uh, hello. How's it going? Uh, today, what we're doing is uh, we're playing Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, it's, uh, I'm, I'm super excited for this game. <laughs> we're playing Tears of the Kingdom today. Um, it's the first time the game has come out, and I have been stoked ever since they announced it. I'm, I'm so excited, dude. I, I literally can't wait. I mean, literally, I already have it loaded up and everything. Um, wait, let me... Oh, oh, what? Wait for it? Uh, I got some fun things for you guys, too. Um, ah, there it is. There it is. Tears of the Kingdom. It's on my Switch. Oh my God. Uh, so yeah, so today, what we're doing uh, is uh, we're just playing through Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, that's the whole thing. Uh, and I'm super stoked for it because I don't know if you guys know, but I have 3,000, 4,000 hours in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> so I feel like if you were to watch this um, hey, you're going to get all of the enjoyment from someone who enjoyed Breath of the Wild itself. So, uh, I, I cannot wait. I've seen, uh, absolutely no spoilers for this game too. Um, I, I literally like unplugged my internet yesterday. So, uh, the way this is going to work is first off, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already to the channel, because I will be streaming Tears of the Kingdom for like eight to 10 hours today. 8 to 10 hours tomorrow, 8 to 10 hours the next day until I finish the playthrough. Um, and not only that, but hey, I know some of you guys are either VOD, VOD frogs, right? You're not watching live right now, or, um, you know, maybe you prefer the edited video content. So what uh, we are doing today is literally, like, literally while I'm live right now, um, I have uh, four of my editors. Um, well, actually, I, I, yeah, I have four editors right now editing the stream while I'm live. So then later tonight, you guys can watch the edited video of Tears of the Kingdom. Um, so that's going to be kind of crazy. Um, I hope you guys are excited. Um, and uh, that's that's what we're doing, you know? That's what we're doing. Uh, so subscribe uh, and check out the video when it's live. Um, let me uh, do a thing right here and let me at everyone on my uh on my discord really quick discord.gg slash point um i don't at everyone ever but i feel like i feel like today is a special occasion tears of the kingdoms coming out so my god cool uh and then let me uh tweet out look look at this <laughs> wait look at this it's so cute <laughs> Uh, Abby, literally, uh, if you guys don't know, Abby is my manager, uh, for the entire company. Um, and she was like, good luck today. And she sent me this, uh, uh, little picture of, of, of Link, a Korok, and a meat arrow. <laughs> so, uh, that's, that's pretty exciting. So, hey, go like the tweet as well. Um, anyways, uh, I, dude, I'm so stoked for this. All right, cool. Uh, I guess like... But we can start. Uh, there's one last thing I want to say is uh, that TTS, uh, text to speech is off. So if you super chat, it won't like read it out loud. Um, I'm doing that specifically because I don't want any spoilers. So before, right before we get into this, right? I want to I wanna mention uh, the last thing is uh, I don't want to see any spoilers for anything in chat. Uh, like, at, like whatsoever at all. It, it, you're ruining um, everything for everybody else. And uh, we just all want to like uh, chill. Um, so just, uh, before we get into it, just FYI, no spoilers in chat. My mods are here to bop any of them. No joke spoilers either. You're not being like, oh, spoiler alert. Link is in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. It's not funny either. Um, just want to give that a little FYI. So, uh, uh, TTS is off. Um, and, uh, yeah. All right, cool. Um, let's, let's get into it, dude. <laughs> All right, Tears of the Kingdom. Dude, I got, I got 3,000, 4,000 hours in Breath of the Wild alone, let alone any other Zelda game. Um, so, um, let's see what this is all about. I'm, dude, I've been waiting for this for ages. Here we go. I haven't even opened the game for, like, sound balancing yet. <laughs> oh. Crackle. Sorry. Sorry, that's the capture card. <laughs> Wait, I gotta reload that. <laughs> Great start! Great start, everyone. Let's go! <laughs> Alright, there we go. 
Um, Here we go. That's better. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I don't want to do midnight launch because I want I want here we go. Nintendo presents. Okay. The Legend of Zelda. Oh, dude, the heartbeat. The heartbeat. Tears of the kingdom. Okay. Who's walking? <laughs> it's here! Okay, sorry. All right, this is so cool. Oh, it's Lincoln Zelda. Whoa. This strange gloom keeps getting thicker. God, this game is so pretty already. Oh my God. We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? <laughs> oh, that's Zelda. <laughs> right, keep in mind, like, this is... Like... Oh, oh, we're just... Star what? We're just starting. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Beneath Hyrule Castle. Oh, my God. We're just literally starting. What the hell is this? I mean, this is... Keep in mind, like, this is, like, they, they, the, the whole Sheikah, uh, civilization and everything, um, we had to, like, dig up all of the divine beasts and everything. So, what could be further down here? Like, that's where we found the guardians and everything in Hyrule. People have been falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. We'll keep going with it coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. Remember, the reason we claim it again and spawn from beneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you. That's what we Link. knew in, yeah, that's what we knew in Let's Breath of the Wild. Let's solve this mystery. Yeah, let's solve it, dude. That's what we knew in Breath of the Wild. Claim again and spawn from beneath Hyrule Castle. Um, but we defeated Claim again in, in Breath of the Wild. Dude, this music's creepy, dude. Uh, this is such a cool start, too. I wasn't expecting, like, a trailing, like... With Zelda as an NPC, this is just so cool, dude. Oh, my God. I'm so excited for this, dude. I'm so excited. I love the Legend of Zelda games. Uh, they Ever since I was young, it, it was one of the first games I've ever played with anybody ever. Um, it was Majora's Mask with my cousin, and I fell in love with the series ever since then. I'm so glad I could be streaming this for you guys. I never imagined this was all deep beneath Hyrule Castle. Oh, are we going first? Oh, what the? Oh. Huh? The sword started glowing. Link! Master Sword. Oh, <laughs> it must be sensing something. It's Fi from Skyward Sword inside of the Master Sword. I knew we had a reason for concern. Ever since the end of the Calamity, the castle has fallen into neglect. But I never could have imagined anything like the tunnels we're hiding here. No, oh, sorry. But I could. Uh, I never could have imagined anything like these tunnels we're hiding here. We must be careful as we move deeper. We have so many hearts. I just realized this. <laughs> we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We have thirty hearts. What's going on? <laughs> What's our Okay, we I can't see anything else here. Um, but basic controls is kind of cool. All right. What is in here? Oh, this is creepy. <laughs> I hope this has like Majora's mask vibes. We're like Ocarina of Time is Breath of the Wild and Majora's Mask is Tears of the Kingdom. That would be amazing. Oh, some ruins right here. What's going on? What's this? 
These are ruins from an ancient civilization. Wait, something is written here. Might these ruins be from the Zonai? Now, keep in mind the Zonai um, in Breath of the Wild, right? Um, in Farron Woods, you would be able to see this, this giant ruined civilization, older than that of the Sheikah, called the Zonai. They worshipped dragons. And it looks like we're getting a deeper look at them. These carvings. I'm sure they're Zonai in origin. I've seen designs like this in my study. The Zonai are said to have lived long ago in the time of the earliest legend. Oh, she's taking pictures. <laughs> That's what that is. They, uh, they possessed godlike powers and had a uh, they possessed godlike powers and had a prosperous civilization in the sky. <sighs> Many history books tell us about the Zonai, but none give us the full picture. Much is still unknown about them. Also, small detail here. Small detail. Um, the Sheikah Slate's now a Switch. <laughs> it's not a Wii U anymore. It's a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> okay, anyways. It's a, it's a small, small thing, small things. Yeah, wow. Dude, the music in this too is just uh, phenomenal. I mean, like the ambiance. What the hell is that? Oh, that that's so creepy. Is this what the Zonai looked like? They seem so different than us. And such large ears. How did the ruins from a civilization in the sky end up here beneath the castle? It looks like the path ahead goes even deeper. Let's continue, Link. Now, I have some theories about this, but I don't want to share them yet. Um, just in case I'm actually right. Uh, let's discover this together. I mean, hell, you can check one of the YouTube shorts for my genuine theory of what I thought this game was before entering it. But what is this? Oh, this is crazy. And it's just the soundtrack makes it so creepy. What is this? Dude, what are we going to find? What's in these caverns? Oh, it's a keys. Hello. Hi, keys. Oh, nice. Oh, he's too good at the game. Thank you very much. You are not hurt, are you? <laughs> I one shot them. <laughs> yeah. You know, too good at the game. What can I say? First enemy is like... <laughs> Oh. Look at these murals. They look like the tapestry from Breath of the Wild. <laughs> but older. The written histories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. That's from Skyward Sword! <laughs> the Demon King. Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? Are we discovering the <laughs> oldest? Oh my God, dude. The <sighs> oldest lore in Zelda history. This is similar to the statues we saw earlier. A Zonai. And these figures look like Hylians. And the Zonai were gods to the Hylians, looks like. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. Dude, I think this connects to Skyward Sword. It is said that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. Oh, this might be even older. These murals tell a similar story. And if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish... The kingdom of Hyrule. This figure, he seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. Ooh, that's Ganondorf, dude. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. And then this, it shows the Demon King. And the Demon King seems to be different. And a fierce battle against him. Oh my god. <clears throat> If the creature depicted here really does represent the Demon King, I, then... This might be Demise from... I know, that's my... Oh. Skyward Sword. I'm so... I can't wait to find out what this is. Incredible. This is insane. 
This mural must be the Great War recorded in the royal histories. This is the imprisoning war and the events that led up to it. <laughs> Link, this is a huge discovery. 10,000 years ago. That's when this takes that's that's when this took place. All right then. Now to yeah. use this invention of Pura. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. <laughs> It's so easy to record. You point it and click. Oh. Huh? Oh, it looks like the rest of the mirrors are obscured. Just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link. Let's keep moving deeper. Oh, you see, like, some malice right there, too. It's getting... The, the Whatever sickness fog that you saw is getting even deeper. Do I have bombs? No, I don't have bombs. Okay, I don't have the... <laughs> oh, Link doesn't have uh, the Sheikah Slate any longer. That makes sense. Okay, cool. Wow. Dude, we're already bombarded with a lot of story at the beginning of this, and it just makes me so excited to explore everything else. I am in, in awe. The game looks beautiful. The the, the ambiance. The music. I I can't wait to figure out what, what this is. Yeah, why is it so thick down here? <laughs> Dude. All right, Zelda, you could walk a little faster. I'm not going to lie. If you wanted to, like, you a little pip in your step, if you will, you know? You want some coffee? I got some for you. I'm just, I'm too excited, man. Like, this game is my life, man. I'm telling you. I mean, hell, I got to get the coolest job in the world. Uh, because a lot of you guys ended up liking my streams of Breath of the Wild. Oh, it's getting louder. So, it's just like, I mean, the Legend of Zelda series is something I hold so close to my heart. So, just being able to, like, share this with all of you oh dude what's going to happen it's like anxiety inducing how's the sound guys good bad what is that what is that oh my god that green light in the distance. Having the strangest sensation. This is all so ominous. Oh, I don't have a good feeling about this, Zelda. I don't think we're in Hyrule anymore. What is this place? Let's continue, Link, but we must be extremely careful. What is that? Oh, 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 God. Uh, that's not good. That doesn't seem very good. I wonder why. Like, Oh my god! Yeah! Let's go, Link! Oh my god! Look at the Master Sword! Oh! Or Look at what was the Master Sword. <laughs> the darkness a blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me Zelda you who carries that fragile sword a link Raru placed his faith in you Raru? 
And that was all you could do. How do you know our names? Oh no! This is right beneath Hyrule Castle too. Lifting up Hyrule Castle with his powers? Oh my god! And Zelda study it he is, he literally is. Link's arm. <laughs> Zelda. <gasps> Wait, she. What happened? Where? Where'd she? What is that? Oh, that's so. Just a disembodied hand lifts you up out of the ground. What do you do? What is... What's falling from the sky? They really started this, this game off with a bang. Wow. Those are the uh, people from Kakarika Village. Uh, it seems like they're rebuilding a civilization on top of a hill. We're going to see, I guess, uh, Hyrule a couple years later after Breath of the Wild. I don't know how far in the future this takes place, but wow, dude, what a, what an intro. I, I It hooks you, dude. That's like, it's just kind of like, hey, you liked the game before? You're going to love it now. Wow. Oh, wait, whatever that disembodied hand was has become Link's new arm? Whoa, that looks so cool. Dude, someone's got to get a tattoo of that. You know someone's going to. Oh? <laughs> Link, finally you wake. For you. I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Z Zelda knows you? Is this, are you, Ra you're not Raru. Your wounds you? were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. That means twice, right? The first time was the beginning of Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. Okay, so it did replace the arm. Wow. Where are we? Oh, the Master Sword, dude. Oh, the Master Sword. It doesn't... It's a little worse for wear right now. Whoa! Okay, this is... Yeah, so it's sapped off all of our health. Um, and... Well... Took off our arm. <laughs> and it looks like the Master Sword, too. Wow, dude, this is... We are not in a good spot right now. That's a badass arm, though. Oh, God. Oh, whoa. The Decayed Master Sword. The sword that seals the darkness. Its sacred power has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom beneath Hyrule Castle. That was such a sad, like, you've got the Master Sword. Oh, God. What happened to Fi? So Fi is the spirit that lives in the Master Sword. Uh, we know that's because of Skyward Sword. Um, but what, what happened to Fi? Uh, use weapon with Y. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, didn't we already technically know that from the keys? 
Um, oh god, that's such a sad. Oh, dude, look at look at it on his on his back. Oh god. Can we do this? Oh, we can't. We can't. Okay. Uh, chat. How's the uh, sound, by the way? Is it too loud? Is it too soft? I just want to double check. Good. Okay. Thanks, chat. Appreciate you guys. Uh, thanks for the memberships uh, as well. Uh, I wanna, I wanna. Before we continue, I just wanna say thank you so much for the uh, the, the memberships. Sorry that I'm not reading too much of uh, chat or uh, uh, the uh, super chats and, and donors and everything, but I do wanna let you know that I appreciate that you guys are here and watching and enjoying the playthrough. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, of course. Um, but wow, dude, this is. Uh, we're playing Tears of the Kingdom. We're playing Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, you can still do that too. I wonder. I wonder what you can and can't do from Breath of the Wild. We're gonna have, dude, dude. The speedrunner in me, right, before we continue, the speedrunner in me just wants to figure out all of the little intricacies and glitches that we can do so we can, like, like beat the game in, like, weird ways. This is going to be a great playthrough. I'm just telling you, I'm, I'm going to be testing to see if anything still works from Breath of the Wild. It's, this, it's the same physics engine, so. Whoa. Hello? These aren't the, the Sheikah symbols that we saw before. This seems to be like the Zonai ones. It's a new language. Okay. What's happening? <gasps> Look, it's a it's a symbol from the very beginning of the game. Oh my god! Wait, uh, we gotta we got there's a lot happening here. Is this like the beginning of a? What's going on? Yeah, it's, it, this is literally, it's th literally the, the snakes eating them, like, the snakes eating their own tails, or I guess they're not eating their own tails here, but the double Ouroboros, I mean, you can literally see from the, uh, from the, the, um, the logo of the game. This is what it is. Also this up here, we started something functioning. Okay, let's check it out a little bit more. Um, some gears here and everything. Dude, this is, this is so cool. Uh, can we get up there though? Um, doesn't seem like as of now. So we'll, we'll continue on. Wow. What's over here? Um, A to jump. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could have just done that. My, I could have just done that myself. <laughs> um, I guess, I guess this is like a jumping platform though. Where, like, if you see this in the world, you can jump from it. Otherwise, you can just X with X to dive. Okay, interesting. Um, can I still whistle? This, wait, okay. Does whistle sprinting still work? Now, if you don't know, this is a glitch from Breath of the Wild. Uh, where you can actually run at 80% the speed of running, but also still gain your stamina. It does not! They patched it out. They patched it out. You can't, okay, you can't whistle sprint any longer. Okay. Sag, that was actually like a really, that was actually like a really nice glitch. <laughs> all right. All right. Good to know. Good to know. I'm just testing. Just testing this out. Okay. You know, just, I, I, it's going to be a, it's going to be a fun playthrough. Let's just put it out there. All right. I just want to, I want to test out to see if uh, things are good. Seems like shallow water. I, you know, it's, it's, it's I just, I just feel like playing with the game. Oh, what the hell? Whoa. Landing water even from great height will prevent you from taking fall damage. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel like I gotta treat this as a uh, its own its own thing. What is this? Okay. It's a new new chest. What? <laughs> oh, that's a cool animation. Archaic legwear. Simple, classic legwear. Um. Sure. God damn. We already got the trip. Um, they've still got a few years left in them. Can be uh, cumbersome to have them tied up in the straps. Uh, all right. So we can open the inventory with. Whoa. Okay. Inventory is new. Inventory is new. You can see more of Link like that. Okay. That's sick. That's sick. All right. Cool. Oh my God. Is it? Hey, chat. Is this? Is this Slay? <laughs> is that? Is that what they? <laughs> You know, S L E I G H is a sleigh. <laughs> What's over here? What? Oh, we're in the sky. Oh, we're in the sky. What the hell happened to Hyrule? 
how did we, first off how did we get up here okay second off um <laughs> what the hell happened here we go oh where are we dropping boys Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> How do they outdo themselves, dude? Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, dragon. The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Wow. Accelerate with R. Whoa. Oh, it's going to be a good playthrough, guys. <laughs> it's going to be a good playthrough. Look at the lily pads. <gasps> Oh, that's so cool. Great Sky Island. Oh, let me, um, uh, no, actually, this is probably the best spot. Um, let me, uh, yeah, let me just leave it down here. Should I, should I put it like, should I keep camera here or should I be like a little bit farther up? Uh, like right here or, or up? Keep it here? Okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Wow, dude. I just gotta take this in, man. We're playing Tears of the Kingdom, dude. I, I, man. Okay. Let's see what this is all about. All right, so this is the Great Sky Island, which I guess obviously reminds me of the Great Plateau in Breath of the Wild. Tree branch. Wooden branches such as these are pretty common, but it's surprisingly well balanced. Um, all right. Um, so to switch oh ah new updated i love this okay it actually is more powerful than the master sword so we'll take that for now <laughs> um can you see durability here you can't you can only see how much damage it does which is two damage um pretty cool wow dude and what are these uh sky shrooms a common mushroom uh that grows near trees on sky islands eat it to restore health okay so it's like um just a mushroom that doesn't do too much else it just exists Hello. Hi, chat. <laughs> oh, what's this over here? Uh, an apple. Okay, cool. Hi. Okay, you're going to fight me, aren't you? Can I flurry rush? Uh, okay, wait. I'm, I'm fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm still good at the game. I promise. Come here. Come here. Come here. Do it again. Do it again. I dare you. Do, do it. Okay, do it again. Do it again. Like, like I'll dodge it this time. I'm a speedrunner, by the way. Um, Do it again. This time, I'll, I'll dodge it. <laughs> There we go, flurry rush. Okay. Go by the way and attack the rest of the last moment to dodge. Nice. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. Um, you don't drop anything? Oh, okay. A Zonai charge. So th that was a okay, so that's like a Zonai guy. Uh a uh, Zonai construct. A material used as a power source for the Zonai constructs. Uh, and other devices. Strange light seems to reveal a potent energy inside. And this is a construct horn, a blade like horn. Uh, from a soldier construct, which is what we just uh, defeated. Handle with care. All right. All right. Sounds good. Wow. Cool. Um, well, first off, what's over? What's this over here? Dude, I, it's going to... I, I kid you not. Like, all of this gameplay, all of this playthrough is literally going to be like, so what's that? <laughs> over there. Uh, there's something... By the way, I found that over there. <laughs> it's literally just the entire thing. It's just going to be like sidetrack. The Legend of Zelda sidetracked the game. Whoa, what's this? A wooden stick, differently from a tree branch. Uh, tree branch with an added grip, an excellent balance. Um, cool. I'll equip this instead. And then, uh, okay, there's, it's just a shrine, but I don't know what else this is. What is that over there? Dude, I wonder if they brought back, like, dungeons in this game, you know? Like, like that, that screams dungeon to me. 
like full-on dungeon. I know one of the major gripes that people had with like Breath of the Wild itself, and I'll be referencing it a lot because hell, I played 3,000, 4,000 hours of the game. Um, is is that like Breath of the Wild didn't have dungeons? Hello, who are you? Are you going to attack me? No. Okay. Examine. Uh, you have a broom. Okay. Whoa! Hello! Aw, uh, don't eat me. Uh, 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 a steward construct. Um, Link, I have waited for you. Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. Oh, oh. So, okay, she's still alive. We know that for sure. Where is she? What is... Oh, whoa! The slate! Oh, it's the Pura Pad. <laughs> right, it's not a Sheikah. Yeah, yeah, because the Sheikah Slate was Sheikah technology, right? This is made by Pura. You know, <laughs> if you don't know who Pura is, Pura is one of the uh, characters in Breath of the Wild in charge of the Hateno Tech Lab, who was uh, a researcher for Sheikah technology in the past. Looks like she made the Pura Pad for Zelda. That's funny. Uh, I'm told it is an invaluable tool that will provide you with direction. Whoa. It's a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> the Pura Pad. Princess Zelda's prize device. Um, okay. Use the features of the Pura Pad with uh, minus. Okay. I received it from Princess Zelda. I have now passed it on to you. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting at the location marked on its map. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. My message has been delivered. Uh, but, like, uh, where am I, though? We stand in the Garden of Time. Whoa. The Temple of Time is visible from here. Is... That that don't look like the Temple of Time that I'm used to. <laughs> uh, it was used in the distant past. Uh, many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. Yeah, this is, this is an interesting parallel to the Temple of Time and the prequel here. Interesting. But no more. Now it is a lonely place. No one visits. That's the same thing that we got, um, that we activated with. Uh, find Princess Zelda. New objective. Okay, so if we press minus here, uh, we can see... Oh, the Great Sky Island. Okay, this... Uh, okay, uh, clearly an obvious... Whoa, all right, we got some new regions too. Big map. Um, yeah, okay, obviously, like, wait, this is... Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, uh, the Great Plateau is, like, right over here. <laughs> um, on, on Breath of the Wild. Interesting. Um, all right. So Fine Princess Zelda is at the Temple of Time over here. I mean, this clearly draws parallels to like the Great Plateau. Um, I, I, I'm willing to bet there's like four things that we need to get here, but this is, this is really neat. I love this. You can also see depth on the map too. Like this is taller than this down here. Um, we just came from right here. We just landed here and, uh, yeah, there's something below this way. And, oh my god, look at the coordinates. You can see on the, the bottom right, it's 7 degrees Celsius. It's pretty cold. Um, and you can see the coordinates that we have. That'll be really neat. Alright, what's over here? <laughs> Sidetrack the game once again. Yeah, look at that! Look at all these islands, dude. Whoa. All right, how long is it going to take me to, to, to do this whole part? <laughs> All right. Uh, let's examine that same statue before as before. What the? Oh, pretty neat, dude. Okay, so that activates environmental effects that's kind of cool pretty neat and hey chat if you guys are liking this so far i'll say this like pretty often during today's stream um uh, but subscribe uh if you're not subscribed already uh just so you're notified of when i do stream next and when that video because we're editing this stream right now okay? uh we're literally editing the stream right now like uh i believe uh cat currently is is going over um uh, this um but subscribe so that you are notified of when that edit um is live on youtube 
which is tonight. We're, we're editing it so, like, not only... Basically, if you have to leave for any reason for the stream, or if you uh, prefer the edited content, or you want to watch it in a smaller format for tomorrow, or you only watch tomorrow's stream, and you, you know, whatever, we're editing the stream right now, and the YouTube video will be out uh, tonight. Uh, so you can watch that as well. Um, so uh, uh, say hi to the editors, and also say hi to YouTube. I mean, you guys are on YouTube, but say hi to the VOD Frogs. Uh, okay, are you another stewardess construct? Uh, hello, you seem to be new here. Uh, be wary of the soldier constructs. Uh, soldier constructs are those of us given strict orders to protect this land. The Zonai who created us directed them to eliminate trespassers. They will consider you a trespasser too. You must treat them as a serious threat. Allow me to offer unsolicited advice. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it is crucial to maintain a proper distance and target your opponents. Okay. Uh, so lock on with ZL. Okay. You may practice targeting on me if you want. Oh, but please do not actually attack. Okay, what if I did though? <coughs> oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. This instantly made me feel bad. Pick up. Wait, are these pots? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, there's something I, I quite literally need to do. All right, it's it's just it's in my blood. I just I just needed to. You know, there's just there's just just one one or two things here. It's I just it you know every every Zelda, uh, you know it's just gotta okay. There you go. All right, you're good. <laughs> All right, we're need to take that. Need, I just need to take care of that. Right, let's continue. So we need to go to Princess Zelda, which is uh, forward to the Temple of Time. Whoa! Flog! What's the flogs? It's just so interesting to uh, to see here. Yeah, I, I wonder what's patched and what's not patched specifically, you know? Oh, big big rock. Goodbye. Alright, there's a soldier construct up here, but you know. You know me. Um pretty decent at the game. <laughs> Nice. All right, I can't wait to actually see what we can get up to here. Don't I charge a contract one as well, uh, and more wooden sticks and stuff. Okay, uh, wooden sticks actually like a pretty powerful weapon to start with. Uh, with with four attack. Oh, it's all, it's all misty over here. Okay. Dude, I, there's just like so much I want to explore and see. I am too excited. For, I dare I say too excited for the game. <laughs> Um, I have not been spoiled on this at all. So it's it's just so neat to see. Oh, hello. What the hell are you? What are you called? <laughs> They're so cute. Oh my god, you're so you're so stubby. Hello? Okay, I can't whistle spray. Hello. <laughs> oh I feel bad. Raw meat. Okay. I'll take it. Uh Okay, I need to stop getting sidetracked. But like, but like, what if I get sidetracked even more? Okay. <laughs> but like, what if I just like keep like just what's that over there? <laughs> but like, what's that over there? Uh, don't worry, I'll explore more uh, in a second. Hey, anyone? Oh, we can we can zoom in, right? Whoa. Okay. Pretty neat. Uh, yeah, so anyone a uh, part of uh, the... Wait. Huh? Wait, wasn't the cube just here? Wasn't there a cube, like, right over there? Am I, am I losing it? Maybe the clouds... I think the clouds blocking it. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Yo, anyone part of the cube cult? <laughs> Any cube cultures in chat? Or, or are you part of Spear Squad? <laughs> the dumb joke during the, the trailers. Which one do you prefer? A, uh, from what I know, there's a giant cube in the sky. I don't know what it is. But there's also a giant sphere in the sky, too. All right, come back here. Come back here. Wait, wait, oh. Oh. Hello. 
Um, a toasty sky shroom. Uh, grilled sky shroom. Hello. Ah, I, I roasted that. But it's yours if you want. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, theft is okay when it it's for the greater good. Right, guys? Um, you roast them? Oh, I had not noticed before that you were unfamiliar to me. Uh, my apologies. Among my tasks is to explain anything that visitors might require knowledge of. You may have questions about this place. Please rest assured that a construct can answer. Uh, I recall that your question was about roasting food. I roast ingredients by placing them beside the fire. I do not eat, but I am given to understand that it improves the taste. Our creators roasted ingredients in order to enhance their nutritional value. Do you have ingredients? I invite them, uh, you to use the fire to roast them. Right, so you, you just take um, uh, like this, hold, and you just kind of roast. Nice. Oh, wait, it was on fire. Ah, oh, close enough. Oh, dude, this is so sick. Okay, um, what's over? Alright, let's go, let's go, uh, see about Princess Zelda, though. Um, Princess Zelda said to meet her at the Temple of Time, which happens to be this over here. Let's check it out. It's so majestic. Hey, I just want to say for everyone saying, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Um, Pokemon Violet, it's, uh, it's not running. It, it, it's... The reason why it does, Pokemon Violet doesn't run well is because uh, it's because of the Switch hardware. Um, it's uh, it's Switch hardware is outdated. That's why it's like running so badly and just that. Uh, yeah. So like, I just don't think. I just want to present you. Um, here's the kingdom. <laughs> just want to put that out there. <laughs> oh God. Okay. 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 All right. Let's go. Let's go here. Uh, see why or what this all is about. Temple of Time. Wonder, this is the old Temple of Time? Oh, hello. Yeah, the Temple of Time. Okay, you have a... What the hell? <laughs> That's so weird. Ah, we got the boy rush. Nice. Ooh. And we got an old wooden shield. Uh, a worn out wooden shield can withstand lighter attacks such as arrows. Okay, razor shield with ZR. And a rusty broadsword. Okay, once fearsome sword that has seen better days. Uh, breaks quickly. Okay. Um, the soldier construct horn. Okay. Here we go. Um, um, All right, here we go. One second. Is anyone part of Cube Gang, though? All right, let's see about this. Princess Zelda is here. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is... What is this? Okay, so you have whatever this is, and then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven slots. Hey, oddly, oddly, this reminds me of... Um, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. <laughs> Also, Neon Genesis Evangelion with the whole, you know, tree of life kind of thing. That's the, that's the way I'm getting it from, you know? That's so funny. All right. Let's see what's here. What the... Huh? That door will open only to those with sufficient power. Who are you? I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. I am Arizona. Yuraru! 
source of the right arm. Wow, I love the design. He looks so cool. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. Wow. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Ah, of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? New shrines! Oh, cool! I love Raru's design. This is so this is so neat. Yeah, they're like stone. The shrines. Yes, I'm sure they are the key. So, in order to open the door to the Temple of Time and see Princess Zelda, uh, we need to power up the arm uh, by collecting, uh, well, the light around the Sky Island uh, with these four different shrines. Um, yeah, okay, whoa. Okay, so these are uh, Fine Princess Zelda is what we need to do. The closed door. Raru appeared and said he was the original owner of your new arm. Yeah, all right. So, so basically, um, right here, in order to get to Princess Zelda, um, uh, well... We, we just met Raru, the owner of that original arm. Who was sealing Ganondorf away? Uh, very interesting. There's, there's more to that. Um, but in order to get the power back for our arm, we need to go across uh, the Great Sky Island to um, at least at least this one. Um, I'm assuming there's four shrines uh, across here. Yeah, there's another one up there. Can I, can I, like, pin these? I can! Okay. Um... Okay, is there any others that I can see around here? I can only see two so far. Okay. Yeah, we'll, just, we'll start with the one to the right, it looks like. Start with that one. Sorry, one second, chat. Getting some coffee. Yeah, okay, so we have we have this here. Okay. Oh, I don't have the paraglider. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a paraglider. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> Dude, I don't want my first death in the game to be fall damage. Please, at least it'd be like something dignified. Please, I'll take something, you know? Anything but that. Oh, we got arrows. Okay. Uh cool. Arrows. Sky shroom. Uh, more sky shrooms. Okay, let's go to that first shrine, see what's all about. Which is, like, right up here. Pretty neat. Alright, first off, let's get this, uh, soldier construct, though. Oh, and you... Shoot arrows. Oh! Come on, get better, dude! Get better! Wait, can I break the decaying master sword? Can I break this thing? Oh, the master sword's running low on energy. Oh, it looks like I can break it. Okay. Five arrows, and then also we got a wooden bow. A uh, wooden bow from the olden days. It's built for hunting, but it's not very powerful. Okay. Interesting. So I can shoot you if I wanted to. <laughs> this is so neat. I, Dude, look how gorgeous. Okay, Master Sword ran out of energy. Okay, so uh, goodbye, Master Sword. <laughs> goodbye. It was nice knowing you. It was wonderful. It was great. <laughs> I wouldn't stick. Okay. More Zone I charged and horns. What? Did you hear that? Yeah. What is What is that? I hear the like like a like a bing bing. Is it 
the shrine up, 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 up top here? It might be it might be the shrine up top here. I force you to climb here. <laughs> All right, we got a rush room. So it looks like yeah, we we have some things that are returning from uh from uh, Breath of the Wild. Uh, by the way, seventy dollar DLC. Like, come on. Imagine if this was just DLC. That'd be crazy. Up here. Okay. The first shrine. What's over? There? What's what's up? Uh, here. The Uko Shrine. Oh, look at look at the dragon, dude. Okay. Yeah, this sh the shrine is shaped like an egg. <laughs> what is this? All right. Whoa. Okay. Oh, huh? It opens it. That's so cool. It's like a new dimension. Like, there's nothing in here. It's just... <laughs> okay. That means it's activated, I guess, right here. Do I just walk through or... Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm just blown away. Ooh, tips and tricks. Nice. Whoa, okay. That's a really cool effect. What is... Hi. How's it going? Oh. So you've made it here. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges evil. I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm has lost. <laughs> now then, extend your hand. I'm so curious. Like, who, who are you, you know? <laughs> it's the... It's the <laughs> it's the same sound as the runes for this. <laughs> what? Small details. Small details. Ultra hand. Grab and move objects. Rotate them and stick them to other objects. Oh, whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six different slots. Hmm. This is the ultra hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With it, you'll be able to build a great number of things. Really, uh, anything you can imagine. Mm. Use Ultra Hand and receive the blessing from the shrine. Okay. Okay. So, uh, L to activate. The ability to create. Ooh. Dude, the sound design. Okay. Go over. It's okay. So it kind of like in Magnus. Okay. So you can you can grab and like move items, rotate by holding R. Uh, and then vertical rotation, horizontal rotation. Okay. So I can just place it right here. Nice. <laughs> also, how is this? How is this standing? <laughs> That's just like. Let's be real. I don't think this is structurally sound. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just yeah, we'll take it, we'll take it, we'll take it. Um big grab. Um let's do the sound design. Okay, so for this I, I I can't like I can't get across. Um so I can move this so to rotate is hold R like that. Okay, so can I do this? Wait, wait, that means... Oh, I have such a good idea. Wait, are there motion controls? Like, can I add that? Aim with motion controls enabled. Oh, but I can't use it. Um, okay. So, there's no mini... There's no... Oh, motion controls is up, down, left, right. Okay, okay, there are motion controls. I do. I'm one of those. I'm one of those people that like really like motion controls. Okay. 
All right, it's just it's it's literally just just for me. Okay, so let me like rotate this here. Okay. Oh, attach. Okay, wait, wait. I don't want to attach yet. I have an idea. It's a stupid idea, but I have an idea. Okay, where's the fold? Oh, oh. That. It's just a stupid idea. <laughs> Trust me on this, guys. Trust me on this, but it's gonna be like so good. <laughs> Let him cook, dude. All right, there he is. Come on. Stop. Okay. No, 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 no. Watch, watch this, watch this. It's just, it's just gonna be dumb. And you guys are you're like, once you guys see what I'm doing here, you're also gonna be like, Punker, that was so dumb. But trust me, it's gonna be so cool. Okay. <laughs> hey, hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. Okay, rotate this. This is getting in the way. Okay, and then right on the edge right here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that wasn't that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> All right, that was. Hey, 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 hey! I told you it was a dumb idea. I was trying to catapult myself. I told you it was dumb. Okay, so let, let's let's do the. Uh, so you can a can attach like this. Whoa. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's really cool, dude. All right. Uh, speaking of uh, letting him cook, um, uh, I should probably do that. <laughs> Just for a friend. Wow, this place is so big. There's something up there. That's cool. That's kind of cool. All right, what else is over here? Wait a second. Wait a second. I am of the mindset of what if I need this later. <laughs> what if I need this? So I'll just bring that. Um, wait, how many can I attach? Wait, this is going to sound so stupid. And this probably is stupid. But like, here, let me get the other one too. Let me, let me get the other one as well. <laughs> okay. Am I going to take a while beating this game? The answer is yes. But am I going to beat it with absolutely idiotic and stupid means? Yes. Also, yes. Oh, I can. Can I get up there? That's there's a there's a thing right there. Also, chat, don't backseat. Uh, no one likes a backseater. Right, here we go. Um, I can't really read chat right now. I'm just assuming that somebody's doing that, but I feel like I'm assuming correctly. Okay, what's this? An amber. Oh, it looks different. A fossilized resin with a caramel esque sheen to it. It's been valued as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. I just want to say, whatever the thing that uh, that Zelda picked up at the beginning of the game, it looked like a um, an old amber from Skyward Sword or like a dusk relic from Skyward Sword. I'm just putting it out there. That's what it reminded me of. Um. I didn't get the chance to say that until now, but putting it out there. Okay. Can, I, can I attach this as well? Wait, no, wait, wait. Wait, uh, unstick. Okay. You unstick by moving the right joy joystick, All right? Oh. Okay. Onwards. <laughs> All right, we go. <laughs> How, you know, like, I, is this going to come in handy at all? Probably. The answer is probably not. Uh, let's be real. Um, but, like, it totally could. So there's hooks here? Huh. I mean, we could, like, create, like, a hook... And probably like whatever's up there and like do this whole stuff right but like hear me out 
We just got like a really long platform right now. <laughs> Can't we just like use this to get across? Nice. <laughs> All right. I just totally skipped whatever this puzzle was supposed to be. <laughs> That's such cheese. Um, I do want to do it like whatever the other way is. <laughs> There's no way. Uh, okay, so what? Are, what's like the? I sorry, I tried to whistle sprint there. What's the way that you sh like could do it? Um. Hmm. If I put it like right here. Oh, you know what? That's why they have um the thing up top. No, 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 no. Uh, that's why they have the thing up top. Um, up here is to show you, I guess, like what you could do. Speedrunners are taking notes, dude. Okay. Put it like that. Okay. And then if I. I can attach it like this. Does that work? Okay, that also works. Pretty dumb, but I'll take it. Um, I can reset with ZL. Okay. Interesting. So I can do like... I'm going to have to get used to these controls for sure, I think. So I can do that. And then um, get on here. So this is like what they... What you could do. this i'm not very good at building things guys <laughs> i'll just you know what i'll just take my bridge i'll just take my makeshift bridge hey you know it, it's not stupid if it works whoa what the heck wait what huh who are these? What? What the heck is... Who's in there? Oh! You've done well. Reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Zerzoni. That's the light, I guess. It goes right into our arm. Light of blessing. A crystal that glows with the light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. That's really neat. Um, I are those because like in Breath of the Wild, the um like the Sheikah monks, right, were actual like mummified people. I wonder if those statues are actual like people inside as well. Very interesting. Hi. <laughs> you did very well getting through that shrine, and you've restored an ability. This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines. You should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. Oh, so there's two more shrines. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Oh, there's not four. There's three. You may want to mark the shrines on your uh, in the distance with pins. Then you'll never lose track of where they are. The Pure Pad offers you a very useful scope. It's, it's quite handy. Uh, I just want to know more of the story of the game. Uh, okay. Uh, the Great Sky Island. All right, so, so we've already marked that one up there. Uh, where is the... Oh, the next one's over here. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's, uh... I heard that as well, right? What is that? What is that? I hear a bell. Why do I hear a bell? Wait, did they patch fall damage cancels? 
Okay. Hear me out. <laughs> Hear me out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think they did. <laughs> All right, good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Um, so you can't fall damage cancel uh, like you used to by throwing a weapon. Uh, it turns out you just face plummet uh, into the ground. <laughs> good to know. I, I was testing for science uh, at the expense of Link's face. Don't worry. He still looks uh, uh, kind of okay. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, let's go to the next uh, shrine, I guess. Uh, there's three shrines, it looks like, on the Great Sky Island. We got Ultra Hand from the first one, which is uh, this like new ability uh, to fuse things, which we can now use. Yeah. All right, I got to like get faster at using this, too, I feel like. It makes it probably more satisfying. Um, but yeah, I can just like attach it here, right? Well, okay. Don't attach it yet. I want to attach this the middle and then jump on okay let me yeah let me attach it to the middle here and then oh you know what i should be building it and then putting it on oh my god i'm an idiot oh my god i'm an idiot <laughs> i should have been doing this the entire time <laughs> whoa dude oh that's so cool Got the got the hang of Ultra Hand already. It's so foggy here too. Ah, uh, you know what? That makes sense because uh, we're in the clouds. But hello, what you doing here? What's up, Raru? Uh, I see that they're still at work even now. We originally created the constructs to assist in our endeavors. All of us uh, were fond of them. I never imagined they would continue to carry out their assigned tasks to this day. Hmm. The fact that their labor no longer serves any purpose, yet they still perform it, it's disquieting to me. All right, well, we got, a um, like, a raft here. Um, uh, we got another construct. Oh, we got some wood. Uh, search the construct. Oh, for a Zonai charge. Okay. I wonder what the Zonai charges are for. Uh, okay, well, there's these things. I have a dumb idea. I just, I just, I just... It's just, you know, I feel like it's... I feel obligated to do this. I don't know why, but it feels necessary. <laughs> uh, what is this? Oh, a stone axe. Uh, that's new. Oh, why is it? Why is it? Um, why is it blue? Huh? Interesting. Wonder. Okay. Okay, attach. All right. Um, anything else over here? Oh, can I can I can I do this? Oh no, this is like it's it's its own thing. It's not built together. Or unless it is. No, it's okay. All right, cool. I just, <laughs> I just wanted to. <laughs> it's just so long. <laughs> I just fell off. Oh, there's another one over here. <laughs> another stone axe. Okay. Is there a limit for how many I can attach of these? I feel like so far there isn't. <laughs> but I wonder, can I just like get to this island over here like this? Like with these these logs? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I totally can. <laughs> that's so that's so dumb. I love it. Okay. Oh, you can normally do it through here. Yeah, it's fine. <sighs> Ooh, okay. A chest here. 
Uh, another amber. Okay, cool. Uh, I wonder, can I, um, can I bless? Oh. Oh. I can't. Okay, so they, they removed that as well. So normally in, in Breath of the Wild, if you if you shield and then press ZRA in quick succession, uh, then it does like an animation, like sort of fail. Um, but it looks like they prioritize picking something up rather than taking out your weapon. Oh. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Um, you still can shield surf. Cool, which does mean Okay, I, I can't make that jump. <laughs> so, uh, you can essentially double jump with a shield surf. That's kind of neat. Dude, I can't... Dude, I cannot wait for speedrun tech. Uh, seriously. Like, genuinely, for this game, it seems like it's going to be, like, insane. All right. <laughs> nice. <Look at that. laughs> it's going to bring my bridge over where, wherever we go. I shall name you Frederick. The longest stick in the world. And we shall make you longer. What is this? Oh, it's just floating? Can I just like put it here? Oh, what? Oh, it's just a floating platform. Like I can just... Whoa. Can I move it while I'm on it? Okay, no, I can't. Okay. Can I rotate it though while I'm on it? No, okay. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Okay. So the next place we want to go is over this way. Okay. And I, I'm not sure if this exists. I, I think. But like, I just want to, I just want to, I just want to check. Oh my God, they're back. <laughs> I just, I saw a misplaced rock. I was like, interesting. I wonder why this rock is here. Now, guys, this is the sequel to Breath of the Wild. So that means rather than 900 Koroks, you need to find 1,800, right? That's how that works? <laughs> Imagine 1,800 Koroks in Tears of the Kingdom. You found me, huh? You're not Hestu. Oh, Hestu's back, but you see me. I know someone like you can see the children of the forest. Well, did he ask you? Please return this to him. Korok seeds. Oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of different places, too. You should keep your eye out while you wander. <laughs> Noted. What are you? Oh, new fish. Uh, an ancient Irana. Uh, lively fish that hasn't changed much since ancient times. It's nutritious and can store a bit of health. Hey. All right, he deserves it. I dropped that on him. Out of principle. How far can this reach? What the? There's something below there? Huh? Oh, this is the rock that I just... Okay. okay. One for extra good measure, you know? That was weird. Wait, what was this? Did you see that? It's like a weird glitched animation there. I like, I like, it like clipped through the ground a little bit. That was weird. Okay. Um, all right, let's go to, uh, let's go to the next shrine. Um, I will bring this with me though. I, 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 I think, I think some of you guys think I'm joking. I, I'm, I'm serious. I am now attached to this long stick. Can it, can it do damage? Oh, you can't do damage with it. Wait, well, unless I, like, what if I did this though? Okay. Okay, that still works. <laughs> All right, murder! Let's go. Uh, I wonder, I wonder, like, if you can, like, make, like, a gigaton hammer with this, then. And just, like, one-shot uh, enemies. You totally could. 
You could probably make it like a giant hammer. Okay, there's just a lot of these right now. Um, let me just uh, place Frederick right here. All right, Godspeed, Frederick. I'll love that for uh, I'll, I will love that stick forever and always. Uh, my next batch will also be tasty. Pardon me for not noticing you as absorbed and preparing my next meal. Uh, I do not recall seeing you before today. I must have, I must uh, dubly apologize for my intentions. It's the duty of the construct to field any questions of those uh, you might have. You may pose these questions to any construct. Uh, are you interested in cooking? Um, yeah, sure. You seem to be uneducated when it comes to cooking. Hey, okay. I don't need to be called out like this. Okay. Sometimes. I, okay. Did I have, did I learn recently how to make tea? Yes. But can I make some tea now? Also, yes. Now you might be asking, Point Crow, isn't tea just boiling water with a tea bag? To that, I reiterate once again, yes. <laughs> I've burnt soup before. All right. So calm down. Uh, very well. You will learn how to create a meal on your own. Okay, educate me. Cooking step one, hold the ingredients in your arm. Step two, throw them in a pot over a lit fire. Cooking a plate. That's the simple version. The world of co cooking can be as complex as you want. There are many possible dishes. Uh, what you make and what effect you gain depends on the ingredients you use. Some meals are warming, others uh, restore stamina. Tiny organisms known as critters and monster parts are not food. Save them for the base of elixirs. This inspiration was provided by our creators, but I cannot eat, so take it with a grain of salt. Food joke? Shut up, put up. Hey, that was... Great. That was just... Ah, oh, wonderful. Okay. All right. So. Uh, we're main stationed here. Ask me anytime you have further questions about cooking. Hilarious. Hilarious. Uh, fork you. Uh, take it with a grain of salt. Um. Um. The culinary construct is his name. Who let him cook? Uh, all right, let's, uh, Frederick, let's move on. It's just me and Frederick against the world. I will bring this uh, pile of sticks anywhere I can. For, for Frederick is love, Frederick is life. We all love Frederick here. All right, this might be a little difficult moving around, but we'll, we'll take it for now. I'm just saying, like, I, I love Frederick. I mean, look at him. He's just so large. It's so funny. It's just so funny. Wait, wait. Can Frederick, like... Can we do this? Like, will this... Okay, he's a little large right now. Oh, I missed! No, 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 no. Good opportunity. Good opportunity. Okay, wait, wait, we can do this. We can do this. Frederick, you got this. Frederick. Okay. I keep missing. I keep missing. Okay. Um, come on. Oh, but you can like block enemies out. Frederick. Oh, we got one. Oh my god, I one shot him too. It literally one shot. Okay. Okay, but you're like one shotting me. No, no, I got this. <laughs> no, this is great. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Keep shooting me. Keep shooting me. Try it. Try it again. Wait, what? Is there another one? I didn't see. Oh, he's on top. Oh, easy. That's like uh, that's 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 super easy sauce for uh, Frederick here. Oh, I can't lift it up even more. Oh. All right, one second. Uh, let me put you here. Let me get to a little higher location here. Okay, thank you for that. Is this worth it? Totally not. Um, but so fun. Oops. 
in the oh oh you wait this is actually blocking you wait you can't you you can't hit me right now right <laughs> okay all right that's so good dude Nice. <laughs> Frederick. Frederick. Uh, Stam bulb. Okay. Uh, a wild plant with bulging roots often found in colder climates. Uh, did the Master Sword recharge, by the way? Uh, no. It actually just has not recharged at all. Wait, I can use attach this to that? Huh? Okay. It... So you can attach items to each other too? Huh. I wonder how that would be helpful in any capacity. I like as of right now, I have no idea. Okay. All right, here's the here's the other shrine up there that we need to go to. Opal. Neato. Okay. I'm down. Oh shoot. All right, I did that on purpose. Um, I wanted to see if fall damage existed in this game because I haven't taken it yet. So you know, therefore, uh, I purposely did that. So um, you're welcome. Now you guys know that fall damage exists. Um. In case you didn't know beforehand, so um, you know, just wanted, to, you know, just really want to get all of the aspects of the game, uh, just for you guys. So, um, uh, I, honestly, uh, dare I say, you're welcome. Actually, all right. So when you get to the other side of this, uh, what's this? A stone two-handed axe. Why is it also blue? Hmm. Um, it, no, because it, it's used. Or like this one's used. Interesting. All right. A tree branch with additional grip and excellent balance. Equip it and use it as a weapon. Okay. Okay. So we need to get across here. And what I'm assuming we should probably do here. Well, first off, we got to get this. Thing. We got to merc this guy. Hello. <laughs> And goodbye to John Cena. Boop, boop. It's a thick stick. Okay. Um, I don't. Uh, I got. I got one. Of, I got one of those. Um, I don't know why we're just picking. Uh, uh picking them up here. Just you know, you know, thick stick. Um, uh, and everything. Um, all right, thick stick. Let me. Drop this. A thick stick. Huh. That's... That's been accurate, you know? It's been accurate. Not real. Okay. Okay. Let's go get uh, Frederick really quick. Wait, did I not put Frederick down here? Oh, okay. Sorry, one second. My bad. All right, Frederick, where art thou? Ah, he's still here. Nice. You know? Okay. Wait, I have an idea. I have, like, a really dumb idea. So, what I'm assuming you're supposed to do here, because there was a sail and some, and some um, sticks down there, is I, I'm assuming you're meant to, like... You're meant to build a raft to go across. Oh, but like, I'm, I'm thinking of another idea that may involve some sticks. Okay, so I now have um, like a stone axe. 
oh, 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 Frederick! Frederick, I don't, Frederick, I'm so sorry. <gasps> no, no. Okay, we're good. Okay, all right, he's better now. So, oh, there's one there. This is a terrible idea. <laughs> He's so large. <laughs> this is... <laughs> okay, 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 okay. This is a good, this is a good start. This is a good start. It takes forever to rotate. Okay, so we'll just leave it in here. And then I'll just like attach here. Okay, nice. Okay. Uh, and there's another one right here. Yeah, we're definitely supposed to build a boat to go across. But like, why do that when you can just do this? Yeah, nice, great. Uh, I'm gonna take this and move it away. Dude, this is... A, I feel like this is the way the game was intended to be played. Okay? All right, I don't, I don't care uh, about anything else. This is, this is how you're supposed to play. Okay. Uh, oh, Stone Axe is badly damaged. Thank God we have two others. Wait, what is this? Oh, an acorn. Oh, cool. I wonder if there's a limit to how long you can make something. Okay. Uh, don't don't mind me. Just committing deforestation for a good cause. Okay, and then uh, yeah, let's grab some others over here. What is this uh, a Korok frond? Mysterious leaf that looks like it might be hiding something uh, behind it. It has some medicinal value. Okay, cool. Uh, I said attach it to a stick and can be used as a fan. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, wait, I want to attach to this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then I need these things to get out of the way. Uh, I don't know. That doesn't seem long enough. You know? I feel like I feel like we can go deeper with this. I feel like this isn't like nearly Frederick's true power. We must we must go farther. We must dig deeper. Oh, you know what I can do? Probably. I can probably do this, right? So to save myself some trips. I probably like fuse together like two here, right? Like yeah, 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 yeah. Attach them like that, and then, and then attach it like this too. Okay, perfect. Okay. Dude, this is so good. Okay. Uh, more acorns. so funny i just wonder how, uh, how 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 much how much farther can we go you know like at what point you know they they, they, they regarded zonai as god but at which point was god a mistake you know <laughs> at what point do you realize like hey maybe we shouldn't have done this maybe we've gone too far in the back uh that's not a correct attachment i don't think no that worked that worked okay we're good okay dude i know we haven't even like 
Well, I've been playing for an hour and a half, and we haven't even, like, beaten the, the quote-unquote tutorial from what I'm assuming this is. Um, but, I mean, just hear me out, guys. Like, hear me out. It's too good. Like, it's, it's, it is simply, like, we must do this for science. What, what, well, how does, how, how did that make sense? We must do this for science. For the greater good. Alright, put that over there. Uh, this has a lot of, uh, th these axes have a lot of durability. Like, genuinely. This is kind of surprising. A lot of use. Uh, I want you to attach to the middle. The middle. Okay. okay. Now we take this part. <laughs> dude, dude, at what point? Like, like we're, I feel like we're going to kill the frames of this game. Like, once we attach this and pick it up for the first time. Oh, my dear God. <laughs> my, my God. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my, oh, my God. What is happening? I don't know. It's, I'm not pressing any buttons. I I don't. I literally. I'm not pressing anything right now. Okay. We're good. Everything's fine. No, we're all good. We're all good. Can this reach across? It totally can, but it's weirdly bouncing. Oh no, we're like one short. Give me. Oh, wait, it broke. Oh, it broke. Huh? Sorry. It would have reached. Give, give me a second. Okay. There we go. Okay, we got this. Okay. Dude, it's eating the frames. Are we breaking the game already, guys? Yeah, it's, it's doing a weird, like, it's, you can't attach anymore. <laughs> oh, so there is a limit. Okay, okay, what's the actual limit here? Okay, okay. Okay. All right, I think we just got the limit right here. Oh, okay, okay. So this is this is the limit of how much we can attach. That's actually like a lot. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing some weird, funky stuff here. It, 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 the physics don't like what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I don't know if you see the end of this. Okay. Yeah, why is it going up? That's so weird. Anyways, uh, screw building a raft. Why, why build a raft when you can just make a bridge? All right, guys, let's go. Don't worry, this was easier. This one made more sense. <laughs> there's, there's no shot. Does it actually reach? I, I can't believe it, but it, it just, it just barely reached. <laughs> Okay. Hey, you know what? Job well done. Job well done. All right, Frederick. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, you thought you guys thought I was just going to leave him? Jesus. The lag of this is crazy. Uh, uh, Frederick! Frederick! No, I'll save you. Get out of my way! Whoa, what is down there? 
Okay, wait, we gotta check that out. Frederick, Frederick, no. All right, Frederick. All right, let's go. All right, I got, I got a, a little concerned. Wait, can I kill you with this? Oh, Frederick, death. Right there, kill. Frederick, kill. No, no. This has been the most disappointing moment of my entire life. I, I. Out of solidarity, I shall join him. Goodbye, Frederick. Goodbye. <sighs> Most disappointing arc. What's down here? Oh. Well, I can't. I can't open that. Yet, I guess. Alright, let's do the next, uh... Let's do the next shrine. Frederick will be gone. But never forgotten. For he shall live on in my memory, in the memories of everyone watching. For viewers, viewers, it is not without great loss. Progress is not made without great loss. It, well, actually, it is in a lot of cases. Uh, we'll just like we'll just pretend that that was inevitable. Um, but Godspeed, Frederick. Godspeed. Okay, uh, let's do the second shrine, the Anisha shrine. Uh, I'm also getting some um, some crackles here. Let me save and like restart my crapture card. Crapture card, literally. Um, I, for literally for some reason I have no idea why, but like I tried to load up Tears of the Kingdom on my L uh, OLED switch, right? Um, because that was like the new switch on the block, you know. Um, and I was like, oh, I can't wait. Um. And uh, I, I, I dock it, right, for the capture card. If you don't know what a capture card is, um, it's a device that allows you to um, uh, basically capture uh, your HDMI signal um, and play it right here, right? Um, and um, <laughs> so the capture card, I plug it in, and every five seconds, it would, like, shut off and turn back on again. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I was, like, panicking, like, like, 10 minutes before stream. I was like, can I even play Tears of the Kingdom today? Um, so thank God it worked out. Uh, okay, let's do, uh, all right, second shrine. Oh, it's so cool. What a neat animation. Here we go. Oh, let's walk through. Frederick was too pure for the world. Ooh, new shrine. I love the design of these things, dude. Wow. Oh. So you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. You get a new power. Use the new power. Attach something to an equipped weapon or shield to enhance it. You can undo the fusion, but that will destroy whatever's been attached. Oh. Mm. This is the fuse ability. Allows you to fuse something nearby to your weapon or shield, thereby enhancing it. Why not pick up that sword just ahead and then fuse a nearby object to it? Mm. Use fuse and receive a blessing from the shrine. Is there a puzzle attached or you just fuse and you're good to go? <laughs> so L to press and hold and then R to select. Okay. The ability to combine. Okay. Um, so, take. Uh, a rusty claymore. Oh, okay. Sorry. Whoops. I, I, sorry. I collect too many things during this game. <laughs> okay. Rusty claymore. Uh, and then so, so with fuse, right? Oh, you hold. Oh, whoa. 
in order to choose uh the the two different so i can go to ultra hands right are you like you l you l and down whoa okay fuse is kind of cool okay so i fuse this boulder the rusty claymore Whoa. give me plus two attack oh look at it <laughs> dude The boulder destroys the wall. The boulder is satisfied. Uh, can I do this too? Anything special within these confines? I'm guessing it makes it like more durable as well. It seems accurate. Hey, it's 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 a it's a Legend of Korra reference, okay? Is that wait? Is that a Legend of Korra reference? Sorry, but not Legend of Korra. Legend of Korra. Avatar: The Last Airbender. Legend of Korra. Le 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 Legend of Korra. Is it Legend of Korra? Le Legend of Korra, right? That sounds wrong for some reason. Oh, this is also. Oh, wait, this is also blue. It has a little blue thing. Boulder hammer. Oh, oh, oh! And then it says Rusty Claymore. Oh, okay. So then right here, it says Rusty Claymore plus two boulder. Oh, this is a stone two-handed axe, which is a thick stick and a stone. Oh, okay. So the blue means it's a fusion. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Uh, five arrows. Cool. You know. All right. Good enough. Good enough. Good enough. All right. What's over here? What are these things? Fire fruits. A fruit that generally uh, generates heat when struck. Cooked correctly, its heating properties improve uh, blood flow and stimulate muscles to raise attack power. Okay. But what if I take my wooden stick here and then can I fuse with a fire fruit? Okay, arrow, wooden bows. Then if I hit something with a fire fruit. Okay, well, first off, I can also, like, select material to attach. A meat arrow! Okay, okay. What does a meat arrow do? It gives plus one to attack. Oh. It's a meat arrow. <laughs> it's a meat arrow. <laughs> I just... It's just the stupidest thing. You're just like, all right, like, what do meat arrows look like? You know, like, what what is a meat arrow here? <laughs> just imagine be being a bokoblin, right? Legitimately being a bokoblin, and then just like seeing just a flying meat come at you. What is? Oh. Wait. So arrow. Okay. Um. Wait. No. Arrow, and then fire fruit. Oh. Nice. And you do that. And the chest comes down. Really cool. Okay, awesome. I didn't see that. And a small key. Oh, so we actually had to do that. Okay, I didn't even know that. Figured it out before I did uh before I had to. Alright, well let's get a bunch of fire fruits though. Ah, that's pretty neat. I kind of like this fuse ability. There's a lot of buttons you have to like press all at once though. Um, doesn't make it too friendly. What does an amber do? Plus four. Contra corn plus three. Zonai charge plus two. Yeah, so amber, I guess, is like valuable, which makes sense. And it looks like the default is like a plus one. What does a choo choo jelly do? Huh? Okay, I'll have to test this on like enemies. I'm really curious. Wait, can I can I like fuse? No, you have to. Okay, you can only fuse with materials in your inventory. You can't fuse with like a rock nearby. Okay, and you can't you can't use a. Uh... Wait, what if I fuse a rock? Okay, you can't fuse something that already has fusion to it. Good to know. Oh, we're not done yet. 
Oh, we be oh, we basically are. Okay. Unless. Hello. Uh, what's this? Oh. Oh, you're fusing as well. Okay. Dude, music. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking. You're like, oh, Poi Crow. <laughs> Poi Crow, uh, what does a game over screen look like? Um, and I know you, I know we probably wouldn't have seen a game over screen the entire playthrough. Uh, so I chose right now to show you very early on what a game over screen would look like. Uh, so this is what it is, right? You get the option of continue or quit, and we're going to choose to continue. Uh, so next time uh, when we encounter it, uh, you'll see. But we, we won't, we won't, I mean, so next time when you encounter it, you'll see what it looks like, right? Because um, clearly, like, come on, go on. Um, so you're welcome. Uh, that's what a game over screen looks like. Uh, glad we could uh, uh, come up with that together. So, um, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm seeing a lack of thank yous in the chat. Would like my uh, some appreciation here, you know, for showing you the mechanics of the game. Oh no, you know, Point Crow, you're just dying because no. All right, you're not gonna see a single game over screen for the rest of the playthrough. Uh, definitely not. You can trust me on that. Okay, let's try this again. I mean, for the first time, because I definitely didn't die the first time. All right, here we go. Um, let me, I want to try, what is, what does this look like? Okay, like, it's like water. It's like weird. Okay, can I like, whoa, damn. Okay, the jump attack's kind of spicy. Oh, a flurry rush with this too? Oh, damn! You're wrecked! Oh, my guy? All right, zone I charge a Captain Construct One Horn. Oh, it gives you the fuse attack power beneath it. Oh, so it adds five to your fuse attack power. Okay. This wavy double-edged blade-like horn is formidable when it comes to slashing. Oh, whoa. Okay. Uh, and then a Construct Bow. Uh, made of fireproof materials. A rock hammer as well. Oh! Uh... That's a rock hammer. It's a reference to Shawshank Redemption. Yeah, that's right. You didn't think there was a Shawshank reference in, in Legend of Zelda, but here I am, uh, you know, letting you know when there is. <laughs> Clearly, you know, the developers of the Legend of Zelda are huge fans of Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> Uh, more fire fruits here. Oh, you could block from here. Oh, so they wanted you to like maybe block from here and then like shoot from. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, pretty neat. Okay. What's up here? Oh, a long stick. <laughs> Once again, all uh, right, guys. Um, well, I should do like beating Breath of the Wild with just my long stick. Um, yeah, my long stick. You know, I got a, I got a long stick here. I got a thick stick. Um, can you fuse two weapons together? I'm just asking for a friend. Um, long stick. Um. <laughs> it's a <laughs> my thick long stick here. Also, did I say Samuel L. Jackson? Sorry, I meant Morgan Freeman. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> hey, you know what? My thick long stick. He's beautiful. It's a thick stick stick. <laughs> it's a thick stick stick. Okay, good to know. Okay, that that was stupid. I just I was wondering what that was. Okay, we're good. Everything's fine, guys. Don't worry about it. What? 
Uh, all right. And then that's the end of the shrine. What, a, what an eventful shrine that was. Let me save here. Actually, it's going to save anyways. Frederick still lives on within us. Another statue. You have well, you've done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. And wow, that's the second light. Pretty good. What was the what was the red there? I guess it's, I guess it's like expelling the 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 evil gloom outside of our our arm. Uh, the light of blessing. Second one. Interesting. Well, I guess we'll see more in a sec. I'm really curious to see what's beyond that temple of time. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. This is so cool, dude. This is so neat. I'm so excited. The thick stick stick is Frederick Reborn. Such a fun game so far, dude. Uh, Link. Oh, uh, Stuart Construct. Oh, hello. Uh, I came because there's something I failed to give you. Uh, please take it. What is it? What the hell is that? What? An energy cell. A gift from a Zonai construct. Designed to be worn on a belt. It can power Zonai devices. Oh. Uh, it's an energy cell. It is required to make use of the tools known as Zonai devices. I cannot demonstrate its utility because there are no Zonai devices right here. However, I have associates on the other side of that cave system. Uh, they can teach you how to use this. Okay. Cool. I hope that energy cell I provided is useful for you. Um, uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, cool. Um, for the, uh, editors who are watching the stream, uh, I'm going to, uh, splice right here. Um... All right, cool. Uh, now we start. All right. All righty. Uh, let's go to the next uh, shrine. Um, but like, first off, like before we go to the next shrine, we have to go down to that cave to see about the uh, soldiers. Uh, sorry, not the soldiers. The, the constructs that um, know a little bit more, I guess. Also, a flame stick. Is this like? Burn? I think it burns things when you, when you hit. Um, but yeah, uh, more about these fuel cells, whatever they are. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, that's so neat. Wait, you wait, wait. You have three factions in this game now. You have like the Hylians, right? Like the, the villagers or whatever. And then you have the Zonai stuff. And then you have like the monsters, like the enemies. And they'll all like individually attack each other. They're different factions. That's really neat. I love that interaction. I mean, look at this. Well, actually, they kill. Okay, well, the Zonai seem to be a little bit more powerful than the Choo Choo Jellies. Um, but anyways, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a cool interaction here. Okay. Uh, it turns out, uh, if you attach... Okay, okay. So if you attach the flame, the fire fruit, it's a one-use, like, kind of explosion on the end of your stick. That's kind of neat. Bye! Okay. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I wonder if you could, like, use that for, like, some other property. Ooh, another thick stick. Uh, don't need a second if I already have one. Am I right, guys? <laughs> am I right? Um, all right. Let's see what I'm... All right. Wait. Uh, wait, shoot. I want to do this. A meat arrow. <laughs> They're so confused. <laughs> what the hell? I, I, honestly, I would be confused too. I would be confused as well. All right, here we go. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, 
Oh, he burned to death. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, oh, okay. Hello. And goodbye. Dude, everything's on fire. Everything's on fire. Okay. I mean, that's just kind of my life when you think about it, you know? Story of my life. Everything's on fire. Scream, scream. Ah, oh, God. Oh, please. Why? All right, there we go. Nice. What is the bell? It's like ringing every couple hours in game. It's so interesting. A soldier reaper. A tree branch with an, uh, an added grip and excellent balance. Equip it and use it as a weapon. Whoa. That's pretty neat. So it's a wooden stick and a soldier construct horn. Okay. So if I want to do more, right? So if, let, me, let me like, can I... Oh, there's a battery symbol next to this now? There's a battery symbol? Huh. Okay, wait. So let me try this. So let me hold this. Let me put this down on the ground. And then I want to take like, um, uh, like a, a rusty broadsword. And then, yeah. And then that combines to make a Captain One Reaper. Damn. This once fearsome sword has seen better days. It can do some damage in the right hand, but also breaks quickly. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's I like that a lot, actually. That's pretty neat. I wonder what, like, fused weapons you can make here. Like, there has to be some, like, insane stuff. Like, some ridiculous things. All right, a thick stick. All right, what if I do thick stick plus board? Or large board? <laughs> <laughs> oh! I can blow things away! <laughs> That's so cool. That's so, I love how it's clipping. It's so large, it just clips through the ground. It's just like, yeah, we kind of gave up on this. <laughs> can I unfuse? Like, what happens if I can? Um, um, how do you uh, destroy fused material? Oh, okay, okay. So if you unfuse, it destroys the. Okay, that makes sense. Um, all right, let's cook some stuff here. I feel like. is a crit cook damn don't don't do not mind if i do Ah, uh, sure so i can hold up to five items right hey that's honestly that's a that's a good omen for the rest of the playthrough sauteed nuts uh neato uh restroom cook it before eating temporarily increase the movement speed uh, let's, let's get to them Speed up uh, two minutes. Okay. Uh, and then I'll do a Staminella Shroom and a Stam Bulb. Sure. Okay. So I, it's about like a third. Uh, and then, you know what? I'm going to... They say raw... Oh, I heard... I saw like raw meat. And in my mind, I, I, I made this raw attack power. <laughs> like, I mean, that's like a little... Maybe a little too much. Okay. Hey, but hey, maybe it is raw attack power. You never know. Is Link, uh, is Link, uh, humming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Link, Link, uh, how was I going to say? On side eight. Oh. Bright bloom seed, a seed that is often found in caves or wells. When struck, it will take root and bloom, giving off a faint light from a small flower. So if I, like... so cool so if it gets dark over here right okay well first off <laughs> it's literally just like next one <laughs> like come on so let's say it's like two like uh keys eyeball uh take advantage of their glaring awareness and attach one to grant a homing quality to the arrow neat now wing uh arrows and thrown weapons fly farther with this item attached oh cool so if i like do this so if i do this and then attach a Bright Bloom Seed here. Oh, oh that's so neat.
Okay, and then uh, I need my rock hammer to destroy this, right? Wow. I love that. What the hell are you? Hello? You're on the ceiling. Okay, that doesn't make sense. How is that supposed to make sense? How, how is this supposed to make any sense? Uh, I'm sorry? I think... Wait, that was, wait, that was one of the, uh, the spirit, um, the spirit things from, um, um, from, from like Satori Mountain, uh, with the Lord of the Mountain and everything. What? What is this? A bubble gem. A strange crystal left by defeating, uh, bubble frogs in caves. Its eerie blue glow may entice you to collect even more. Oh, so it's a key item. Okay, so you have Korok seeds and then you have bubble gem? Interesting. They're actually extremely interesting. Huh. That's so cool. Uh, and Flint uh, creates a long lasting flame if you strike near firewood. Okay. Um, wow. And a giant bright bloom seed. A seed that's found underground when struck. Uh, so it's a large amount of light with, the, with that one. This is neat. I... Chat, I wish I could have like TTS on and everything, but I, I don't know about you guys, but I am so engrossed in this game. I am so like into it of just like play. Like I'm just having fun. I'm having just so much fun just like sitting down and being like, okay, what do we do next? <laughs> like, what is this next? You know, what's going on? <laughs> it's so, it's so neat. So can I do this? Right? Oh, I can use that. Oh, sorry. Yeah, kind of caught in the crossfire. Oh. Uh, amber, and then we also got a ruby. Uh, precious red ore mined from large ore deposits. Uh, they contain the power of fire. Uh, and, uh, are expensive. No. Good to know. Yeah, I'm just really enjoying these guys. Um, so, uh, thank you so much for watching as well. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying, uh, watching this as much as I am playing it. Ridiculous. Giant bright blue seeds. Oh, there's more over here. Uh, wasn't there like a? Yeah, there's there's the people through the cave uh, for uh, fuel cells in here. Oh, an archaic tunic. Okay, an old-fashioned upper body wear. It's got some holes, but the soft cloth feels good uh, to the touch. It's hard to keep wrinkle-free. Oh. Damn! He's got the drip. Sure. God, that dude. Is this? Is this, is this Slay? Like, is that what that is? My God. Link, he's got that fit. He doesn't look archaic. That's, that's postmodern. <laughs> uh, what's over here? Yeah, what, what's over here? The game. Uh, you're a stewardess, uh, robots, right? Or steward robots. All right. A maker construct. Uh, the rafts for car, uh, the rafts for crossing to the other side are broken. Transportation is on hold indefinitely. Man, if only we had several large sticks that we could attach together through the use of deforestation in order to create a bridge. Oh well. I miss him. I miss Frederick. The rafts are for crossing the other side are broken. Uh, this is ordinarily where we send resources across the river. Uh, the only silver lining is that the Zonai devices are undamaged. The Zonai devices? Uh, it seems you do not know about Zonai devices. They are necessities around here. Allow me to explain. This green thing is called a Zonai device. Uh, the one you see here is a fan. You can produce wind on demand by striking it. Uh, they're uh, self-evidently useful. We have a variety of Zonai devices for multi... Uh, for multi... Dude with us. For a lot of purposes. Using Zonai devices does not... Does require energy, though. An external energy cell will be necessary in your case. Uh, which we have one, actually. Uh, but perhaps a refresher explanation is in order. An energy cell stores the energy required to use stone devices. It'll replenish automatically while stone devices are not in use. Okay. This capacity is not unlimited. Use the energy wisely. Otherwise, you might run out at inopportune moments. Part of the long explanation, it does not need or change our need for the raft. They're extremely useful. Uh, think creatively, and you'll find many ways to employ them. Okay. So we have, uh, for these zone devices, if I do, like, do I, I, I hit it, right? Yeah, and, and then it starts... Yeah, it starts up. Okay. 
Uh, we may have need of these parts. There are more materials near the water available for your use. Uh, it's difficult to rest peacefully when things like this happen. So if I hit this, uh, okay, you're gonna you're gonna do the cutscene again. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah. Okay. So there's another one over here. Yeah. Okay. And you see the battery charge there. So does it? It still depletes when I walk away. Okay. But then I can hit it again to stop. Oh, all right. All right. All right. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Oh, Raru's here too. Hello. Mm. Uh, the steward contracts were the first to be built. After that, we crafted others suited to be different roles. Culinary constructs, maker constructs. You'll find all sorts of them still active in this place. Some became so skilled within their specialties that they surpassed us. We began to learn from them instead. And take mm. time uh, to talk to them. They can teach you many things you might not yet know. Cool. That's really cool. Uh, the rafts are damaged. Uh, we're unsure how to proceed, but we'll consider this problem uh, down after rest. Okay. Sorry, it's just, I feel like this is just, like, necessary. Uh, just one second. Uh, um, give, me, give me a bit here. Just, I need to... There we go. Okay. For a friend. Um... Now, I know they're joke. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, I know it seems, like, kind of obvious that you're supposed to use the rafts. But, like... Guys, guys, there's, there's just, hello? We may need these parts. There are more materials in the water. Available. Oh, oh, you might need these parts. I'm just saying, there's just like a lot of tree trunks here. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying guys. There's just a lot of them, and I feel like... Wait, one second. What's over here? <laughs> Ooh, it's another captain. With its with a chest over here. Okay. All right. All right. You already know what we're about to do. Okay. Come on. Grab. Grab. I'll take it. Okay. That works. You don't see me right now. Can I like? I can probably crit you, right? Uh, and I'll use like a fire fruit. Good start. Good start. Uh, I use my soldier reaper. Okay. Oh, oh. So you use whatever weapons are nearby. That's kind of cool. All right. Uh, so that's like an ability of the captain. Damn. All right. I'm still good at this game. I'm still good at the game. Yeah, a thick stick broadsword is what you you built here. I'll take it. Sure. I'll take that. Stamp old. All right, pretty neat. Okay, so what what is this over here? Uh oh, I actually, you know what? I can't climb up here. Oh, I, you know I can't climb up there. But I know how to. We can do this, right? Nice. Oh, I keep trying to whistle sprint. Oh, you can't swap. Uh, like, okay, they slow down the swapping a little bit. So I can't just like, I can't just do this like I used to. I can't just do that. You have to like hold and then do it. Okay. Oh, and you can't swap halfway through the... Huh. Oh, that's, you know what? That's probably a fix for shield clipping. Right? Can I, can I, okay. So once you're, okay. Interesting. So if I do this, 
You can still do that, but no, that was definitely a fix for shield clipping. For sure. Right, anyways. Oh, another amber. Okay, I'll take an amber. Um, but, I mean, they... Okay, this, this is going to take some getting used to. Uh, you can still, uh, you can still do that for a double jump. Pretty neat. Okay, we can patch these. Oh, I don't know if I wanted to, to do that. But it's interesting to, like, see exactly how to do this between, like, I don't know, it, it, it like, can I not grab this? Are you kidding? How, how short is this reach? There we go. It's just interesting to, like, see, like, the different puzzles that we can, like, do here. I don't know if, like, I'm taking a really long time on Sky Island here. But I will tell you, I'm having so much fun on Sky Island. All right, don't fall off, though. <laughs> Please. It's very neat to see, like, all of these different, like, mechanics, like, coming to play. All right, let's make it, uh, let's make our way across. Making my way downtown, walking past faces, as a bone bounce. Do -do 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 -do. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's definitely more fun with pacing like this, I think. Right. <laughs> I'm so sorry, chat. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'm like this. I really don't. I really, I wish I knew. I wish I could tell you that this, like, the, the exactly why I am. Wait, can I, can I attach these and then, like, steal it from them? Okay, I can't. Okay. That seems pretty good. Hey, but it, it, for, for, for my longtime viewers, all right, for my regulars, are you really surprised? Are you really surprised? Uh, all right, here we go. Also, uh, yeah, chat, if you guys haven't already, uh, subscribe uh, to the channel. We are, I, I kid you not, 1.6 million subscribers. 1.6 million. That's uh, a pretty decent amount. That's pretty cool. Sorry, 1.69 million. Nice. Can I get a nice? Uh, wait, actually, you know what I could do here? Um, I can drop this uh, and then pick up a tree branch, right? And then if there's a stone nearby, which I think there is, then I can use that as an axe. Right, that's how we made the stone axes, or that's how we like found stone axes before, right? So if we do this, oh, that's grab. Okay, so I need to uh, do fuse, uh, and then oh, and then I attach this. I'm, I'm I'm getting I'm getting the hang of this. So equip that, and then why? That's not how that worked. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's that's actually um <laughs> wasn't a stick. You know, we'll keep it for now. Um, look, it's fine. It's everything's fine. I need, I needed a, um, uh, it's not a stick I need. Uh, it's the, it's like the, it's the, it's like the, 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 but the, but the, 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 like you guys understand, it's the but 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 the the but the but the but the but the
Hey, believe me, once we get to the, the true game. Dude, we don't even know the story yet. That That's how, like... <laughs> I'm just playing around, man. I'm just playing around. Um, okay, so we the only story that we know so far is that uh, Link and Zelda uh, were exploring the underground of... Um, uh, they were exploring the underground of Hyrule Castle, and they discovered Ganondorf uh, beneath it. And somehow, uh, he corrupted... Uh, Link and the Master Sword. Um, and the arm that was like sealing him away uh, was actually belonged to uh, an ancient Zonai. Um, like a dragon sort of guy. This guy, Raru. Uh, you can see uh, his arm right there is our arm now. Uh, and we just woke up here. Uh, now we know that Princess Zelda is uh, in the Temple of Time, or, like, behind the Temple of Time, or something like that. Um, but we're just kind of going around this great sky island. Um, uh, sort of, uh, traversing the land and everything. See, I'm, chat, I'm telling you. Look, this worked. It worked. Wait, can I reach the end? Did it actually work? Wait. Are we good? Oh, are you kidding? Okay, no, it's fine. It just, you know, the, the, the current just picked up. Link, get up! Link! Link, why can't you? Huh? <laughs> okay, we're good. It worked! Look at that, first try. <laughs> Everything's good. Oh, easy, right? Who needs those goddamn Zonai nerd weapons? Right when you can just build a bridge out of sticks again, <laughs> I can't believe that worked. That's crazy. Um, what's this? Anyways, we're just going around Sky Island. Uh, in order to get to the Temple of Time, uh, we need to uh go to oh, why does it say rip? That's crazy. We haven't died yet. Um, we have to go around to the three different shrines in the Great Sky Island, um, before going to uh, the Temple of Time. Uh, in order to unlock the door of the Temple of Time. I Dude, that's so clutch. Uh, ooh, I got another rusty broadsword. Um, I will take that over whatever rock hammer weapon I have here. Um, you know. All right. Hello. Oh, uh, are you going this direction? It's a ranger construct. Uh, this mountain path is especially rugged. You must take your environment into account when traveling. I've developed guidelines for traveling this mountain path. Uh, shall I Yeah, let's hear them. Very well. Fire is a crucial tool when traveling the mountain path. A fire can be used either to cook or warm yourself. Okay, um, how do I start it? It's with flint, right? Yeah, as a fire starter. Place flint next to a bundle of wood, then strike it with a metallic or stony weapon. This is my recipe for fire. Uh, there are several other methods, but it is best to internalize the basics first. Uh, I already know how to cook. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's do that. Um, it seems like we're going into some sort of, like, snowy-ish area. Um, I'm unsure. So let's, like, actually start a fire. Uh, and the best way to do that, um, is obviously with flint. But I can just do that too, right? Yeah. So let me... I wonder. Can I cook with a fire fruit? Like, one, two, three. Will that... Will that give me, like, cooling properties? <laughs> yeah oh wait 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 what hot weather attack grants a low level attack enhancements in hot places specifically huh so whenever it's hot and we have the scorching simmered fruit then we do extra damage in a hot area interesting what happens when i cook a bright bloom seed Okay, it's just simmered fruit. Okay. Uh, so that's not gonna heal us up or anything. Or that's only it's not that's not gonna protect us from cold. Okay. All right, we'll take speed up as well. 
Uh, just for later, just in case we want it or need it. Alrighty. Let's go up here. This is such a cool game, dude. I just like, I... Oh, can't I just like do something like... Okay, well, I tried. <laughs> All right, well, it was, uh, it was good while it lasted. Uh, is there a boulder nearby here that I can fuse with? The boulder? Because like, if you jump attack that, you totally can get it. Yeah, okay, we gotta look out for a boulder with fuse later. Um, yeah. I'm gonna keep making avatar references. Uh, I I don't care. It's, it's just, you're gonna have to deal with it, chat. I, I'm sorry, but it's a it's a plate that you must uh, uh, now endure. Uh, let's see, let's see. All right, so if there's anything up here? That's what we're gonna use. Yeah, you can, yeah. It like totally leads you to like jump off. Okay. Any boulders? Oh, there's like, huh? What are, th what are these? Are these? They're minecarts. Can I fuse a minecart with my? Cart stick. Okay, so if I go over here, uh, let me go up this way here, and then can I? Nice. Down below, what's over here? Oh, hello. Yeah, -ha -ha! another Korok seed. Wait, did it? Sorry, is is uh, it has a distinct smell. Okay, well, if you ever, if you remember from Breath of the Wild, the, um, <laughs> the reward for getting all the Korok seeds was a golden poop. That's hilarious, even. It's, uh, yeah, you know, that's, that's what it is. That's, uh, uh it's golden, golden poop. Are there any, uh... I'm just, I just need to, just give me a second. I just need to check to see in case. Are there, no. Oh, wait, wait, there was a grasshopper there. Did I just kill the grasshopper? Oh, we're good. <laughs> Never mind. Imagine just seeing one being like, oh. It's like, goodbye. It's nice knowing you. Okay. Let's get up here. Okay, nice. I meant to... I uh, Chat, chat. I meant to do that. So that's what it looks like when you run out of stamina and you don't actually make it. Dude, why is this... Wait, how much damage does this minecart shield do again? Or not shield. Minecraft... Minecart hammer. A plus one. Okay, but it, it's like... It's like a... It's a brutal hit, basically. It, like, it can break boulders. Good to know. Um, hey guys, welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. In this episode, uh, we're going to <laughs> make a crafting table. I actually, I love this too much, actually. Uh, all right, so we have like a captain and two regular soldier constructs. So let's actually take care of the captain. Wait, I wonder if I can like double hit this. Does that work still? I think double hits might work. Oh, he's too good. He's simply too good. Okay, the minecart's kind of OP. I love it. He's cracked. He's simply cracked. All right. Well, I, I, uh, you know, uh, I, I hate to, to to say this so early, but um, I love this minecart. Uh, this minecart. Um, sword. Uh, okay, I can drop these or this at least a rusty broadsword do i want that 
Dude, I need more space ASAP. <laughs> That's the thing. I feel like I'm going to want to fuse everything and anything. And so I need more space. Okay, nice opal. Uh, thank you guys so much for the channel memberships, by the way. Um, shout outs to uh, Fly Rising uh, for the channel membership. Ezra, uh, the ultimate uh, for the gifted membership. And Ezra for the uh, membership as well. Um, and then I also want to say thank you to uh, Everest uh, TV for the membership too. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Channel memberships. Gotta get used to that. Okay, what if I do this, right? Omega, uh, CKL, thanks for the membership. Uh, and Xeno's Trigger, thanks for the membership too. Wow, so many. Okay, let's do... do we need a minecart here. Wait, so, okay. So I, I feel like... Okay. I kind of want to, like, fuse the minecart to my shield. Wait, actually, curious. What happens if I... Can I fuse the fan to my shield? Wait, so if I... If I shield now... <laughs> Yo! Oh my god! That's so cool! It's like a perma, like, lift. Your fan shield's badly damaged? Wait, it can... Wait, so the shield can... Oh. Uh, oh, your shield can break. Yeah, no, no, that's... Uh, yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's what I... Uh, that's what I thought was going on. Alright, so if we put a minecart here... Nice! Then we put a... Classic. Um, sorry, I need to rotate that. Right here. Okay, but then what if I put another one on too? <laughs> you can't just do everything. You, you can't just do it in moderation, guys. Right? You really have to go for it. Okay, let's go. Meow, meow. Discovery, mining cave. It is dark. It is so dark. It's so dark in here. Okay. I mean, good news. You have, uh... Thank you. Good news, you have this. I love the addition of the, uh, the the super darkness and everything here. That's neat. That's so cool. Giant Pride Bloom Seeds. Hello, hello, hello! How's it going? Uh, this cave is especially dark. You'll need a light in order to proceed to the mining side ahead. Do you have any Bright Bloom Seeds? I do, actually. Um, I actually know of them. They're they're great. They shine very brightly when you hit them. Yep, that's really cool. Uh, this cave's been picked mostly clean zones because it's especially dark. Um, cool. uh, did you know bright blossoms were quite stimulus to blossom? Yes. Um, so if you just impact them, so you can like shoot it with an arrow or hit it, um, uh, with like your, your, uh, with anything else. Um, uh, oh, wow. This is actually extremely dark. That is, <laughs> that is menacing, dude. And dare I say a little scary, dude. All right, so if I do this, and then uh, I have some... They really give you a lot of Bright Balloon Seeds, which I kind of like. So if I do this... Shoot. You can see more. Whoa! Pretty neat. What is this? What is this for? This is for Zonite! An unusual mineral that has many purposes. Ancients extracted energy from it and refined it for crafting weapons and armor. Is it a key item? No, it's not. Um, huh? Zonite. Zonate? Zon Zonite. I, dude. Um. Okay. Um, extracted weapons and everything. Cool. Okay. 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 Um, uh, neat. I wonder what we can use that for. I, I'm assuming that, that could be used for something like. That was dumb of me. Um. I thought it would automatically attach. Um, I guess it could be used for... I don't, you know what? Let me check it out. 
So what happens if I fuse with it? Zonite. A wooden stick. Uh, wait. So let me do this. Okay, so wooden stick. And then let me use fuse here on it. Zonite, wooden stick. Okay. Well, it's just like... it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this stick now has a fancy tip on it. Cool. Um... Interesting. All right. Uh, you can still animation cancel by doing that. That's cool. Uh, where you like, uh, where you swing and then you can press X to jump. That's, that's also really neat. Like that'll, that'll be like a lot faster, you know? Um, Elizabeth, uh, thank you so much for the channel membership, by the way. Thank you. Okay. Whoa, it's now super dark in here. What is going on? What is happening in this place? Let me do like a giant bright blue. How, how light does this get it? Very light. Wow, that is that is uh, extremely bright. Cool. Um, so I wonder what you can do with Zonite. Like, I'm really curious. Okay. This is so neat. I... You know, I'm only, at the risk of sounding like a broken record, I'm going to say it again. This is so cool. Okay. Anyways, I just wanted to put that out there in case you know. Just, I just, it's really, it's really cool. It's just, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Uh, and yeah, that's that's uh, that's, that's what I'm gonna say. Ooh, there's another minecart here. Uh, let me do a rusty broadsword. Uh, I need a fuse here. Uh, to get. Okay. <laughs> Another another thing. Oh, there's a lot of zonite. A lot of it. I wish we had bombs, so it'd be easier to do this, but that works too. Uh can I can I like are you gonna be mad at me? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I just I just I wanted it and you had it. So that's just you know you just like Robin Hood away from you real fast. Uh, apologies. <laughs> uh, anything back over here? No. Okay. So now that we've got all that. Uh, what are you doing? Is this like a forge? Uh, it's a forge contract. Yeah. Uh, apologies for not noticing you. I was focusing on processing zonite. Uh, are you unfamiliar with it? This is the zonite I mentioned. It is a unique mineral that can be mined far beneath the land below. There are trace deposits of it on this island as well, but they are limited to this cave. Our society flourished by processing the substance into other materials. Uh, zonite is processed by smelting it in a furnace. Wait, can we... Can we, like, make weapon? Thereby convert into materials with useful properties. A few such materials will be ready for your view shortly. Wait one minute. Okay. So we can combine, like, materials to make weapons? Like, it's crafting. They've added crafting. Thank you for your patience. I will now explain what sorts of materials the ore can be processed into. Whoa. Okay. Uh, zonite technology is typically powered by zonite charges. Okay. So zonite charge plus um, they occasionally solidify into a form known as crystallized charges. Converting zonite into other useful materials in this way is called processing. Okay. So you can create a charge to a crystallized charge. Okay. Uh, there are what powers zonite devices and constructs. So a charge can be used to replenish your energy cell. Okay, so if you are running out of energy and you need to quickly replenish it because your sky, whatever, I don't know, maybe your your quad quadcopter vehicle is running out of energy, you can use zonite charges to recharge that. Um, but what about crystallized charges? They're a solidified form of them. Uh, they use them as raw material in the construction of energy cells. Okay, so charges can just like temporarily replenish, but if you want to build more cells, to have an overall bigger capacity and you get crystallized uh, charges. Okay. Uh, okay, so. Um, uh, anytime you require processed materials. Can I just, like, pick these up? Oh, you, oh, I can buy... Oh! I can buy them! Um, that would be used for energy cell improvement. Well, I don't really need any more Zonai charges. As you can see, it, like, adds some there. Um... Let me buy some of these, I guess. Uh, I will take them all. 
I feel like that's useful. Yeah. I'm going to try to do the... Okay. Okay. I, dude, 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 dude. I, I'm going to do the thing of, of not... And I'm going to use the line here. Having collector's anxiety. Okay? Okay? You, you know, in huge open world RPGs... Ser no, but like seriously though, I, I like, I need, I'm not going to be that guy that, that just stocks up on items and then never uses them because I might need them later. Okay. I'm going to use them. If I have them, I'm going to use it. Okay. I, I am, I'm, I'm putting my foot down for this playthrough. Okay. I'm not going to be a hoarder. Resulting materials will be available once you, uh, the processing is complete. Okay. Uh, so you haven't processed them yet? Okay. So I have the crystallized charges. Okay. Oh, he's chatty. He, he said the thing. Oh, what are, what are these things? I'm not giving you permission to take those. Okay. Uh, your mining construct. Could it be that you have forgotten to bring Zonai capsules? What, what, what is, what is that? You have forgotten yours, or perhaps you may not even know what I mean. Zonai capsules are a convenient means of carrying portable Zonai devices. It is unfortunate that you seem to have none. I will lend you a few pairs. Oh, so if you find a Zonai device, like, like a fan, somewhere in the world, and you want to bring it somewhere else, rather than like, like, just hold it and walk across the world, you can use a capsule to contain it as an item and then use it wherever we want. That's so cool. Uh, so we have five, three fan capsules. Um, it's a design device that produces wind, right? Um, yeah. So rather than so rather than like go across high rule with a bookshelf to bring it from one place to the other, you can just use a capsule basically. The one I give you are fan types. You can deploy them at any time. They'll generate wind when struck. Design devices are useful and come in many varieties. I always carry several with me for any occasion. Uh, I may neglect to keep a healthy supply on hand. I keep watch for such individuals. The spares I gave you were the last ones I carried. Take care to not forget again. Remember that de uh, a device cannot be put back in its capsule. Think carefully before deploying one from your pouch. Okay. Okay. So once you have the capsule, you can't... Okay. Once you have the capsule, you can't put it back in. Uh, let me do this. There's so many different things. It's pretty neat. So let me put it here. Nice. And then, um, actually, let me put it a little bit farther here. And then, I'm only going to use one, even though I want to use multiple. I want to use one. So, a Zonai, Zonai Devices, it's like a new thing. So, you have food materials, shield, all this stuff. So you have Zonai Devices. It's a takeout device. Uh, to quickly take out is up, and then take it out. Oh, cool. So, if I want to use the device, it's down here. Okay, but I got to make sure I don't do that, like, often. Um... And then let me do this and attach it here. I can't wait for like literally speed running this because I feel like it's going to be actually kind of disgusting on like how fast you, you'll be able to do things. I'm super stoked. Oh, oh wow. Look at that sight. The red sunset. Wow. Wow. <gasps> That's gorgeous, dude. I'm loving this. That's so pretty. Uh, well, hello. What's up, Raru? Uh, the time bell. That's what we're hearing. That sounds from the Temple of Time rings at a set time each morning and evening. Along with the constructs, we woke to the sound of the bell. We heard it in the evening. We knew it was time to rest. Mm. It also played uh, its part in our traditional ceremonies. In a way, it was this place's beating heart. The sight of the temple and the sound of its bells stir fond memories in me. That's what... Okay, so there is a bell. And it's in the uh, Temple of Time over here. Wow. What is this? What is that? It's like a sentry. Right, I, gotta, I gotta check that out later. Um, but first off, what is this? Hello. Uh, device dispenser operation confirmed. On track to meet today's Zonai capsule production target. Oh, did you want to use the device dispenser? I've nearly met my target. Uh, you're welcome to use it. What is that? 
uh, it produces zonite capsules by converting certain resources. The resources it accepts are things such as construct horns and zonite charges. Uh, you can process um, the resources that you hold by dropping them into the receptacle. It is similar to using a cooking pot. Um, sure. Okay. Um, uh, I suspend my activities for now. You, missed, you did not hear the bell. So similar to a cooking pot. So if I like, let's just put um, uh, let's put a construct horn in here. What? <laughs> it's like a gumball machine. Okay, so what happens if I do like five of them? I love this. A little, a little gotcha balls. Whoa. So they're all fans here? Oh, a flame emitter, though? Oh, so it's literally, it's like gotcha. It's actually gotcha. It's a flame emitter, a zonite device that shoots fire. It's thought to have been originally used as protection for monsters. Uh, and then a portable pot, a zonite device for cooking food almost anytime, anywhere. Oh, whoa. Okay. <laughs> Let me just put five more in. <laughs> I love I love the sound it makes too. This is so good. Okay, so you, it so 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 Zonite charges give me more? Okay, a flame emitter, a fan, more flame emitters, a portable pot. Oh, I have so many of these. Okay, alright, awesome. <laughs> now we're cooking. Wait, so what if I put in like a mixture? So one, two, and then one, two. And then actually three. Let's do that. Dude, okay, maybe I am a hoarder. <laughs> I love how he jumps. <laughs> more portable pots and fans and flame emitters. Oh, that's so cool. All right, do I have any more shields? I don't think I do, right? Yeah, I'm out of shields currently. It's, it's literally a gumball machine. I love that. Okay, so you just put in d devices and they and they pop out uh, with these capsules. And you can use the capsules pretty much anywhere uh, to do pretty much whatever uh, you want, whenever you want. Uh, okay. Let's go over here. Uh, we're still trying to go to the... So, so the current goal is we need to make it to... Oh, that's what that is. It's, it's, oh, okay, okay. It's a device dispenser. It tells you the devices available. And how many we have in our inventory. We have 17 fans in our inventory. That's, okay, dare I say ridiculous. Um, okay. So we have the, the three different... Uh, is a forge construct. Oh, because you can see a bunch. Oh, this is cool. That's that's like a shop, basically. All right, so we're currently here, um, and we want to kind of make our way over to I think right here. Yeah, to the next shrine. All right, so how I need to reach my friend. Oh, help me! This is so it's he's so cute. He's a Korok with a backpack. Oh my god, he's adorable. I need. I love him. This is awful. Where's my friend? Uh, you can see me. I'm a Korok, one of the children of the forest. I was traveling with my friends, yeah. and we got separated. Oh, he's over there. My friend is sending me up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. Huh. I'm so tired, though. I can't move. Um. Okay. So we need to get the friend to him. Um. Oh, okay. Well, Jet, you know what time it is. When in doubt, make a bridge. Wait, whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Alright, I tried. Like I said, when in doubt, make a bridge. Hooks. Hooks. 
Use a minecart? Okay, but that's boring. That's boring. All right? How many people are you going to see today making minecarts? All right? All right, let me, let me, uh, do this. All right, I mean, that works. Okay. Are you guys the bridge, the bridge kings? I don't think so. <laughs> what if I use the minecart as part of the bridge? guys <laughs> wait i can i can ultra hand the korok oh up, up. him up. Oh, you're so cute can, can you like One second. I just... I need to do something for science. <laughs> Alright, sometimes you gotta... You, you gotta get... Uh, sometimes you need the intrusive thoughts to win. Whoa. Huh? How did, how did you... I thought I just threw you off. Huh? Bro, what kind of what kind of black magic is this? Yo, can I have that can I have that power? Who is this Korox man? Huh? You're a wizard, Korok. You're a wizard. Alright. Um, is this big enough of a bridge? Um, I think so, probably. Let's check it out. Um, let's see if it is. I think it might be. It, sh it seems long enough. Oh, that's not stable, though. All right, I think I need, I think it needs to be a little bit longer. All right, sorry, give me a second, chat. One second. Let me make this thing extra stable. Okay, nice. And then I think there was one more over here, wasn't there? Uh, no. Okay, that's fine. All right, we'll we'll, we'll do that. We'll do it like this for now. Okay. Nice. Okay. And then we'll just put it like right here, I feel like. Is that stable? Did it work? Nice. Okay, cool. It works. <laughs> this is this is the worst thing I've ever done in this game so far. All right, let's go, Korok. Let's do this, man. All right, my bud. Uh, let me just uh, walk along here. I'll put you uh, right in this minecart for now. Okay. All right, sick. All right, let me just like walk across the bridge really quick. Um, put you over here. Yeah, that seems stable. Okay. And then just like walk across our bridge. Uh, and then uh, all right, like this. And uh, there you go. We did it. <laughs> Incredible. Once again, chat, you can't you, you can't beat a regular bridge. Frederick lives in our hearts and always will be. 
There's my friend! <gasps> You're here! Oh! Uh -huh. Look at them! Friendship! I made it, thanks to you! Reunited at last. Thanks. I'd like to give you something, but here's all I have. Oh, we got two Korok seeds for that. Wow. Oh, so you can get Korok seeds from little quests too. That's so cool. Yeah. One from each Korok. I like that quest a lot. That's really cool. He's so cute. You're adorable. You're adorable. Look at the, look at the cooking pots and everything. Oh, I'm dying. Uh, all right. What's over this way? Oh, oh more zone tonight. Okay, cool. Uh, so what if I... Can I still... Okay, I can't attach you. All right. Um, so we got to go up to there, to that shrine. That's the next uh, goal that we have right now. Um, <laughs> seems like we have a little bit of a problem here. Huh. Well, <laughs> there's only one way to solve it. <laughs> Just take our little uh, contraption here. You can like, can I, oh, I can rotate it, right? All right. Take the contrap. Oh, sorry. Uh, I was a little bit. Go right here. You can like the side here. Oh, oh, oh. wait. I feel like this could work. <laughs> hmm. Okay, how would you actually do this puzzle though? Wait, did the minecarts fall off? This oh my god, I only picked up half of it. Wait, the other half of the, the monstrosity just didn't... Wait a second. Somehow... How is this... How is this working? Oh, wait, can I just do that? <laughs> wait, can I actually just walk across it? Like, like genuinely? Like, is is that like? I don't think that's the solution, but I feel like that could be a solution. Okay. <laughs> hey, is it is it Zelda if you don't have cheese? You know. Like, hear me out. Um, I feel like if we solve everything through completely stupid means. It's just so much better. No! What was on the ground there? Okay, hear me out, guys. Okay, I didn't solve it yet. I didn't solve it yet, but, but we have, we have the sil- Are you, are you, are you kidding me right now? You spawned me here? I was over there. I used all the mine cards here to make that. Okay, well, time for plan uh, C. Focus. Nice. Okay. Okay. Easy. Look at that. Easy. All right. That's just what, that's just the energy I need for later. Uh, easy money. Thanks so much for the channel membership. All right. Let me, uh, uh, do I need, uh, sure, I'll just do this. Okay. And I'll walk across. Oh, okay. 
No, we're doing. I I literally I do not care. I think. Okay. So here's my here's what I think the actual solution is here, uh, to this is that you use multiple mine carts to get up there, uh, like all attached to each other with maybe a fan hook, uh, to it. I think that's the actual like that's one solution. Another solution you could probably do is like use a hook, um, and then below it you use like um like a platform and then you propel the hook with uh fans that also could work um those are like the that's what i'm thinking for the actual solutions there um however i think it's just so much better if i walk across all right i just think it's i just think it's funnier <laughs> if i just disregard any solution that could actually exist here and do it the stupid way hey but it's not stupid if it works right like you feel me Also, uh, chat, if you're not subscribed already, uh, subscribe. Uh, we're almost to 1.7 million subscribers on the channel. Almost 1.7 million, dude. All right, we can do this. We can do this. Shoot. Uh, actually, we could, uh, if, I, if I'm correct, we can actually get 1.7 million today. Um, if, if enough of you guys subscribe the stream like we could literally get 1.7 today okay walk shoot yeah we have 1.69 nice okay. yeah 1.7 subscribers no okay do this let's do this, let's do this. <laughs> okay maybe it would be easier if this did not exist right now on me Okay, let's try this. This is the definition of insanity. But I believe. Is it stupid? Yes. But it might just be stupid enough. It's like a delicate balancing act. Would this work better? Oh, it would. Okay. Well. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. This is the line. Maintain. Steady. Steady. Steady, hold. Hold. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. The cheese has begun. Okay, keep it on, keep it on. Okay, don't, okay, slight movement, slight movement, slight movement. And make sure we're in the center of the rail. Too far to the left, too far to the, sorry, too far to the right, too far to the right, too far to the right. Okay, okay. Maintain the same balance you have. Almost there. Almost there. Oh, yeah. Too far to the left. In the middle. We want to be right in the middle. Okay. Adjust it with the camera. Keep the walking the same. Same walking speed. Same walking animation. Okay. A little bit too low. That's too much to the right. All right. A little bit to the left. Almost there. Almost there. Okay. Okay. Come on, Link. Come on. Oh, too far to the left. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we've done it. <laughs> the stupidest solution to a problem. You can just walk across. Oh, God, I love that. God, I love that. That's uh, too good. It's too good. It's simply too good. It is unmatched. All right. Now I uh, just, 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 um, for just in case, you know, just want to, want to save real quick. You know. All right. Dude, I cannot wait. Ah, uh, this is gonna be so cool. All right, what's in here? Woo! A portable pot. All right, nice. Oh, so many subscribers. Oh my god, we got like, Jesus, we got like forty just in that like last minute. Th thanks, guys. <laughs> Jeez, that's a lot. Uh, all right, where else should we go from here? Um. Oh, I guess like, oh well, you know what? Like this was. 
This was just to get to the charge. I feel as if this wasn't totally necessary. And I could have just gone over here. Ah, oh well. <laughs> eh, it's worth it to me. All right. Uh, and then, yeah, over here is... So we can go into this spot, which is like the cold area. Ah, yes. We get the classic spicy peppers here. Uh, when cooking, can raise your body temperature uh, uh, and uh, allow you to go through cold areas. Okay, cool. All right. Hello. Discovery. The pit cave. All right. Uh, chat, I'm going to really quick uh, go to the bathroom, okay? Um, so I'll be right back. Um, uh, in the meantime, uh, in the meantime, chat, um, him. Uh, it's, he's the doodle plushie. He's so cute, right? Doodle, little doodle plushie. He's available now uh, if you want to go buy him uh, at pointcrow.shop. The reason why I mention him is I'm going to leave him... I'm going to leave him in charge of the stream and make sure, make sure he behaves and make sure he behaves. Um, so, uh, so, Phoenix, uh, thank you so much for the membership, the channel membership. All right. Uh, I don't know, play Duck, Duck, Goose while I'm gone, you know? Him. Him.
he fall? Yeah, did he fall? <laughs> that is so sad. Oh. All right, there we go. All right, I need to take like stretch breaks too. I'll be streaming all day, you know. I've been streaming. I've been live for three hours. I'm planning on going for a, like five to six more, you know. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um. All right, everything good? Wait, any crackles? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. All right, we should be good. Yeah. All right. Um. Let's get some bright bloom seeds over here, and then uh, we'll cook up. Yeah, there's some... All right, let me... Yeah, you hear that? The little crack on the back? Here, I'm going to have to do this again. But that's totally fine. Um, I... <laughs> Chad, are you guys liking the playthrough so far? <laughs> How's it going, guys? It's, uh... It's... it's dude, it's, it's so much fun playing this. Okay. Yeah, I'm literally one hour per shrine at this rate. Eh, it's a whatever. Yeah, love it. Okay. All right, so if I do five here... Spicy hot 17 and a half minutes? Yeah, okay, we're good with that. Uh, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. That, that was a crit cook too. Yeah, every now and then you get like the chance to like crit cook where it does like more. So four gives me what, like 10 minutes? That's actually still, I feel like that's still more than normal. That's awesome. Did I talk to you yet? I don't know if I did. Uh, the snowy mountain above us is extremely cold. Unprepared travelers will swiftly lose vitality. You may even die. Uh, I am all set. I'm actually, I'm all good. Okay. Yeah, like, I'm all good against the cold. I got it. I got it. Like, he's too good. Uh, he's simply too good at the game. Um, hello and goodbye. I, it's just like the, the, fusing all of these weapons and like seeing everything. Ah, oh, man. The caves. Just very well done. Oh, there's more in here? Cool. Over here. Wait, do I hear a frog? Oh, I do hear frog. Oh. How much damage do I need? Oh. Okay, where are you? Come on, come back here. Come back here. Jesus. Guys, not easy to hit. Hey, we got him though. All right, we got another bubble gem. Okay, we got two. Bubble gem. Does this do damage to me? Oh, I don't know. Interesting. All right, more bright bloom seeds. Ah, that's so helpful. Now, the fact that you, they give you so much is like, they know. Like, they know. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm doing too much resource collecting, but like, come on, guys. Like, you kind of need to. Two. Okay. Um, can I unfuse this? Uh, uh, destroy fused material. Okay. And then let me fuse like this. Okay. All right, this worked. Less effective though. Oh, there's so much more. Oh! Oh, it's a shortcut! <laughs> Whoa! Okay, that's all right. The classic, classic Zelda dungeon. Uh, ask, you know, classic, classic. Uh, Kyra Walsh, thanks for the uh, channel membership. Thank you. Uh, chat, by the way, I do want to uh, reiterate too, um, is that um, I will do, I will try my best uh, when like posting and playing this game, like on stream and stuff. Uh, I will try my absolute best and absolute hardest to make sure that all the titles and thumbnails uh, don't actually uh, like spoil the game. Uh, Cause I know it's like a huge thing uh, for anybody. I don't want you to like, you know, um, I don't want you to be going through YouTube uh, and like watching one of my videos uh, or like get recommended one of my videos. It's just like spoiler, you know? So uh, I just want to just make that uh, very clear. Cause I know a lot of people were like concerned, <laughs> you know, of that. So uh, what do you need? Oh, we can go up this way. Okay. Uh, and we're in the snowy area uh, with the, with the last shrine up there. Okay. Now let's 
do our 17 minute sauteed uh, spicy peppers and we should be good to go now yeah we did it what's that wait what's what's that up there once again what's that up there <laughs> the game that's how you know you've, you've made like pretty pretty decent you got pretty decent gig going on when like you have clearly hey just go to the three shrines and it's taken me three hours <laughs> you know what the? What is this? Oh, 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 oh. Huh? What? Do you have to shoot it? No. I don't. I don't think so. Like a receptacle or something I can put it in? Like to. Okay, first off, what's that? Oh, that's another Korok. Can I blow it? With like. What if I. I have a Korok frond, right? Yeah. And then... Huh? Unless I have to, like, collect it, maybe? Oh, I got it. Oh, you're supposed to collect it. Okay, okay. Okay. Got Korok seeds. Oh, all right. That makes sense. That makes, that makes some sense. All right, I, I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, and then we got a white choo-choo jelly. It's cold to the touch. If struck, it'll explode in cold mist. It's like our freezing arrows, looks like. Okay, so so it's like it's like you use that. It's like it's it's still a Korok, right? You... Oh, there's a Raru. Um, so it's like you you like blow the dandelion, right? And then you and then you catch the dandelion. A new cool Korok puzzle. All right, what's this over here? Once again, what's this? What's over here? The game. I'm gonna lose my mind. Um. Oh, you have to complete the cube. Are you like rotating? Ah, that's oh, it's spatial awareness. That's so cool. Wow, I like that a lot. That's now that's cool. All right. Uh, some Korok fronds and arrows and stuff. Oh, that's the, the arrow that we shot. Okay, cool. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. Wow. I wonder how I forget how long it took me to beat the Great Plateau in Breath of the Wild for the first time. Like that, it's probably like similar to this too. In speed. All right, what's up, Raru? Uh, what you doing over here? The soldier constructs and captain constructs are only doing their duty to protect the Garden of Time. At the time, it was sadly necessary to protect our land from invaders. I'm terribly sorry for any threat they pose to you now. Uh, thank you. Uh, I know they're doing their best, and I am too. That's all you can ask for. Speaking of which, let's kill these guys. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, a murder! Okay. <laughs> Uh, it seems like like the Zonai charges and everything are going to be extremely useful later. So that's why I'm like kind of focusing on uh, making sure that like we get them. It seems it seems like it will be. Uh, let's actually get give a wooden stick, right? Yeah. All right, these might be helpful. Okay. And then and then it's like, oh, where do I go over here? How do I go over here? How do I do that? How do I do this? Oh my lordy! There's so much to do. Yeah, so we're literally just still in the tutorial area. Um, there's three different shrines that we have to get here. And uh, that's that's what we're doing. We're getting the third shrine, um, which is somewhere over here. Uh, hello. Oh, I... <laughs> You're wrecked, dude! Okay, wait, hey, hey, wait, okay, all right, stop, wait, okay, all right, hear me out. 
it's, it's, I didn't, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Long stick broadsword is what you made. If I just do this, you're going to freeze me, right? Yeah. I knew it. Oh, whoa. Oh, we, it just, we have like a flame thing just lying around. So if I just like fuse, um, uh, okay. So I can't use that because sorry, I'm already fused with that weapon. But if I use this with like a wooden stick, wait, yeah, with a wooden stick. Oh, oh, that's so cool. That's really cool. God damn. All right, what's this place? Frog, oh, frog, frog. Oh, I got him. Plug. A bubble gem is what this is. Right. And uh, so that's our third bubble gem. And then we got a. Okay. <laughs> we got a bomb flower. So bomb, bomb flowers are back, baby. Okay. A dangerous flower that contains explosive elements. Does not mix well with fire. Okay. Good to know. What's up, gamer? Oh, thank you so much. Thanks for the foods. Chat, say, uh, say thanks to Abby. She's my manager. She uh, got me foods. Okay. Okay, what's over? What the? Oh. Oh, whoa. Well, that's a lot down there. Well, that's... Oh, you can kind of hear an echo as well. Okay. More bomb flowers too. Wait, can I fuse a bomb flower with my... I don't have a shield. Damn it. I want a shield. Like imagine fusing a bomb flower with my shield. That's what I was thinking. Wait, that would just explode me, wouldn't it? <laughs> ah, another amber. Okay. Yo, Brandon uh, Greenlaw. Thanks so much for the channel membership. Thank you. All right, let's go on uh, and around here. Is that what I think it is? Is that like one of the light ikes or whatever they're called? From like Skyward Sword? Oh my god. They look so weird right now. What the hell, dude? All right, can I throw a bomb flower? I can only hold it. Okay. Uh, but I could probably burn it with this. <laughs> with fire. Burn it with fire. Oh, and then, oh, and then, it okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. If you burn it with fire, it does that. And then you can, oh, hit the, and then you can hit the, the critical point. That's so neat. Woo! Damn. Okay, so if you hit it with fire. Oh, and it dropped a chest? With an opal. Okay, wow. Contains the power of water. And then a like like stone. Oh, they're called like likes. Strange round stone. Uh, it's in their fluids. Cool. <laughs> it's getting greedy for elixirs. All right, and then we got a rusty halberd as well. Okay. Um, which I actually will take the rusty halberd. That seems like a useful weapon. Instead of the l instead of the thick stick, I think I'll take the rusty halberd so I can combine it with something. Actually, we can combine it right now. Um, if I, I think I have enough here, right? Like, yeah, I have a captain construct horn. Let me put that right down here, and then let me fuse this. All right, it's the captain one reaper. Uh, I wanna take the rusty halberd and. You know, use it with this. Oh. So we now we have like a really nice spear. God damn. God damn. Um, all right. Got some more blooms here. Let's make our way over to the third shrine. Uh, more bomb flowers. I feel like this will really come in handy later. I just can't figure out how to... Maybe I do it with a... Oh, okay. So let me do this. Let me do a construct bow. And then with the construct bow, let me use a bomb flower with it. Like, maybe like a bomb arrow. Yeah, that, that works pretty well. 
Yeah, that works pretty well. Yeah, and then you hit that, and then you're... God damn! Oh my god! This thing didn't stand a chance! Oh. Wait, and there's a flame emitter shield right here? Wait, so if I just, like... Wait, there's a flame emitter shield, so if I... Oh! Oh, we got a flamethrower, dude! <laughs> We have a full-on flamethrower. All right, what did you drop here, too? Probably like an opal or something, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Another opal. Um, but then there's also this here. That's so... Uh, the fusibility is amazing. Yep, got another flame emitter. Okay, cool. The fusibility, dare I say, is so fun. I, I can't wait to, like, figure out the most overpowered combination of weapons... Just to, just to, like, destroy the game. It seems too fun. It just seems too fun. I also wonder if there's any glitches that... Wait, can I do that? Oh, instantly kills it. Right. So if you use fire on a uh, an ice choo-choo, it instantly kills it. Good to know. Good to know. It's like uh, Breath of the Wild in that case. Same thing with, like, um, everything else. Um, like, with the wizard robes and stuff. Okay, so we got, like, another, like, giant... Oh, there's, like, two captains over there. Um, and then I think the... Yeah, the shrine's right over there. You know what? Let's do that. Okay, let's go do the shrine first. Oh, hard to climb vertical surfaces that are slick. Oh. Okay. Um, well, there's a waterfall up here. Maybe that would be around, like, the way around it to get there. Or... I feel like, I feel like if you just hear me out here. <laughs> just, 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 just hear me out. Okay, just, I, I swear I mean well here. Okay, it's just... It calls to me somehow. I don't know why. It just does. It, it is calling to me. It's what you need to see. It's what you need to know. I just have this um, just urge. It's a strange urge to combine three logs together. Oh, these are shapes. Yeah, they're they're like curved. Hey, you know it's all right if, if if your log is curved. Okay, it's natural. Okay, let me like attach this here. Yeah, that works. I'll take it. Okay, we'll do another here. Okay. Hey, look at that. Okay. So now, if this is correct, and it's all good, I think we may be able to... Nice. All right. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> uh, we have discovered how to climb... Slick surfaces. Uh, with a bridge. <laughs> Good job. We did it. <laughs> oh, I mean, there's there's probably a solution there that, you, you know, they're supposed to do by, like, going around and, like, building some whatever, whatever, you know. Uh, but we uh, we did it anyways uh, in, in a different way. So, we'll take it. <laughs> this works better in my opinion. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, the Gutenbach Shrine. Wow. Huh. Didn't know there was, uh, <laughs> didn't know the zone and I were German. All right, let's save here. Uh, let's do uh, the next shrine. The last shrine. All right, so this is the last shrine um, here. What power shall we get from this?
I love just like you just walk through. It's it's so magical. Hello. Oh. So you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. Okay. What is this power that we're getting here? Because we have Ultra Hand, we have Fuse, and the third one. Is? Love the symbol. Ascend! Move upward through solid material and emerge on top mm. of it. This is the ascend ability. It lets you travel through what's directly above you to ascend through it and emerge on top of it. Uh, you'll find it quite useful in all sorts of places and situations. Mm. Use ascend and then receive the blessing from this shrine. Okay. The ability to rise. The Gutenbach shrine. Uh, so if I just use ascend here, that works. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I love that. Oh, and then you exit. Wow. That's so cool. That's so neat. So so I can either ascend through here, the small one, or this large one. Can I ascend through here? In which case, yeah, you just go all the way through here. Oh, okay. You know. Uh, okay. So let me just like set you on fire real quick. Okay. And then I can just perk you. That's so helpful. Like the flame emitter is 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 such a a neat. Like you just you burn them and then you're good. Speaking of burning, do that. And then we can ascend up here. Oh, yeah, that's such a neat way of thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you ascend up there, and then now I can get the chest. Huh. Uh, I got another. Oh, actually, that came. Uh, oh, wait, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Y you can. I can drop one from. Oh, you can just drop from this menu, with X to drop. That is so useful. That is so useful, dude. Wow. Oh, there's a chest right here. Hello. Uh, a stone axe. Okay, so if I just wait here, uh, then I can drop, like, let's say this. Okay, cool. That's a really cool quality of life. I did not see that. I like that a lot. Such a good quality of life improvement, especially since you pick up so many things overall. Um, well, I can just do this. Damn! Great animation there. It falls. So then I'm wondering, in this case, I, I can't normally get up here. So I can just use a send to get to the top of here. Ah, that I, the, tra the traversal that you can do with this, I feel like is phenomenal. Like it'll be really cool to see all the possibilities from it. It's like, you have to keep aware of what's above you almost at all times. It's like satisfying. It's incredibly satisfying. All right. And that was the third shrine. You've done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. All right, and that's the third light blessing. Yep, see the mouse going away. Yep, the third light of blessing that we've gotten. And that's all three. Now we can go to the Temple of Time.
I also gotta eat today, you know? I'm gonna be live for like nine, nine hours. Yo, Raru! I see you have restored some power to that new arm of yours. Mm. The door into the Temple of Time should now open for you. We did it. We did it. Uh, there's actually another capsule over there. I kind of want to check it out. So, yeah, okay. So now all we need to do is go to the Temple of Time. All right. Now we can just descend through here. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love that. Oh, uh, Link, Link looks like... Oh, that's so cool, dude. I love that so much. That's so neat. Archaic warm greaves. Uh, despite the old look, the heat retaining material makes it pleasantly resistant to cold temperatures. Nice. Okay, that. Okay, the design though. Actually, man's actually has drip. God damn. Uh, now I do miss the warm duble. Obviously, I feel like you guys do too. But we'll take the cold greaves. Can I, like, just ascend? Oh, my God. <laughs> of course. Of course. Uh, yeah, ha, ha. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but you can't descend. <laughs> what the hell is this? All right, let me go this way. Wait, what are these? They're gliders. Wait, do we not have a air glider anymore? <laughs> we totally should. All right, ascend is so useful. All right, you know what? I I think out of all three, of ultra hand, fuse and ascend, I think I like ascend the most. I'm like I I'm not even, I'm not even joking. Like ascend is the best one, like by far. All right, wait. If I actually want to go over here, oh, right, 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 right. So what you want to do is use you want to use ultra hand. Wait. We have so many left over still. Okay. Looks like we're getting more than three abilities here. I gotta get used to pressing L and then like holding L. Oh. Oh. Oh, if you press B, you just like back down. Okay, neat. I uh, just want to uh, give a small reminder as well, uh, just since uh, I think my moderator is probably working overtime right now. Uh, no spoilers, uh, obviously. Uh, I don't know why you would spoil for somebody who's playing. Uh, I have yet to be spoiled. Um, but I just want to reiterate, just in case um, you, gotta, you feel the obligation or the need to. Uh, no spoilers. I want to figure things out for myself. That's part of the fun. Of uh, or like backseating of like, I don't want help to play. I want to figure it out for myself. Oh, we got wings. Okay. A Zonite device that can harness lift to ride the wind. To fly farther, try balancing in the center of the wing. Oh, interesting. interesting, interesting. Uh, but yeah, just FYI, uh, I'm not looking for help. I'm looking for you to pog and be like, whoa, that was so cool. Or laugh and be like, ha, 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 LOL. Or like W or something, you know? Uh, just to give just that little FYI so that we can all like have fun together. Um, like, let me struggle when I want to struggle. Uh, and then also... Uh, uh, for 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 story stuff or whatever, you know, like spoilers are like never, uh, never welcome. Because, you know. Okay. Well, okay. So we have another one of these gumballs, machines. Uh, it's been uh my maintenance duties are complete for the day. There's been another cycle with no visitors. Ah, I'm hello. I'm a visitor. Um. Oh. Uh, this is a rarity. It's unusual for me to receive visitors here. So we require Zonai devices to send them out. 
Uh, I will use the device uh, dispenser for sure. Yes. Okay. So if I put in like Zonai items, and you'll uh, dispense out other things. So let me put in these. All right. Mama wants a new car. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it's so many of them. All right. So we got portable pots, fans, 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 flame emitter. We got some wings as well. That's the new thing we got here. Whoa. Whoa. Hello. Do I like hit this or something? Like... Yeah. Oh, that's a send. Wait, let me ultra hand this. How do you like glide with one of these though? Okay, I can't rotate while I'm on it. Be free! <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's That's not how you do it. That's that's not how you do it. Alright, what's up, Raru? The Zona devices were the pinnacle of our technology. We built an advanced civilization with them and flourished for many, many years. Oh. If you can master the use of the Zonai devices, your quest will be much easier. Uh, all right. Um, so you kind of like launch from here. You put them on like a track, I guess. Oh, 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 come back, come back. Okay. <laughs> That's sick, though. All right, so this is blocked because of the um, here. So what if I just like flame this? Can I like can I can I make this like melt? I can. Oh, that's pretty neat. Wow. Oh, this is so cool. Look at the glider, dude. Oh my god, the game's so pretty. <gasps> Oh, wow, dude. The bell tolling. So if I go to the right a little bit, I can like, I can make a turn. And if I want to descend, I go down. So you can like, you can really uh, steer with these things. That's pretty neat. Pretty cool. What a beautiful landing. Take a look. All right, we're gonna take a just, just, just look. Is it like Pro HUD? This game, man. This game. Wow. All right. Scarlet, uh, thank you so much for the uh, channel membership. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right. So now, uh, we've gotten all three of the shrines across the Great Sky Island. And, uh, well, looks like we've now unlocked the power to go inside of the Temple of Time. Let's see what's inside. Uh, well, hopefully Zelda's inside. That's what we were promised. Whoa. Closed door is complete. Whoa, what is uh, what is it? Like one of the uh, ambers. Yeah. 
Zelda. <laughs> Hi. Her, her things. <laughs> What's going on? She okay. This also kind of reminds me of the area of uh, Skyward Sword where you fought the Mize. What is that? Okay. We got some Zonai gear into our arm. Boy, Boy Zelda. Boy Zelda, where you go? Got some sort of altar too. Interesting. What was that? Right, we got recall, reverse an object's movement until it goes back to where it was. Stop the reverse movement at any time. Hmm. Ah, recall, the ability to reverse the movement of an object through time. That's so cool. And Zelda has vanished as well. Hmm. What you saw, it's a mystery even to me. Perhaps it was sort of a echo, one that reflects her sheer will. Hmm. Uh, that you've now been given the ability, no doubt, it'll prove important. Oh, okay. Find Princess Zelda is our new objective. Uh, in the Temple of Time, uh, she took your hand and gave you ability known as Recall. Now the temple's dif deeper mysteries await you. Wait, is this like a full... What the hell? So it stops time temporarily and we can choose like what to rewind? Uh, yes, please. So if I do this, I rewind this and I can go up here. It rewinds the time so I can get up. What the hell just happened? Yes, sir. Okay, wait. I want you to be a little bit more down. So, like, right here. And I do that, and it reverses time. And I can get back up here. And I can cancel at any time with L. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, we have a goddess statue here. Hello? We have literally the power to reverse time. The goddess statue smiles upon you. Uh... Okay. Oh, you're just... Okay. I'm so glad that she smiles upon me. <laughs> I thought there was going to be something else. <laughs> no, okay. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, what's here, though? Oh, you see Ultra Hand uh, on there. Oh, we need a certain amount of hearts? Open these. Oh. It's like the Master Sword. Mm. This door stands as a test of your own overall vitality. Mm. You remain in a weakened state. You're not yet strong enough to open it. But there's one more shrine on this island. There. You get another blessing. Oh. oh. If you add that to the other blessings you received at the shrines and offer them all to the goddess... You might just find your way forward after all. All right, so there's actually four shrines. <laughs> Let me see the Pyro Pad. So where's the fourth shrine here? It's in the middle, isn't it? Uh, it's in the... See all the blue marks on your map? Yes. Yeah, I, uh, you can travel instantly to any one of them. I suggest the one at the bottom of your map. Uh, use the travel function to reach that area quickly. You'll find the last of the island shrines around there somewhere. 
Right. Right. Okay. 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 So that's actually like a really cool thing of like, oh, by the way, you missed one. Uh, you, you got to go do the map again. I wonder if like you knew about it beforehand, like what would happen? So we can go back to the room of awakening here. Yeah, why did they name it the Puripad? I don't know. I don't know if I like the Puripad. I like the Sheikah Slate better. <laughs> uh, wait, I can reverse. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, in order to get out of here, right? Because I'm assuming we can't just use Ascend like off the rip, right? Like we can't just like... Is this Ascend? Wait, what is this? Map. Oh. Oh, we can... Oh. Huh? Huh? Okay, so you can, like, hotkey the map? Okay, that's an interesting choice. I mean, couldn't you just do it with minus? Uh, okay. Right, can I ascend up? I mean, wait, I can... Wait, there was a moment where I, I can ascend right here. Nice, that's not exactly where I think the game wanted you to ascend, but we'll take it. <laughs> Don't ask how I got there because I have no idea how. Um, Neato. All right, so we're supposed to pretty much use like all the things that we learned here in order to do everything else. All right, let me go into this cave here. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we can go up. I, I actually, I wonder if I can just like ascend here. Um, I probably could. I just want to check out the rest of the cavern though. If there's anything like of importance, like nearby, there there might there why there is, and there is. Knock, nacho ya, <laughs> the, na the nacho shrine. <laughs> the nacho shrine. Okay, all right, cool, 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 cool. Hey, you know I'll take some. Uh, who are you? Uh, this is a crystal refinery. You can take your crystallized charges and produce them with energy wells. Yes. All right. Get to producing. Um, a hundred crystallized charges. Ah, uh, that's that's a lot of charges. Return when you have collected a sufficient amount. One note regarding the zonite: required to precise uh, crystallized charges. The mines on this island have nearly run dry. I doubt there is enough left to produce an energy well. But there's more to be had. Check the distant depths of the world below. Um, okay. Energy wells? I thought that's like the batteries, right? Increase the capacity of the energy cell you're wearing. Okay, cool. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's, wow, that's a hundred is a lot of them. Uh, I, that's so cool to know. Uh, what's over here? Oh, oh, this, 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 uh, means that we can go back to the Temple of Time pretty fast. Okay. Uh, let's go check out the last shrine here. Uh, kind of like stored on us at the last moment, but I'll take it. One last shrine so we can open the door to the outside. Link's become a full power bank at this point. Yeah, Mans is like, Mans is going to be like a, a 30 megawatt an hour battery or something, you know, to charge your phone. Literally, you just like plug into Link. That's maybe, uh, maybe we don't. That's not what I meant. I mean, like, you just... Like, it's, he's like a charger, like, with, like, the, whoa, chat, the ability to rewind. Look at that one. Look, look over there. It's the, the nacho shrine. Isn't that, isn't that so cool? The nacho shrine, ability to rewind. I keep trying to do up. It's on the D-pad to, to do it. Wait, so if I can rewind time, does that mean I can, like, rewind this? Yeah, that's so cool. You can stop it at any time. Cool. Wait. Wait a second. So you can do this. Hello. Carol. Boom. Boom. Wow. <laughs> God, that is so cool. Oh, that is such a neat ability. I love that so much. Okay, so these are like locks. Okay, uh, so that's the end of the shrine over there. Um, and then this is the other part of the shrine. Well, you know, I gotta get the, I gotta get the chest. Okay. My bad, my bad, my bad. There we go.
Ah, uh, 10 arrows. Okay, Nito. Oh, I need to stop them. So how do we do this? Okay, so um, does this open at a certain time interval? How does that work? Right there. Oh, you can choose which direction. Oh. Interesting. So if they're together, trying to trying to grasp this. Anytime they're together. Okay, you can just do it like that. Okay, you can reverse time of one of them in order to make them equal. That makes sense. Pretty cool. Last shrine. Not too bad. Love that. Uh, chat. Uh, just want to once again uh, say thank you so much for watching. Thanks, thanks for being here. Uh, appreciate you. Uh, for the editors who's uh, editing uh, this portion, uh, I'll do it after the Temple of Time. And you have like a nice arc. Yeah, dude. And this is the third light blessing. Light of blessing. Sorry, the fourth light of blessing. The fourth light of blessing. Yeah. Wow. Anyways, um, well, if you're watching this right now on stream, uh, subscribe. Uh, now's a good chance to. Um, if you like, if you like all this, and if you want to see an edited version of this stream, it'll be available um tonight. Uh, after stream, I'll be live for like eight to nine hours or so. Um, the video uh, of the edited portion of this uh will probably be out tonight. Um. I'm not stopping stream. I'm just telling you guys right now. Uh, so subscribe uh, if you want to you know, be notified of when that comes out. Uh, just in case you missed the beginning of it or, you know, you're not going to be here for the end of this. So. All right. Nice. That's the fourth one. Uh, find Princess Zelda is updated. All right. Let's go back to the Temple of Time. I don't think we can teleport, right? To the Temple of Time right here. Um, uh, no. I mean, we can teleport to this shrine. Why? It might be more fun to take one of these. Let's do Ultra Hand. Am I stupid? I might be. These gliders are pretty neat. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm kind of afraid because. Whoa! Whoa! Wait! Wait! Whoa! Whoa! One second! One second! What's this? What's this over here? Oh my God! That's totally a Korok, isn't it? God damn it, dude. Am I gonna do this? Am I really gonna? Okay. Boop. <laughs> um. Hey, yo. I, I meant to do that. Nice. Nice. That was, that was, that was great. Um, uh, yeah, ha, ha, you found me. Right? That's, uh, for some reason, the Korok animation didn't play. I think the game's kind of glitched out right now. That was a little weird, a little odd. All right, here we go. Yeah, you know, this is why I was never good at Fortnite. I didn't want to do that. Whoopsies. Uh, I am pressing the wrong buttons. I know, Superman right into the ground. Yeah, I've been told this is a long game too. So I want to make some substantial progress today before, uh, for like a video. Because if I, I'll be honest, if I don't make substantial progress, I'm kind of afraid a little bit. <laughs> Um, that I won't be able to have a video for you guys tonight, but I'll try. Yahaha! There it is. There's the Croc seed. Okay, cool. Uh, now let's... Oh, I tried to listen to sprint again. Let's go to the Temple of Time. If I just do this... Wait, I'm totally dying it, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, can I just teleport, like, while I'm falling? I can! <laughs> no!
Nice. That'll save me in a pinch. Uh, once again, chat, I have never died on the stream yet. At all. Sorry, not even yet. I've just never died on the stream. You've never seen a death taken here. Uh, simply too good at the game. Simply too good at the game. Okay. Now let's go... Yeah, back to the Temple of Time. Uh, just like a little bit up here. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Uh, this is... I, I'm just like so curious to know because I mean, I've spent four hours... <laughs> Uh, four hours on uh, the beginning part of this game. I've heard it's like a 80 to 100 hour game. I mean, I honestly, similar to Breath of the Wild in that case. Um, and I want to be able to play as much as possible. Hey, I've been in one shrine an hour. That's a lot. But I've been having fun with it, you know? I've been having fun with it. Uh, and I can't wait to speed run this too. I feel like that'll be like kind of fun. I wonder what speedruns are going to get up to. Seems like there's a lot of like breaks in this where it's going to be kind of difficult to speedrun. Um, where it's like you have to do this, you have to do that. But I mean, if you get some like, if you get enough sequence, uh, sequence braces, uh, if you get enough sequence breaks in the game, like you can really do anything. Um, so. Yeah, speedrun for this is going to be wild. <laughs> Sorry, it's going to be uh, tears. Uh, not not wild, not Breath of the Wild. <laughs> all right, anyways, right, here we go. Nice. All right, now uh, now that we got our uh, four uh, light of blessings, now we can redeem it for uh, a heart container. Yes. Uh, our first heart container, and hopefully we'll be able to get through the door now. first heart container and we now have four hearts go and bring peace to the world now let's see. now we can open this i think <laughs> we good just barely enough on the end of here. How did we even get up here? Who is Raru? There's so many questions. Ah, good. I see you have managed to open the door. You haven't fully recovered yet, but that is to be expected. You are almost beyond saving. By visiting the shrines, and receiving their blessings, I you, do have, you have mitigated eye. some of the corruption's effects. Though our time together has been brief, I am so happy that we finally met. You are exactly as Zelda said. done everything I can for her. Don't now go. it is up to you. Don't go! Raru! Oh, you're so cool! Goodbye, Mr. Goatman. Goodbye. All right. I'm Princess Zelda. You should be at the end of this, this area. Uh, oh, we can just um. Sorry, right, a little loud. There's a scent here, right? <laughs> just get stuck. 
it's just like. <laughs> um. All right, we just do it again. I just love that. It's such a funny animation. Dude, there has to be some way to exploit like where you can like ascend and like out of bounds it. Okay, here we go. Is this Princess Zelda? Like... <laughs> Why? Why still alive? The spirit and the sword. Zelda? How does... By the way, where Zelda is right now is like at the Great Plateau. Like, maybe I know too much about this game, but knowing the background and everything, she's on the Great Plateau. <laughs> That's where the location that she is. <laughs> I've played too much Hyrule GeoGuessr. <laughs> Interesting. <gasps> oh, that's such a pretty dragon. Whoa. Of everything below. Link, you must find me. Okay, we need to go to whatever that tower is and find wherever Zelda is. This is interesting. The Kingdom of Hyrule! <gasps> Wait, we can go below now? Updated Find Princess Zelda. Oh, okay. Well, dude, look at, look at all of this. Oh, but there's so much to explore, dude. Yeah, okay, so this is interesting. Um, so I know a lot about, um, like, where things are in the game, right? That's just, like, w that's just what it is, how it is. Um, like, in, just, you know, that's just how it is. Um, so Zelda... Received the master sword there. When she did, it, it was on the Great Plateau. The Great Plateau. I mean, I guess we go to the Great Plateau to find her. <laughs> like, maybe that's like my little cheat codes. Like, I already know where it is. But I'm very interested. Dude, I'm so interested. All right. Do a flip. Do this. Also, um, by the way, chat, um, if it's not obvious, um, I just want to say this. I'm not really reading chat, uh, like basically at all. I'm so sorry. Uh, I just don't want any spoilers. Uh, just in case my mods are like on it. Um, but just um, FYI, um, nobody likes you uh, if you spoil the game. Uh, literally, uh, people actively hate you. Um, so uh, yeah, um, just FYI, uh, just no spoilers, um, uh, or you'll just be banned from my channel because uh, you're stupid. Um, so um, yeah, uh, just basically. I uh, just want to give that little heads up because I probably I'm a, I mean I'm asking a lot of questions here of like man I wonder what happened to Zelda or like how did she get the Master Sword and stuff you know 
Um, so I just want to give that little FYI on um, on uh, on that. So just, just uh, no spoilers. Uh, so I appreciate all of you guys um, for for not spoiling the game. Okay. Um, so. Um, Okay, uh, for the editors uh, here, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut. Here's a slice for you. Let's take a look here, um, and let's let's continue on. Okay, so this is that's Elden Volcano. Oh, anyone part of the Cube Cult in chat? What is that? That looks so cool. Uh, and then Yeah, and look at Hyrule Castle. Wow. Oh, it's destroyed, dude. Oh, it is, dude, the Hyrule Castle is such a relic now. Oh, it's another cube. And then that looks like uh, a Zonai in a wheelchair. Sick. Oh, what is this, too? It's a weird malice hole next to a shrine. Okay. Let me save. All right, let's go down to Hyrule and we'll do it in style. <laughs> we can really go anywhere now, can't we? Uh, but we might as well head to that tower where the game is kind of leading us. Oh, you know what? We actually have to probably drop <laughs> into a... We probably have to drop into some uh, water here. Uh, Great Plateau. Oh, wait, where's. Wait. Oh, the Temple Time's still there on the Great Plateau. All the way back into Hyrule. Damn. Wait! <laughs> uh, should, I. <laughs> I, I missed. <laughs> wait, run it back. Wait, run it back. Run it back. Sorry, I was just I was distracted. <laughs> alright, it's my bad, my bad, my bad. Um, uh, alright, here we go. Um, uh, let's you know, do a flip. Meow! Sorry, that wasn't even a flip. I'm just, oh god, what did I what have I done? Alright, let's uh Alright, let me let me accelerate into here, I think. I think this would be a nice spot. Right about Kind of in the shallow area. But wow. Hyrule Kingdom. God, I have so many questions about all of this. Um, this is not the Hyrule that I remember. This is definitely not the Hyrule that I do it's all new. This is crazy. I mean, like, I I, I like get like the location. What the wait, surface sky. Oh, you can change between the surface and the surface ramp. Yeah. Oh, this is so neat. Wait, can I like? I am losing my mind over how cool this all is. All right, so let's go to uh, where we should, uh, which is to the tower over here. I wonder what this tower is. Uh, that's where we need to uh, lead with Zelda. Hello, you're a Bokoblin, and you're uh, carrying apples? Huh? <laughs> okay, I'll take some apples. Yeah, sure. Oh, geez. This is so cool, dude. Uh, okay, and then from that, we got a Bokoblin horn, which gives us uh, four fuse attack power. Okay, okay. I want to make like the ultimate weapon here. That's that's what I'm really after. It uses uh, such a neat idea too. Yeah, uh -huh. no, okay. And so what is this? It, can we do what I think we can? Hyrule restoration materials. Use these materials uh cash for all your building needs. Uh Hudson construction! Yes! <laughs> that's it's for the Terry Town when we built it. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah. If, okay, if you don't know Hudson, right? Um, um, Hudson. Hudson's the guy. Um, 
that uh, uh, helped us with, with Tarrytown in Breath of the Wild. Uh, Hudson Construction. That's so cool. Uh, well, I think we try this. Uh, let's let's do it. Uh, okay, so this is going to probably be ass to start with. I'm not gonna lie, uh, but we'll try it regardless. Uh, you know what? Actually, we don't need like a we don't need a big we don't need a big thing. So let me like move that over here. We don't need a big thing. We just need like a small kind of guy. Yeah. I'm free. Free falling. All right. So then we take this. And then uh, we rotate it. And uh, guys, I don't think I'm too good at uh, <laughs> making these things. <laughs> All right, let me place that there. I think I have to build it like this, right? I think I have to do it like this. I have to build like axles and stuff, you know. Uh, and let's make it flat put it on top here, attach it like that. Uh, and then, um, yeah, I can put this to the side. Look, it's modern art guys. Okay. Modern art. Okay. Like that. Okay. Don't roll away. And I need to do it for the other one too. What are you doing, Crow? I am... I am making the ultimate. The goddamn ultimate. Why can't I? Oh, shit. Uh, vehicle. You know, it'd probably be faster to walk, but, you know, whatever. And there we go. And then we got... Oh, that's not... <laughs> Guys, I think I fucked up. <laughs> Guys, I think I messed up. There we go. Okay. That works. Okay. So I'm going to do this. Um, and then take this, attach it right here. Okay. And take this and attach that right there. Oh. <laughs> All right. One second. It was a little, uh, not, not exactly as planned. I'm not gonna lie. Not exactly as planned. Um, uh, it's been a little bit better there. <laughs> it's a little finicky. Yeah, it's a little finicky. That's not what I want to do. Okay. Let me, let me try it with this. Okay. There. Okay. Nice. That's what I want. Oh my God. It's running away. Oh my God. Stop. Let me put there, and let me put this right there. Awesome! We did it! Okay. <laughs> uh, right, we need to power it. We need to power it. Um, uh, probably with these fans. Uh, so let me, let, me, let me put down like a fan here. Okay, cool. How do I, how do I turn this? Okay. Okay. So what if I like take one of these and then put it like here? Okay. Let me like turn it. Like that, okay. That's not what I wanted to do. Like that, there we go. Okay, 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 okay. So, so if I want to turn to the right, that, that was all of them. I just, I just want one. Uh, this, uh, this one. Ladies and gentlemen, our, our first, our first vehicle. <laughs> we, 
We've done it. All right. All right. Let me take this off. Let me take this off. Uh, you just throw it away. All right. Um, all right. Now let's try. Yeah. Okay. All right. Look, we're walking. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna walk. <laughs> Was not not really uh you know I uh, conducive to my time. Uh, we'll just we'll just move on. We'll, we'll be lined to Zelda here. <laughs> Somehow uh, I reverted back into the caveman era. Somehow, no idea, but we did it. It was, it was like pre-fire. Hyrule herb, nice. Uh oh, and a chest. I am so excited to explore all of this place, like everywhere here. Oh, a red ruby. Alright, so we got 20 rupees. That's our first money in the game. Uh, I'm literally beelining it here. Um oh, wow. Dude, Hyrule Castle's uh, kind of insane currently. Hello? Stop running. Why did you catch on fire? Oh, wait, what? I don't know what I burned, but I burned something. Oops. We'll take it. Uh, okay, so we're trying to currently, as a stance, right? We're. Why are you out here? Can I, like, do you drop one of those, like, blue stuff? The blue pee. Oh, 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 you drop rupees. Oh. If you, if you, if you hit one, it, it drops rupees. Okay, okay. So green rupee uh, and blue rupee. Okay. Uh, so in the face of murder, uh, we murder. All right, so we want to go. Oh, but it went into here. Oh, there's so many things I want to explore. Okay, no. Stay on track. I am going here. But, like, what's over there? <laughs> On track! I'm staying on track! <laughs> I need to know! The Maid Village Ruins. Right. Uh, nice. A Soldier's Broadsword. Uh, a light, thin metal sword uh, used by guards of Hyrule Castle. Its lightweight makes it easier to handle and enables quicker charged attacks. Oh? That's cool. Whoa. That's pretty neat, actually. So then if I do this, I want to fuse it. Um, wait, can I like... Okay. Can I like fuse from here with like something? Wait. No, I think I have to drop it, right? So if I want to fuse it with like a book goblin horn, I can like drop it and then I can like... I feel like there's a better way to do that. <laughs> Yeah, whoa, look at that. A Boko Reaper. Look at that fish bone, dude. Hey, where you at? Where, where, where's that Boko? You're over here. Yeah, I see you. Okay, you just threw a bomb at me. Cool. Oh, because you were holding fire fruit. Oh, interesting. That makes sense. I also got a fang. Uh, it's not very sharp, but it's still pretty hard. Cook with critter for an elixir. Right. I like the I really like the fuse mechanic. Uh, it's so cool. It's so neat. It's so oh. <laughs> You feel me? Like I feel I I correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I I think that is the exact verbiage that you should use when describing something that's so cool. I'm excited, okay? Alright, sue me. So sue me. Uh let's see. Okay. We can make a conscious choice. <laughs> to fall down the well. Because <laughs> there seems to be not like something down there, right? Or <laughs> we can continue along our path. But like, what, what, what? Okay, but like, what, what's down the well? Okay, what's down the well? Whoa. <laughs> 
What is this? A glowing cave fish? A luminous fish that lives in dark caves. When consumed, its light enzyme can make one's body glow? Oh. Interesting. And then what are these? Oh, oh, what are you? Oh, what is, what is, what is what, it's a bright cap. A mushroom that grows in caves, uh, cookie dish, uh, to make yourself glow. And then you are a sticky lizard. The suction of his toes allows his lizards to easily climb on walls. You can ask it for a climber on wet surfaces. Oh my God, yes. Yes. If wet, you can climb. They've done it. Best game ever. Best game ever. Finally. Oh my god. So if it's raining outside and you eat an elixir that you can that you can you can cook with that lizard, you can climb in the rain. Did that work? Okay, no. Um I have a stone axe. No, let me use uh let me use the um rock hammer here. <gasps> Oh, whoa. So many things. All right, rock salt, uh, seasoned meals. Okay. Dude, I am so excited for this. <laughs> like, what, like, what is, what are, what are the, the, the malice stuff? What is the, uh, like, what, what's the, what's the towers? Like, what, what where was Zelda? I, 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 what what do things look like now? Uh, I don't know how far in the future we are from Breath of the Wild. Like, what is uh, the Temple of Time? Like, the, the our Temple of Time look like? Which is different from the Zonai Temple of Time, right? What does that look like now? Um, How do I get out of this cave? Oh, I can just ascend, can't I? Wait, can I just... I can just do that, right? Oh my god, I totally can. Nice. <laughs> what are you?! <laughs> so many questions. Uh, okay. So let me use uh probably the Boko Reaper. I kind of like that weapon. Okay. Hello. Okay, I want to fight you specifically. Okay, uh, do I have a shield? I do. It's still... Let me do that. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, you're doing double? No. Okay, I killed uh, another poker there. He one-shot me! Damn! Okay. All right, okay. All right, this is a chalky boy. All right, it's, it's, it's chalk, uh, chalk boy goblin. He's a chalk goblin. I thought I would have one hit protection, but cool. Okay. Uh, I want to beat him though. <laughs> I want to do this. Nice. Uh, do I still have my shield? I do. Okay. Good start, good start, good start. Kills a lot of them. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Nice, he's almost dead, he's almost dead. He's dead! Okay, flame emitter shields are kind of insane. A boss bokoblin fang. Plus six. Fused attack power. I attach an arrow to increase attack power or stew with a critter to make an elixir. Uh, we also got a boss with cobbling horn, which is plus 10 fuse attack power. Okay. Yeah, that's great. That, that's super useful. And then a traveler's claymore. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, I actually want to drop. Oh, I need to wait on those. Right? So then I can, like, just drop from there. Yeah, stone axe instead of. Actually, it's the same thing, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, we got a uh, Bogo shield. 
Dude, hi. It's like, it's just, it makes it so much more fun to beat enemies because now you're like, dude, I can like upgrade my weapons by beating enemies. It just makes it so much more rewarding. Now. Like so much more than it already was. Because I want like, you know what? I really like the flame emitter on shields. So let me do that really quick. Let me just like drop another flame emitter um, and then put that on this shield. Yeah. Look at Hyrule Castle. Man. <laughs> and look at that. Oh my God. The Tempest. That Whatever that is, that completely reminds me of the sort of Tempest in Skyward Sword that you weren't like able to get into in the clouds. That's that's what it is. Like that's that's totally what it is, I feel like. Okay. So this is like a castle. Are we like assaulting a castle right now? Is this friendly? Um, hello. It looks friendly. Uh, could it be? Link, it's you. You're back. Where have you been? Last, uh, the last that anyone saw either of you or Princess Zelda was when you went to investigate the gloom. And the castle rose into the sky and everyone's been worried about what happened to you both. Pura has nearly worn herself out trying to figure out where you two went. Pura is working in that large building over there. Oh, we're about to see Pura. Please report to her right away. She'll want to know you're all right. Oh, sure, sure, sure. So, lookout landing. Oh, whoa. So, all of, like, the towers seem to be, um... All the towers seem to be very friendly places. What? What? Oh, my God. This is where the fountain is. This is... Okay, okay. In Breath of the Wild, normally, like, right over here... Right, this is this is right in front of Hyrule Castle, and right over here, exactly at this spot, is a uh, chest. <laughs> I know too much about this game. Uh, is a chest where you can get the Phantom Armor, um, and uh, there's a bunch of Guardians that are around here too, or supposed to be around here. Uh, wow. Okay. Uh, so can I go to the tower? Uh, you know, what? actually, let's talk to Pira first. Let's talk to Pira first. Yeah, let's go to Tira. Is that those footsteps? Is that Ravi? The other scientist? Ah. Yeah, yeah. He's the one that allowed you to upgrade uh, uh, your ancient materials and ancient weapons uh, at the Ocula Tech Lab. What an excellent night. Oh. Hey, you. Where have you been? Yeah, her head of Purapad development. Ah. Don't answer that. Tell me later. For now, you should hurry and go talk to Pura. She's been in a tizzy ever since you and the princess disappeared. She's in the building with the telescope. Up on the second floor. Uh, go see her and uh, give her peace of mind. The building with a telescope is over here. Pose? What the oh, I'm so sorry. Wait, it's a stone. What am I talking Pose? Pose. Do pose make a reappearance in this game? If you don't know what those are, they're, they're like, um, pose are like ghosts. Uh, like a ghost sort of like enemy uh, uh, in like Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. Uh, wow. Okay. Okay. I I'm also going to like unequip my <laughs> shield just in case. Oh, five arrows. Nice. Uh, wait a minute. Do you think, what do you think you're doing? Uh, I'm sorry. I just, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, Josh, use that for chasm research. I'll get in big trouble if you do. Uh, yep. That's exactly what I was thinking. My bad. <laughs> Oh, okay. Now that is High Rule Castle. I don't know if I want to go to High Rule Castle yet. That's, it seems a little scary, a little freaky. Well, it's my bad, you know. Um, let's see. What is this? Okay. So okay. So the building is up there. Um, in which case, why? why is, what is happening? Okay. I want to go up, up uh, and around. Uh, Scarlet, thank you so much for the gifted channel membership. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Is this Pura? <gasps> You're what? so small. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're like 13 with the buck teeth, dude. That hair, those eyes. Uh, do, do, doc. Oh. Uh, Dr. Pura. Oh, that's Joshua. Um, The swordsman. The swordsman has returned. Dasha. Wait, is this Pura? This is Pura. Wait. 
Okay. Now where have you been? Linky, you're not a ghost, are you? Hey. That looks interesting. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Step at a time. What exactly happened? Yeah, there's a lot that happened. There's a lot that happened. Head of Lookout Landing, Kira, and developer of the Pier Pack. You guys, touch grass, chat. Touch grass. <laughs> touch grass. Go outside. <laughs> so when you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, you discover a mysterious mummy which suddenly reanimates. <coughs> mummy? Sorry. Mummy? Sorry. Then Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. Yeah. Then later you wake up on a sky island saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. Yeah. You get the Pura pad from an unusual Pura. creature. It's Pura. And learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Raru. Hi, Raru. I miss you already. The master sword disappears. Yeah. You hear the princess's voice and find your way here. What the hell happened to the master sword? Now I'm really curious about what happened to the master sword. I can't wait to find out. Yeah. Huh? Then. What? Are you saying you came from up there? Yeah, yeah. We we came from the the sky. This Raru you met. I think that's what the first king of Hyrule was named. Oh my god. Okay, Raru was the first king of Hyrule. Hmm. Are they the one and the same? So much of this doesn't make sense yet. I'm certain that the mummy you found under the castle must be related to the upheaval. That's what they're calling it. The castle rising up, the ruins falling down from the sky. The mummy must be connected to it somehow. Because there's the calamity, right? And this is the upheaval. Calamity was the events that happened in uh, 100 years ago in uh, the um, in Breath of the Wild. And then there's the more. And then there's the most important detail of all. You're sure that you heard the princess speak to you? And she gave you a clear message to find her? If that was truly a princess, then that means she's alive! Maybe she's trapped beneath the castle and needs help. Mm -hmm. That settles it. I know only you just returned, Link. I need you to meet up with the search party by Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tirelessly for you two. Um, the captain in charge of the search is named Hawes. Okay, work with him to find the princess as quickly as yes. you can. I know the mummy may still be lurking somewhere around there, which is concerning, to say the least, but we have more immediate problems to deal with right now. I'm counting on you, Link. Dude, Josh is literally just like the entire time. Oh, we have character profiles? Wow. Uh, cool. Highest authority in ancient technology. Served Princess uh, Zelda's family for much of her life. Um, despite over being a century old, she reversed her aging to the extreme and looked like a child not too long ago. Keep that in mind, chat. All right, to the kingdom of Hyrule is complete. Dude, I just Josh is just like, oh, 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 he's alive. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, all in between the castle, the creepy money. I don't even know uh, what I'd do if it was me just down there. Just think about it, it gives me the willies. Swordsman, you got to rescue Princess Zelda. We do. Um, all right, so we got to meet up with Haas. Um, but let me let me explore what this is first. It's a tower, right? So does this give us access to like some of the? Yeah. Okay. Um, we can't actually do anything with it yet. But this is all made um, with, uh, like, uh, Shika technology? Shika? 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 Shika. Yeah. Uh, with Kakarika Village. This is really cool. Look at this development, guys. Wow. Such a cool, like, little area. You know? I'm, I'm really loving this. Uh, I don't know if you guys uh, remember... Um, but, uh, Tears of the Kingdom originally was supposed to be a DLC for, um, Breath of the Wild. I don't know if you know. Um, I, uh, 
I uh, really, you know, oh. is that neat? Um, and then uh, they had so many ideas that they wanted to put into it uh, that they were like, you know what? Wait, wait, hey, let's make um, a uh, um, let's make a full second game about it. Uh, so, and they did. That's one. That's actually where it spawned of a lot of people seeing like, oh, Tears of the Kingdom is a seventy dollars DLC. Um, it's not. Special controls. Oh, cool. All right. Uh, even Pure is stumped. It's hard to believe that the ruins just fell from the sky. I mean, they're from the Age of Legends, and now they're here. It's also strange, huh? Oh. Yeah, it sure is. But it's also a great opportunity. All of us on the Zonai survey team should count ourselves lucky. Uh, if it weren't for the upheaval, this never would have happened. Not that anyone knows what the upheaval even is. Mm. Well, Pure is investigating the appeal. She'll certainly provide uh, clues about Princess Zelda. But progress isn't great, I've heard. <laughs> uh. Princess all right, wherever she is. This ruins right here are exceptional. But really, who cares about all that at the time at this time? Now, the, the thing is, like, when we saw in the trailers and everything, everyone was, like, wondering uh, exactly, like, everyone was, like, wondering, um, sort of, uh, and I, myself, I was, like, how, like, where do the Sky Islands come from, right? Like, what, how does that come to be? But it, it, it turns out nobody knows. <laughs> like, I thought that they would, like, this, like, arise from the ground and become a whole thing. But no, they, they fell from the sky. I wonder, dude. I so wonder. All right. This is a crystal refinery. Oh, nice. Uh, well, we don't have. All right, we don't have a hundred. <laughs> Good to know that there's a crystal refinery there. Though. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So is this around where the? Yeah, this seems to be around where the Hyrule Exploration Team is. Oh, this is Castle Town. <laughs> There's a distinct lack of guardians and malice here, which is kind of cool. Um, pretty neat. They're kind of rebuilding this area. What is this? It's a silent princess. This lovely flower was said to have been uh, the favorite prince of the princess of Hyrule. They were once feared to have gone extinct, but it's not uncommon to spot them growing in the wild anymore. Oh, and it's I dedicate this monument to the memory of the souls lost to the calamity. Right, because at the very end, so so the Silent Princess. Uh, here's a, a small recap of some lore. Um, the Silent Princess was a flower thought to be near extinct. There was only a couple of them at all in Breath of the Wild. What just happened? Anyways, what I'm trying to say here, <laughs> this game, I'm telling, I'm trying to explain one thing and another thing happens here. I'm like, ah, oh, I want to see what that is. Okay. So the Silent Princess was a flower that was thought to be uh, near extinct. Uh, now, the thing is, is that um, uh, uh, in Breath of the Wild, and once you defeat Calamity at the end of Breath of the Wild, and you get the secret true ending, which we got yesterday, or sorry, we got two days ago on the channel, uh, where you get all of the memories and, and, and everything else. Uh, once you get that, then there's a, an extra cutscene at the very end uh, that shows a, a field of Silent Princesses who have now just bloomed. Uh, because of uh, um, because of your victory, and it's it's beautiful. So, uh, Princess Zelda placing a silent princess on the grave means a lot. It's, it's very symbolic. Hello, uh, Addison. <laughs> oh, you're you're part of Hudson Construction. You can tell because it's sun. Uh, well, darn it all. <laughs> um, uh, President Hudson, are you okay? That's so funny. Oh no, what have I done? <sighs> all right, I'm sorry, President Hudson. I won't let you fall over again. That was unforgivable. It's all your fault, startling me like that. Yes, I know it's just a sign, but I have a great respect for President Hudson, so I pin the blame on you. <gasps> unforgivable! Yeah, President oh. Hudson, you haven't heard about Mr. Hudson? He's the president of our construction company. He's the one appointed by the princess herself. She placed him in charge of putting those material caches everywhere, and now he's shouldering high rules restoration. Uh, of course, he's also the founder of Hudson Construction. And besides all of that, oh, I can't wait to see Terrytown, dude. Aww. Hey, I'm right in the middle of President Hudson's epic tale of heroism. Let me also refresh this because I'm getting crackles again. Um, so give it a second, chat. Pause, champ. Sorry, right, one sec. It's loading. Uh, yeah, sometimes uh, my capture cards, like, it, it gets, like, a little crunchy, the audio. So I just... 
preview it. All right. Hey, I'm right in the middle of the present Hudson's epic tale of heroism. Uh, well, fine. What was I doing before? I don't want the others getting jealous, so I haven't spread this around. But President Hudson's given, given me an extra special mission. That's to put up these signs all over the place to let everyone know that Hudson construction is a big deal. Uh, these aren't your ordinary signs, as you can clearly see. Uh, these portray Mr. Hudson himself in detail. Noble, glorious detail. Not for people for even one of these to fall over. And so I pledge to support him. Uh, don't worry, Mr. Hudson. I'm here for you. This seems like fan like fan behavior, to be honest. Also a little um, parasocial. Okay. Calm down. I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Uh, just try and let it go. What? Are you going to support him? All right. I'll let go. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you know what? You could probably, like, support this with something. Like, you probably, like, ultra hand this to something, you know? Like, if you do, like, this. And then, like, you rotate it. Oh. Well. I mean... Ah, you'll figure it out. <laughs> you'll get there. Um, okay, let's do one of these. Let's do let's do this. This shrine right here. The Kayanus? Kayo uh Kayo shrine. Uh let me do this. Dude, I keep I keep pressing up on the uh D -pad. Um, to switch runes and stuff, but that's not what you're supposed to do. Um, oh, this is so pretty. Yeah, whatever that was. Okay, right, let me do this first. All right, let's do this, Ryan. Yeah, these are cool. I like how they brought back shrines. I wonder if there's more. I wonder if they like, part of me, like, I don't know. A lot of people are complaining about not, like, the lack of dungeons in Breath of the Wild. I feel like there are some in here. Okay, combat training. Tutorial shrine. Okay. Yo! Yo! God, that looks so cool. Look at that animation, dude. The shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instruction. Do the soundtrack. Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. It'll create an opening that you can use to strike back. Yeah, I really like the uh, uh, target enemy, strafe, and jump. Okay. Okay, he's a little weak. Yeah, pretty soundtrack. Uh, you know what? Let's do something I don't care about right here. Nice. Do a backflip uh, to create an opening to strike back. So the goal currently uh, is uh, we need to uh, go to the Hyrule uh, Castle Exploration Team, uh, but we're doing a shrine in the meantime. We're doing a shrine in the uh, the meantime. You can repel attack if you parry with your shield at the right time. Right. So we already know this because, you know, combat master, you know how it is um, and all. Okay, perfect guard. Uh, with shield. Oh, I'm so sorry. I should not have used a flame emitter. Here we go. Nice. Okay. Fill up your power and at least a, a charge attack. Okay. Okay. Nice. That's a satisfying sound. Your mastery of these techniques has earned you access. I proceed within. I wonder if we're going to find out like the origins of Hyrule itself. I feel like that's accurate. It seems accurate. I also love how like Link's back has now like become like just like this weird like mountain of materials and everything, you know?
<laughs> like he's just like carrying a full knapsack behind him. Ooh, a zoanite sword. It's a zoanite sword made of zoanite. It resonates with attached zoanite devices to slightly increase its attack power. Okay, so it's like it's whenever you attach with a zoanite device, it. Uh, so like for example, okay, so if I were to uh, fuse something with this, so let's say like a um. Uh, what's the best zoanite device right now? We have a um, Captain Construct Horn, right? So I do that, right? Um, and then I fuse with it. <laughs> wow! It has plus three because it's a zoanite. Um, uh, it's it's a, a zoanite handle. Wow! It's a zoanite sword. That's cool. It has synergy. That's amazing, actually. Really cool, really, really cool. Uh, and chat, uh, if you like this stream and um, you're not subscribed to the channel, uh, subscribe! We're almost to 1.7 million subscribers. Uh, dare I say, we could reach it today. Uh, literally. I mean, I, we're at 1.69, nice. But, you know. Um, uh, subscribe uh, if you are uh, enjoying. Uh, and then also uh, subscribe because uh, this stream that we're, we're streaming right now, uh, it's being edited right now live um, by uh, my editors. And um, so later tonight, uh, we'll have a video out of Tears of the Kingdom for you guys. Uh, so subscribe so you can see it. You know. One point nine uh, six nine is a uh, is a great number, but I'm I'm happy to ruin it for one point seven. Okay, um, let's go to uh, Hyrule Castle here. The link looks so funky like this. I love it. Yeah, look at that, dude. Wow. Yeah, Hyrule Castle is uh, a little worse for wear currently. As it stands. Well, it quite literally is standing. Wow. Okay, well, we can open this with Ultra Hand. Yep. No? That's not Ultra Hand. That's Fuse. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't have momentum like normal. Wow. But it's it feels so weird, too, to, like, be entering Hyrule Castle, which was the end game of Breath of the Wild. Like, so early on. Like, we only have four hearts. Like, we're just casually, like, move, making our way up here. Making my way downtown, walking past faces, blasting up homebound. Right, is this where they're, they're supposed to be? Hello? Whoa. Uh, Link? No, it can't be him. I can't allow anyone past here. <gasps> the air is restricted to only those involved with the search for Princess Zelda. By direct order of Captain Haas. If you insist on passing, you'll need permission from the captain. Be in the first gatehouse. Okay. We also don't have cryonis, so I wouldn't be able to get past the. Oh, never mind. I can just lift that up. I lied. <laughs> I lied. Uh, there we go. Dude, I wonder, like, can you pull, like, a Breath of the Wild and just, like, go straight for you? I wonder if you could. That'd be kind of funny. All right. Um, oh, first gatehouse. That's not the. Gatehouse is up here. Uh, wow. Look at this. Uh, just your friendly reminder as well. Please, no spoilers in chat. Uh, no one likes people when you spoil the game. Um, oh, okay. He's too busy, I guess. What do you mean? Oh. You coming here to help look for Vincent Zelda too? Yeah, I mean, a few others had the same idea. <laughs> um, but the captain is way up on top of the gatehouse here. It doesn't look like he's coming down anytime soon. We just showed up without being asked. So the best to stay out of the way until we can help him out. All right, well, oh, there's no way to get up there. Huh. That's crazy. I wonder if we only had a chance. Um, dang. Uh, if only we had a way to get up there. <laughs> That's so cool. I love Ascend, dude. This, this this is my favorite one so far. It's just so useful in so many different places. Like, there's so many, like, great use cases for it. Uh, 
Oh, what's this? There we go. Okay, is he on top? Oh, did we get? I did I go too? I went too far. Up. I, I went too far. Up. Uh, are you Captain Hawes? Yes, you are. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of something. Huh? Link, is that you? You're alive and all in one piece. It looks like. Does that mean that Princess Zelda is safe too? What a relief. Huh? Hang on, you're alone. But you heard the princess calling out to you. You're here to help with the search? Uh, I see, or maybe I don't. I'm a little confused, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters is continuing our search for Princess Zelda. Oh. I'm relieved to see you come up here and help us out though. We need some good news. The sheer amount of gloom. Oh, they're calling it gloom, not malice. Gloom. The sheer amount of gloom has gotten overwhelming. Our work carries on, but we've been a bit dead in the water. Oh. Captain, it's Princess Zelda. What? She's. Huh? Hmm? Princess Zelda, she's safe. Yeah. What? How... Uh, hey Zelda, no, hey Zel Zelda, Zelda, we're over here. Mother. <laughs> huh? Wait, what? Hmm? You saw that too, Link. You saw Princess Zelda turn into light and fly off, right? How strange. This is an emergency. Uh, this is an emergency situation. Hmm. I wish she'd leave without saying a word to us. We need to let Pura know about this as soon as possible. Considering what we just witnessed, I think it makes sense for us to withdraw. We'll take a bit, please. We must tell Pura about what happened here as soon as possible. All right. Um. Yeah. Uh, Zelda. What the hell, <laughs> bro? Come on. All right. So let's go back to Pura. Can I teleport back? Um, I can, right, because I got the, the combat training shrine. Um, yeah, I mean, what's down? I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm morbid curiosity. Yeah. That's not water. <laughs> morbid curiosity uh, makes me ask, um, what is down here? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was curious. <laughs> I was curious. Okay, so let's get back down. Uh, yeah, get back down. Uh, all right. And go tell Pura about what we found, which uh, is Zelda rising into the sky, weirdly enough. Strange, strange things are going on. I, I had no idea. Dude, I don't even have a paraglider. Like, I don't have one. I don't, I don't there's no way I can like, I just jump now. I, I feel so empty without it. It feels so weird like strange not have one i don't know i don't know why it's just like i hope we get one later uh, i think we should um i really hope we do all right um so we're going to talk to pura right now uh because we need to tell her we need to help pura that we saw princess zelda uh, turn into light and then rise in the sky which i don't know about you guys um, but if I saw that on a first date, that's a huge red flag. <laughs> like, hey, you want to go grab some, uh, some coffee? Maybe get some dinner? It's like, yeah. It's... Uh, okay. Oh, let me just climb up here. It's just easier. <laughs> All right. Hello. Uh, Link. Well, uh, did you find anything? Uh, yeah, so uh, Zelda kind of just turned into a firefly. Uh, yeah, she was at the castle then transformed into light and flew off. Gotta say, your stories are always so wild. Yeah, I was just joshing you. Get pranked, bro. Come on. If you, uh, you're telling me what you saw, then I've got to believe it. Hmm. Sounds like we need to change our approach. Since the princess flew off, maybe we should redirect our efforts and dig into the upheaval. For now, at least. I've already got a few regions in mind to start exploring. I bet we'll pick up clues about where she flew off to as we look around. Oh, yeah. You, you've still got the pure pad, right? Can I see it? 
a little worse for wear, but it seems to be functioning fine. Map, map, map. Aha! Mm -hmm. Oh, right. I forgot uh, that before we can look at your overall map of Hyrule, we need to add some map data from right around the lookout landing. And for that, we need to go to our Skyview Tower. Joshua, what's the status of Skyview Tower right now? Uh, let me see. Uh, is there supposed to be sound? <laughs> One sec. Let me reload. I don't know what's going on with my capture card today. Can you guys hear that? Oh. Man, I wonder why there's no sound. It's such a mystery. How will we ever figure this out? There we go. Outwardly, the structure looks to be complete. Oh, uh, but the travel point is still undergoing final adjustments. The travel point needs tweaking. Sounds like I better get cracking. Sorry about this, Link. I'll fix it up quick, so uh, hang tight. In the meantime, uh, why don't you rest up? You must be pretty tired. The emergency shelter is just the spot for you. There's free beds in the kitchen, so it's well-stocked getting some rest and rejuvenating yourself. You want more info? Mm -hmm. uh, talk to the soldiers watching over everything from the center, right where the emergency shelter is. Do you need clothing for your travels? Uh, you should go to Moob's shop. Or Mub's shop? I'll be over by Skyview Tower, so let me know when you're ready to head out. Okay. Yeah. So, uh... Um, <laughs> you can count on me, Doc. That's so funny. Okay. Um, so let's like see about prep here, I guess, before we like go to Skyview Tower and see what's up. Oh, you can see them working on it. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Hello. Whoa. Uh, glad to have you back, Link. Um, my name is Scorpius or Scorpius. I've been charged with uh, managing Lookout Landing. If you have any questions about the place, uh, come right to me. Ah. Now, please allow me to open up the emergency shelter. Ew. Hey, it's me! Open up! Oh, it's like... Do <laughs> what the hell? It's like a doomsday silo. Huh? What the hell? I, I, I didn't, uh. whatever I expected was not that. Um, this underground vault used to be an emergency shelter for the royal family. Now we're making constant use of it. Oh, feel free to make yourself at home in the vault. Use any equipment you want. Um, sure. What the hell? Okay, well, I can sleep here. Yeah, what kind of, I mean, I guess after we nuked Tyrule, like... There was a new, there was like a use for emergency shelter. What happened to the divine beasts? What, what happened to the? Witness the blood moons rise. When its red glow shines oh. upon the land, the endless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. <laughs> Wow. Why is Zelda like this though? She doesn't yep. sound like Zelda. She doesn't sound like herself. Very weird. Seems like possessed or something, you know? Very very odd. The blood moon, you know, it's like, it's, 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 it's not like of worry. It's just like a matter of fact. Like she knows this. What's this? Hmm? Hmm? Uh, oh, it's you, Link. Uh, pardon me for uh, getting lost in my uh, uh, work here. This map tends to get all of my attention. Oh. Uh, are you interested in different peoples of Hyrule where they live? That's my entire field of study. Okay. Uh, when I'm out in deployment with Monster Control Crew, I spend hours pouring over maps. As such, um, uh, it's various peoples and towns and villages. Okay. Cool. Ah. Uh, there's been an increase in the number of uh, unfamiliar monsters since the upheaval. We're out there. Oh. Interesting. 
Uh, can I take a picture? I, I don't think I have the, the picture rune or anything, if there even is one. Um, so I'm going to do uh, what they used to do in days days past. And um, uh, nice. Wait, sorry, sorry, wait. I just need to take. There it is. Okay, great shot. <laughs> just, uh, just you know. A little screenshot there. Uh, can I take this? Uh, Boko Reaper. Uh, well, if I can't, I would like to. There we go. Now, what is this? A Traveler's Sword. Okay. Uh, I think the Traveler's Sword would definitely serve me well instead of the Flame Emitter Club. Um, neat. Oh. Uh, is it you? Uh, okay. Uh, you might have heard, but when the upheaval happened, all of the weapons decayed. I poured so much energy in trying to fix them, but it's been of no use. Decayed. Oh. Yeah, just before the upheaval, gloom began pouring out of the ground. Uh, I clung to a weapon, uh, pulsing as if alive. We watched as the weapons rotted to pieces right before our own uh. eyes. All pretty wild. I don't understand how it happened. At a time when Hyrule Castle can float, I've given up trying to make sense of most things. Oh, oh yeah. In case nobody's mentioned yet, you're welcome to the weapons over there. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for mentioning that. I was totally waiting for your permission. <laughs> uh, they probably won't be much use to you since they're decayed. Ah, uh, but um, I do the Traveler's Sword. If I drop this, right? Or not drop the Traveler's Sword. If I drop... Okay, you can scroll. Wow, damn. That's a lot. Um... For a Boko Horn, let me hold this, put it down. Uh, and then I'm going to fuse this together. Oh, not the Captain One Reaper. I want this. Ah, uh, there we go. So we have a plus nine. That's pretty sick. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, hello. Um, I know that face. Any face I know is the face of a friend. I'll be stop standing in the shelter. Use as you see fit. But don't go Darren banking a mess and uh, kicking up dust. Where does all this dust come from anyways? All right, cool. Uh, let's uh, head back up. Some stuff below there, but that's good. All right, Nita. Right. This is pretty cool. God, this is so neat. Uh, I will spend more time later uh, going through like all the dialogue and stuff. Uh, but for now, I want to uh, make more sense of the story. You know? Hmm. And I put this in here, and that goes there. No, no, that's not quite it. Uh huh. Oh, that should do it. All right, let's do the tower. Hello. Hey, Link. You all set? I just wrapped up here myself. The travel point is working fine now. Or will be once you do your part. Hey. Hey, we're ready, Joshua. Pull the switch. Hey. Whoa. Look at, look at the Sheik attack. <laughs> oh, it's all lit up. Yeah, that's so cool. Whoa. Huh? What is happening? I guess it's just like showing where all the other towers are. Of like, hey, we see your message. That's so cool. All across Hyrule. Just to like keep connected, you know? Wow. That's really neat. Oh. All of Skyview Towers have now been activated. Yes. Okay, Link, your turn. Mm -hmm. Go and hold the pure pad over that terminal. All right. All right, so that's our teleport point, looks like. All right, the Skyview Tower is now active on your map. Uh, that means you can now use this travel point to get here at any time instantly. The same is true for every Skyview Tower you add to your Pura Pad. Impressive, right? But Skyview Towers are about more than just traveling quickly. Their primary function is to survey the area, or more simply put, to make a map. 
Uh, the pure pad works with Skyview Tower and scans the topography directly onto the map. Right. So it's like the Sheikah Towers in Breath of the Wild. Uh -huh. uh, basically, you find a map or you find a tower, you get to the top of the tower, mm. it upgrades your map, and you can see everything around. The only thing is, you need a paraglider when you're scanning. It takes a lot of skill, and nobody here has what it takes. To be honest, that's why we haven't tested it out yet. We needed you. Which brings us to this. The paraglider. Yes, I've been missing it. Press X midair to activate it. Mm -hmm. Right, it's showtime. Uh, let's start with the test scan. Now, it's time for our very first test launch. I mean, our first test. Launch? Huh? Just step over there under the circle and find me afterwards, all right? Huh. I'll be observing from the research lab. Sorry, test, yeah. test launch? Um, When the test scan is over, I'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda. And I'll also need to update your map with the places where the upheaval has wrecked the most havoc. Best of luck. Okay. Uh, so let's do this. What? Ah! <laughs> What's going on? Okay. <laughs> Hold me, I'm scared. <laughs> Whoa! It is a test launch. Oh, and we're scanning the area. That makes so much sense. And relaying the data. Wow. Service mount updated. Uh, oh, and we also survey the sky. Oh, okay. So there's not much in the sky above here. Okay, now, oh, oh, so it's it gives us like a free, oh, wow, so we can like glide now. Yeah, we can glide now wherever we want. That's so neat. All right, let's, uh, let's dive back down um, and uh, let Pura know what we found. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine like that's so, oh paraglider didn't work. I guess that was a good first test. Who's next? All right, we just need to do that again. Just ignore it, guys. Yeah, and that's how the story ends, you know? It's like, it's weird. Hyrule was thrown into chaos, and then the hero just died. The end. Back it up, guys. It's been great. It's been wonderful. Thanks so much for stopping by. Subscribe if you... There's so many questions I have about the world. It seems so... <sighs> so populated, so busy, so many things here. So, surface and sky. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Let's let's actually land this time. I promise. I swear to God, if I don't this time, I'm I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. Got it. <laughs> All good. Uh -huh. Welcome back. That was some good gliding up there, Link. I expected nothing less. So how did it go? Did you get a proper map scan? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, the map is crucial to our search. There's Skyview Towers in every region in the world. You want to make a point of visiting yes. all. Right. Uh, let's talk about the upheaval. It's affected more than just the castle. Reports of other strange phenomena have been coming in from all of Hyrule. Let's take a look at your map. The first report comes from Hebra in the northwest. Okay. 
Next up is Elden uh, to the northeast. Uh, the Gerudo are reporting trouble in the southwest. And then there was also one to the right that I totally... Yep. Yeah, over to the... In the in the far east. Uh, was that one. I bat figured that. <laughs> The strange phenomena are connected are the strange phenomena are concentrated in these four regions. It was the Zora, basically. I can't say for certain, but I've got the nagging suspicion that we might found find out more about Princess Zelda by looking into these phenomena. Um... Hey Doc, I don't know if this is helpful. I heard something weird the other day. It's about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at Rito Village over in Hebrew recently. Hmm. That's pretty weird, yeah. Generally speaking, I don't put much stock in here, see. Uh, but this does sound like it's worth looking into. Mm -hmm. Oh, and before I forget, Link, we've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in search of Princess Zelda. Uh, there's no one who knows more about the goings-on in Hyrule than them. The, the what? You can find them near the entrance of Rito Village. The Lucky Clover Gazette. Okay. If you do go there, you should speak to the, uh, speak with the editor. I'm sure she could help out in some way, too. Ah. I'll be here directing a variety of investigations the upfields, many chasms, and new ruins. I'll be also looking into the different villages. Someone somewhere might know what's happened to the princess. Yeah. I'm counting on you to check out the major phenomena that are troubling the regions around Hyrule Link. We'll find Princess Zelda one way or another. Okay. <laughs> so, um, here's here's the goal. Right? This is this is what we have to do for the game, it looks like. So, um, obviously, you know, we find some weird stuff happening at the bottom of Hyrule Castle. We're thrown up into the sky, and the upheaval happens where the Hyrule Castle gets thrown up and everything else falls down. And we have no idea what happened to the rest of the world. Now, uh, it seems like uh, there's reports, right? For regional phenomena um, from these four points uh, across Hyrule. And you can see like a really cool, like uh, regional part of the map here. Um, and they're highly suggesting uh, that we go uh, to Hebra, the Hebra region in Rito Village to check out what's happening over there. And uh, I say, let's do it. I say let's do it. Um, that seems like the the place to go, the way to the way to be, uh, and all that. Um, now, I also am very curious on like what's happened to the Great Plateau, uh, like what's going on over there. I really want to see um, uh, what the Korok Forest looks like, and we'll do all of this in due time. Um, but first, oh, let's do this. Wow. I wonder, can we... This don't sound stupid. Can we get to the top of Hyrule Castle? I... I wonder if you could. Can I do, like, a glider here? Okay, come back, come back, come back, come back. No, come back, come back here. Come, just, come no, come back. At least one of them. <laughs> I am in incredible pain. You totally could do that, though. Totally could. If you tried hard enough. All right. Let's go to Rito Village. Uh, actually, you know what, chat? Should we go to... Of the four, right? Let me label these for you guys. Let me let me, let me ask. I'll look over here. Um, of the four here, right? Um, one, two, three, or four. Which one should we go to? A lot of ones. Okay, let's do one. Okay. Wait, I have one more idea. I have one more idea. I'm going to use my last glider for this. Okay. 
Hey, right, this better work. This better goddamn work. Can I use, can I use like recall in the air? No, I can't. Okay, never mind. It, it wasn't gonna work. Okay. Um. Yeah, okay, let's head on over. Uh, actually, you know what? I wanna head on over here. Uh, first, before we go, I wanna, I wanna see what this is. Like this kind of like malice goop over here. I, I wanna see what this is all about specifically. And then we're going to go over to um, the Rito village and everything. Specifically, I just want to, I want to check with whatever this is. It, it, it doesn't seem very friendly. <laughs> whatever this gloom is, that's what they're calling it. Gloom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, dude, there's so many places I want to check out. I want to check out Terrytown. I want to check out uh, uh, Great Plateau. I want to see, like, what Eventide looks like. Hello? Oh, you don't damage me? You do damage me. Oh, no, Traveler, don't do it if you touch that well. What, what, what's going to happen? It'll sap your strength, and you'll end up like me. Too sluggish to move. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let me save. Please be careful. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me this. Okay. okay. If you take damage from gloom, your maximum amount of hearts will decrease. Huh? Your max hearts decrease. Oh, that's 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 a little different. A little crazy. Oh, a little wild. A little nutty. Uh, yeah. Well, what's down? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, buddy. What's the big idea? You can't just walk up behind someone who's standing on the edge of a chasm. For one thing, a nasty accident that surely could halt the research here. Yep. Chasm investigation is super important right now to the Zonai survey team. Uh, even one researcher had to uh, stop. Joshua, who was hard at work on plans over the lookout landing, would cry. Chasm investigation? Oh. You know, the giant holes that showed up after the upheaval. There are lots of them just like this one all over the world. You can see the bottom. Uh, they're so deep. So filled with mystery. They're really like trying to be like, yeah, don't go down there. They're like, don't, don't go, don't go down there. Definitely don't, don't do that. Uh-huh. It's so mysterious. Oh no. You might find some cool things down there. <laughs> oh, we already know who Josh is, right? Oh. Yeah. Um, Joshua, I uh, built that, yeah. Oh, also, uh, don't start me again. Deep in my investigation work. All right, yeah, that would that would suck if someone went down there. I mean, that it could be so dangerous uh, if someone did. Let's do a flip. Goodbye. <laughs> what is... Actually, but, like, seriously, what is down here? What the hell? Um, What? I can't see anything. What's going on? I reached the depths. Okay. Um. Cool, 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 uh, first off, uh, we got some fireflies, a deep firefly, dude, ew. it has, it has, one, two, is it, is, is that six or more? One, two, three, four, five. It's dude. Uh, there's so many wings on that. That's so weird. Multi-winged insect that lives in the depth. Um, so what you mean to tell me is <laughs> there's three aspects to the map. There's the surface, the sky, and the depths. Uh, I don't use this word often. Um, I think it's a very nasty word, a very dirty word. Um, and uh, very rare that you do use this, okay? Um, uh, but I me out, okay? am flabbergasted, absolutely flabbergasted by the amount... 
of map there is. Oh my god. Visage light root. Damn it. Oh, is this a shrine? Of sorts? I I guess it is. What? I don't Oh, it's like it's oh, it's like a giant lookout. It's a beacon of light. Now we can see even more. And it's a teleport location. That's super helpful. Dude, this game is too big. Oh! Oh, it's like a tower. Light root dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Uh. Yeah, what the hell is this place, dude? Okay, um, so I was, like, planning on going to Hebra, but, you know, hear me out here. Um, what if we just explore this a little bit more? What is this place? Um, I mean, this is, like, where Gloom is and everything, right? Skip and step. Grab, probably grab some of these, you know. But, damn. Okay, so you mean to tell me that there's <laughs> the sky that we have to explore, right? The surface. And then also the depth. Uh, there's so much of this game. Yeah, there, we're going to be doing this playthrough for like a, a full week. Oh my God. That's insanity. Actually insanity. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to get more fireflies here. Uh, for later. Okay. And then what's this? A muddle bud. A wildflower with a power, a powerful odor that can disorient and confuse, making it difficult to see friend from foe. So you can turn an enemy into your friend. Interesting. All right. Well, I'm gonna go to this next light route over here. Um, see what this is. Like down over here. Like explore a little bit more. God, this, this is dark, dude. Like this is. Oh, we got some bomb uh, flowers over here, too. What is that? Hello. Uh, are these, like, bloom... Hello. Can I... I can't hit you. Okay. Um, I need, like, a, a stone-handed axe. Nope. I can't actually defeat you. Okay. I don't have anything I can defeat you right now. <laughs> okay. I run. Uh, they're, like, gloom enemies. All right, let me do a, a big giant right bloom thing here so I can see more. Uh, okay, good to know, good to know. A puff shrew. Uh, a mushroom that spreads a clown of fine pour, uh, of fine spores when stimulus is applied. The bitter powder makes them inedible. Uh, also, okay, I'm gonna save before we get into this battle here. Um, but are those gloom moblins? Hello. Okay, let me just use my most powerful weapon here because I feel like that's accurate into what we need here. Okay, I did a lot of damage. Nice. Oh, I oh, you dropped someone nice. nice. Okay, and you're throwing your friends too. Great, right, glad you're here. Don't use that bomb. Don't use that bomb. Fine. Okay. Hell? Those frogs. Frogs, but not good frogs. What are you? You're like tadpoles. It's so weird. This is so strange. There's so many new things happening. My brain. Uh, but you drop like uh, break room stuff though, and uh, the zonite, which is great for later. Okay, let me like beat you. Oh, confuse the enemy. He doesn't know what's coming. Ah, you can't shoot me from here. Yeah, that's right. Ah, we're too powerful. Let's go. Nice. Uh, 
it, I'm, I have so many questions about all of those enemies that we just faced. Uh, there's, there's so many of them. Um, and they were all, like, filled with gloom. Oh, we got Moblins back. Nice. Uh, four fused attack power. Uh, and a Moblin the Horn. Oh, okay. Uh, with six fused attack power. That's pretty good. Yeah, all that ore, too. We have 37 of them. Um, let's see. Let me, uh, combine something here. So, let me... I can't drop this, right? Oh, wait, 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 I gotta do, like, unfuse. Specifically. Destroy fuse material. And then let me do... Let me add this. I've said, wait, wait, what the hell is this game? Oh, you dropped a rock hammer already. Okay. Can I drop from this menu? I can. Yes. Nice. That's so nice. Okay. Because I want more of this uh, zoanite uh, material. It seems like it's really helpful. Large zoanite of especially high purity. The amount of energy can concentrate in it allows for much higher out power output. Okay. Glad we're checking out. Glad we're exploring. Yeah, the, the, the depths are crazy. This is insane. This is ridiculous. It, it's insane. I... I ha. A puff shroom. I, I'm just... I'm blown away by the uh, amount of complexity this game has. Okay. Um. Yeah, let me do another... Fine one. That's super helpful. Okay. Yeah, I want to see what over here is, too. Because we're... <laughs> Dude, we could spend, like, two days in here. <laughs> Dude, you could spend, like, two days. There's so many. There's so much stuff. Okay. So this should be... Yeah, the next one. I wonder what we can find down here, too. Uh, Iisis uh, Light Room. The Central High Redemption. I was, like, wondering. I was like, wow, there's, there seems to be, like, some caves and everything. That's pretty cool. But it's, like, a full new world. Color me shocked, dude. And it like it unlocks more of the map, and you can see more down here too. This is day one. Whoa, a lot was revealed here. Um, spell the darkness, uh, brighten the surrounding area. Okay, cool. Um, you know, yeah, there's a <laughs> there is a lot down here, dude. Like a lot down here. Okay. Oh, there's also this up here, too. Okay. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Um. Yeah, we're, like, over here now. Wait. One second. Wasn't there... Okay. I have... I have a theory here. I have a weird theory. I, I feel as if these light roots that we're exploring right here are actually like there should like if I'm correct, there should be a light root beneath this shrine. Like every single shrine is where a light root is. So you literally, if you want to see where the next light root is, you collect the shrines on the surface. And so you can see where they are underground, and vice versa, too. Oh, that's so cool. All right, I'm going to go back. We're going to do Rito Village. I want to explore the depths a little bit more later. That, that is uh, mind-blowing, uh, the way they thought with that. Actually mind-blowing. I just want to double check. I, I think I think I'm right. I think I'm right. There's there's a there is a really easy way to double check as well. Um really easy way to double check is to find um 
Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Um, is to find uh, where... So if we go back to the depths, and it's like right here. Last location. Oh, that's cool. That's helpful. Um, so there should be um, a shrine right on that marker of uh like that, that 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 red marker that i just set how far are we from that that's actually pretty far <laughs> um all right let me go let me go to this shrine over here first but i'm fairly certain that i'm fresh about this actually can i even make it over there all right let me just go over here first <laughs> God, this is so fun. <laughs> like, I, I, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't even feel like I'm streaming. Like, I just feel like I'm just playing this. Like, I'm just playing this game, dude. I'm just having so much fun playing this. <laughs> I, 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 it just, I don't. <laughs> God damn, dude. All right, let's do this shrine over here. I've been playing this game for about uh, five and a half hours right now. It feels like a two-hour stream so far. All right. I can't believe you know. Wow. I just like it's going. To, it's going like, whenever I end stream, whenever that is, right? It's I, I'm gonna have to like. Really like. <laughs> stop myself from playing more. Shape rotation. Okay. Um. Well, okay. So shape rotation is probably ultra good here. Oh, and we're supposed to. Oh, it fits in the square hole. I guess you take this shape, and then you have to manipulate it in such a way that it fits through uh, certain places, or like uh, in certain ways. That's pretty cool. They're really neat. Okay. Uh, what's the next one? All right. So there's this one. I like this. I like this. Um, all right. So where is this? One? Huh? Uh, okay. That's the conclusion. So we need to go to this side over here first. Oh, okay. Because there's two different ways that you can uh, rotate this one, right? There's the obviously clear, you know, the, the, the very obvious, like, okay, it is um, uh, two different uh, two squares, and you can set it through here, right? But then, obviously, you can do it with the diamond formation uh, by rotating it. Uh, oops, Or am I stupid? Am I am I stupid? Am I stupid? Oh my god, I might actually be stupid. Oh my god, I'm actually stupid. Guys, is it Clint? Is it terminal? There we go. Sometimes you just gotta like. Go a bit farther. And then, I guess I could put this uh, right about. Yeah, that's like close enough, right? Fit. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. You just put it right there. Really? Oh my god, I am an idiot. <laughs> I am an idiot. And to this way. 
and then around right i will say the rotation controls are not amazing for me um but we'll take it <laughs> Wait, I'm wondering, can I like just do this? Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that works. That works too. Uh all right, and that's another shrine. Hey, if it's dumb and it works, it's not dumb. Dude, I want to explore so much. Oh, God. All right, we got to go to Rito Village. That's the goal right now. Okay, we're going to Rito Village. Doing that. We're, we're doing Rito Village. What's happening? Hear me out. All right, nice. Okay. Um, Rito Village. This way. Shit. Oh. Okay. All right, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Fine. So. Oh, you know what? Let me let me test my theory first, though. Oh my god, I'm totally right, aren't I? Oh my god, I'm totally right. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so right. I'm so right. So the shrines that we find on the surface, or I'm assuming probably also in the sky, correspond to the light roots down below. Wow. I am so happy I figured it out. That's crazy. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, and then and then look at the mini map right now. Look at the mini map, right? Whatever we leave our map on currently, right? Whatever we leave our map on. Right? We can change it. So I can change it to the sky, or I can change the uh, map to the surface, or I can change the map right back down to the depth. So we can actually like, travel over world and like connect the two. All right, let me let me get a let me get a horse. Well, also let me let me let me do this. Hello. Oh, there's another thing that fell from the sky. <laughs> you see, it's yeah, it's, it's, it's stop. <laughs> this game, man. <laughs> okay, we have been sidetracked for like an hour. Okay, and we haven't moved from this location. I need to go over here. Okay. There's so many interesting things where I'm like, what's that? Go. <laughs> God. Okay, we're, we're getting we're getting a horse. Okay, getting a horse, and we are moving towards that location in which we are um, so very inclined to go to. Um, this is a long-winded way of saying we are straight shotting into Rito. No distractions. I, uh, you know what? This this feels like playing Breath of the Wild for the first time. There's 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 really nothing like it. Like seriously, there's 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 nothing like that feeling. And I I'm so glad it's back again. I'm too happy, dude. I am absolutely too happy. Okay. Uh, let's go out and around, right? Uh, I do want to uh, pick up some shrines on the way, uh, particularly because, you know, those are like fast travel points. And because we now know that if we pick up a shrine here, that it corresponds to the underground, the depths. Um, so if we pick up a shrine... Oh, what's that? Um, I'm going to leave... H Hello? What the hell? Huh? I, 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 
You're a tree! Ooh. <laughs> okay, we got some uh, skeleton enemies. Uh, the trees are alive? I'm so confused about that enemy. <laughs> it's revenge for Frederick. It's revenge. They've come alive. Uh, a Boko arm. Delta arm that keeps moving. It's uh, old and fragile, so it's quick to break. Wait, what if I like outfit the Boko arm with something else, though? You know? Like, how is that going to... Like, let me do that, and then let me, like... Dude, I feel like there's a better way to, like, actually fuse than, like, what I've been doing here. So let me take, like, a Moblin horn, right? Uh, Yeah, turn this into a club. Wait, can I hold and then... No. Interesting. There's probably a better way to do this. Okay. But 20 damage is, like, a lot, dude. There's nothing to, to sneeze at. Um... Yeah, plus 26. And it has more durability, what I'm assuming, you know? Okay. Let's go pick up some of the shrines on the way. Um, to Rito. That's the goal. That's the current goal. That is what we're doing. We're going to Rito. That is a lot of damage. You know, what? I'll save that for a rainy day. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do that. I think I think that's like a good move here. No, are you kidding? I'm I'm on top. I'm literally on top. I disagree. I uh I disagree with uh the, the game's decision there. Alright, there we go. Oh of, dude, of course. Of course. We're literally going to be heading to Rito and get like 16 shrines on the way. Okay. I just I just need to pick up some shrines. Okay. Okay. What a pretty game. Uh Jack Deleuze, thank you so much for the channel membership. Oh, okay. A windy device. Okay. Ultra hand. Um <laughs> Man, I wonder what we could do with this. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! We solved the puzzle so quickly. That was insane. I can't believe it. That was ridiculous, dude. Man, he really knows his stuff. That... Oh, uh, we should probably build this after. Or after. Right. We do this. Put it right here. Catch this. Put it like right here. We're good to go. Bing, bang, boom. Speedboat. Cool. Uh, and then. Oh, this will be. Oh, you know what we could do here? Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. We do this, right? Okay. And then we do this. Is that not going to work? I think we need two. Okay. Uh, and then we put this, like, here. Two will work, right? We need three? Okay, so if we do this around. Oh, I'm stupid. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm I'm literally I'm so dumb. Put them like that attached to the platform. Okay, not we don't attach to each other. Attached to the platform, which then moves. 
That's what you're supposed to do. Okay. Hey, I was just doing it from the opposite. Okay. Um. Uh, and then you can just hit these, right? But. So it goes all the way up, right? Oh, no. I can't do anything about that. Unless. We rewind it, right? Get on top and then stop and it goes back up. It's rewind time, everybody. <laughs> oh, that's such a cool puzzle. I like that. I like that. That was really neat. Cool puzzle. Um, uh, chat, I'm going to uh, go to the bathroom real quick. Um, because I've been streaming for almost six hours now. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, give me half a second. Uh, say hi to, um, um, Doodle. Okay. Here. We'll get him. Him. Um, I'll be back in like, uh, three-ish minutes or so. So, give me a bit.
and tap. Tap. Um, this is this is uh, Doodle. He's like the cutest plushie ever. Uh, he's available at pointcrow.shop. Um, and uh, I just want to say that um, if you don't buy him, I'm gonna toss him as as hard as I can against the wall. Uh, so if you don't go to pointcrow.shop right now. This, this man will become a driveway grease stain. <laughs> Anyways. All right. You guys ready for some more Fears of the Kingdom? Here we go. More Tears of the Kingdom. All right, we're headed towards uh, the Rito village to find out the regional phenomena that's been happening over there. Don't understand um, anything except for that giant tempest. So we'll see what that is. Here we go. Is the stream going to be posted on YouTube? Yeah, I'm going to be posting a video tonight of uh, the edit today. <laughs> Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy. I guess, uh, you know. Wait, does this well go underground? Oh, of course it does. Okay. All right, let's go to Rito, though. Uh, where is the... There it is, up here. All right, let's go to Rito. Oh, I don't understand. Why are the trees so angry? <laughs> Why are you mad at me? It's a Hinox. Okay, you know what? I feel like I can kill this Hinox pretty fast. Okay, it, it, except don't die, don't, no horsey. Don't die. Okay, here we go. Uh, you know what? Let me. I think it's... Because it's a mini boss. I think we use the Moblin Hammer. Seems like it'll do a lot of damage. Oh, not as much damage as I thought it was going to. That uh, did a lot, though. I'm not going to lie. It actually did a substantial amount. Uh, Donite power. <laughs> Nice. Good so far. Okay. Yeah, he's going to jump, isn't he? Yep. Nice. Oh, my God. He's too good. Okay. And then I also have a uh, Captain Wind Reaper. Does less damage, but we'll take it. Okay. Wow. This is actually super efficient. Oh my god! Damn, okay. He knocks down already. That was so fast. Okay, what is this? We got a he knocks one. Plus 12 use attack power. Attach it to a weapon or uh, cook it with a critter. Uh, a, a toenail has seven attack power. <laughs> okay, I don't know about that. Um, let's see. That's kind of crazy. Uh, we got wild berries already. Um, we have that. Okay. And then a traveler's bow. Um, that's okay. We don't need that. Not too bad. Not too bad. Jeez. Another one of those too. A boopy. Did something just fall from the sky? Did you, did you guys see that? Or was that just me? A toasty Hylian strip. Where did that come from? What? Did you guys see that? Or am I tripping? Am I, am I actually like hallucinating right now? I could be. I literally could be. Okay. All right. What's up, horsey? How's it going? How it be? How it do? Let's go to Rito Village. All right. Yeah. So Rito Village over this way. We've uh, quite a decent ways to go. I am, I am uh, uh, confident in our abilities here. Uh, we'll get like one or two shrines on the way there, um, but I wanna, I wanna beeline it. I, I wanna see what's up here, you know. Yeah. We wanna see what's going on, especially with the. Uh, yeah. Is this what I think it is? Yeah. I think we got a, we got a horse stable up here. Yeah. 
here? Yeah, there we go. Little horsey stable. Awesome. The new serene stable. What happened to the old serene stable? What's going on? Uh, welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horse related. Also doubles and ends. Seems you're not a member cool. yet. Our stable uses the stable association's membership system. Okay. What kind of uh, MLM is this? Oh, may I ask your name? Yeah, you get uh, two credits for signing up uh, somebody else. Uh, and their two credits go to, you know. Uh, you're all signed up. Now, would you like me to tell you about the stable system? Uh, tell me. Let me explain. Uh, you can board your horse company, uh, companions with us and summon them as you please from a network of stables. Um, cool. If you catch one, uh, if you catch a wild horse and ride it here to register it, it may become your horse companion. Uh, okay. Ah. So, welcome to our stable. Um, if you want to lodge with us, please visit the counter inside. Okay, so let's register the horse. Uh -huh. um, you have a fee of, what, 20 rupees? Uh, okay. Uh, so, whoa. Okay, so that's new. So, it's, it's two strength, two speed, two stamina. Pull is three. Interesting. I don't know what that is. And then it has gentle temperament. All right, sure. Oh. Only register a horse. We charge 20 rupees, but uh, we got a special promotion. So you can register yours for free. <laughs> All right. Uh, what should chat? What, what should we name the horse? What should we name the horse? I'll let you guys choose. Nice. I like that one. Uh, regret? Yes. Uh, do you want to take it with you or board it? Ah, let's take the horse with us. All right, that concludes the registration process. Speaking of which, uh, do you know about whistling? Uh, yes, you can whistle and it'll, it'll come running. Okay, perfect. Um, yes. What am I thinking? I completely forgot to explain how pony points work. This is an MLM. This is a pyramid scheme. It totally is. It. You can't convince me otherwise. He's going to start selling me bath salts next. Uh, that's right. It's a reward system that you can use at stables. In short, every time you use a service, you get points. No matter what stable you go to, you can get points for lodging there, registering a horse, stuff like that. Because you use New Serene Stable for the first time to register a horse with so us, you get two pony points. Okay, sure. Um, collecting points grants rewards. Save up points to earn a wagon load of wonderful rewards for you and your horse companions. Okay. You can trade your pony points for prizes at the ledger counter over there. Um, sure. All right. Uh, come back again anytime. Okay. Uh, receive, uh, receive reward? Yeah. Ah, yes. Uh, I'll be right with you. Ah. Uh, you'll have to get your pony points reward. If you just save up one more ah. point, you'll receive a towie, a towing harness. And then hook up your horse to things. Oh, like carts. Okay. That's what pull is. It has, is, uh, my horse has a three pull. So it's like, it can pull probably more. Than a two pull and less than a four. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, which entry would you like to read? Uh, points of rewards. Okay. In one point to receive the towing harness. Uh, remember, you can also check how many pony points card and see how much you need. Um, oh. Oh, okay. So it just tells you how much is next. Okay. Uh, I just can't see like what all of the rewards are. Okay. So we'll just get more pony points for later. All right. So let me just like. Um. Lodge for 20 rupees. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Sure. That's beautiful sound. I love that. Okay. Ah. Good morning. Uh, did you sleep well? Thanks for lodging with us. Oh, we got one point. Let's go. Yeah. We got a reward available. Ah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah, let's get a towing harness now for sleeping. Dude, if I got rewards for sleeping, dude, I'm telling you right now, like, I would be rich. All right. Um, is a towing harness? Yes. Uh, a durable harness that comes with a set of a horse saddle. Attach a wagon or objects to the harness for the horse to tow. Um, you can attach for various things. A wagon or an item you'd like to tow somewhere. If you save up just two more points, the horse god fabric will be yours. Oh, it's a one-of-a-kind item you can bring to the Hateno uh, Village dye shop over in Nekluda. Uh Right, we got to see Hateno Village. Oh, there's so many things in this game. Okay. Oh, and then there's the shrine! There's so much! I just want to do more! But I want to go!
go to Reno Village. But then there's more. There's, there's so much. Oh, my God. Dude, I... Oh, God. Dude, it's like, I, I can't help with sidetrack. I can't help. It's too fun. It's too fun. Okay. This is an uplifting device. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, this is a uh, hot air balloon, looks like. And in order to use the hot air balloon, there needs to be some sort of uh, fire underneath it. Okay. Uh, so we got a torch. Okay, cool. Uh, so in order to do this, I wonder if I can like... That's not it. Um, I want to do ultra hand and bring this. Say like right over here. Oh, but I'm wondering actually. Uh, can we attach it like this in the middle? That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. And create like a little... Uh, Little platform for me to stand on. This is how this works here. Um, oh, oh, you know what I could do? And then I take this, like this, uh, um, this torch, and then I put it uh, inside right here. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! And we made a hot air balloon. That's so cool. Um, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it off to the side here. I made it. We're good. Okay, okay, all right, good. I had to double jump there. That was crazy. I'll take it, I'll take it. Um now can I can I get the back? <laughs> I kinda wanted that. Oh, you know what I could do actually? I wonder, can I like ascend through here? I can, okay. You can't ascend through stuff like this. I climb up a little bit farther. No, this was actually like not totally useful. Or was it? I grabbed this. Through here. Totally can't. Okay. Oh well. Alright. Oh wait. I can't say oh well, because there's like uh Oh, wait, can I just ascend up here? Can I reach that far? I can't! Okay, nice. I can know that. All right. Um, and then from here, is there a chest somewhere that we can pick up? Like, how does this work? They can't get through. I'm losing my mind. How am I supposed to get through here? Can't go up either. Why are these here? Is that like a like a button or something? I am a little confused on what what the goal is right here right now. Oh. Oh, this is a button, I think, actually. <laughs> is 
So if I set this here, and then I put this here. Ah, uh, yes, I did it, dude. Hell yeah. All right, that was rewarding. Uh, oh, there's more too. Okay. Uh, oh my God, this one's a huge shrine. Wait, this is actually like ginormous. Okay. So you can see from above here, like what you want to do. Um, so in order to do this, what, what what what's the what's the goal here? So there's a big um, spot there that we need to get, and a small spot there that we need to get, um, of like a big orb and a small orb. Okay. So here's the big orb that we need. How the hell do we get this? Oh, you know what? You know what we probably do with it? We probably do this. Probably attach it here. Um. That that is what we call like um like a bad idea. So you really don't want to do that. Um, like obvious, obviously, you know, like come on. Who thought that was a good idea? Uh, fire them for sure. Um. We can. Uh, not do that. Why would I do that? Why would you? Do that? Okay. Let's do here. Then attach that here, and then attach this to the top, right? Like that, and then we could probably take one of these flame emitters uh, and put it underneath because that's that's a lot of flame dude oh that's not enough not enough flame okay uh, I wonder I do to the side like this you can't attach to the side here but you can't attach to right there and right here. Okay. So if I build it like with this, right? Oh, shh. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm not going to question it. I'm not going to look. If it works, it works, you know? If it works, it works. It was like a success? A uh, question mark? It kind of worked. And like, you know what? It worked enough. And that's what really matters. After this one. Those. Here. Oh, what a cool puzzle. Uh, the other one's uh, also pretty easy. So. Food. Thank you for food. Lunch. It's orange chicken. Chat, say thanks to Abby. Uh, no, I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so we got this. What's over here? Oh, it's a chest. Nice. Uh, probably half of the key. Uh, opal. Okay, cool. Then, um... Okay, there's nothing to do this. So I need to go back up with Ascend. God, this is so cool. What a game, dude. It's going, dude, I feel, I feel like it's going to take me like a full month to be able to discover like all of this, you know? Like, you feel me? 
It's just like so much content, so much to do. Let's put this out here. Um, and then do this one. Let's see. I wonder if I could just like really fast and like do some makeshift sort of like ideas here. Like just not even have to have the platform any longer, you know? Just kind of like 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 not that night. Nice. Okay, wait. How many OSHA regulations uh, can we uh, you violate today. That's the that's the main question I got for you guys. So we don't do that, and it's going to fall over, right? Yes. However, if we blow it up. Okay. Okay. This works. This actually genuinely works. Very nice. <laughs> That's so stupid. It's so stupid that it works. Oh my god. Also, chat, uh, no backseating. I don't I don't want to know how to do certain puzzles or anything. It's more fun to figure it out myself. Uh, and so you guys can see the solutions that I come up with, you know? Oh, so you only need you only needed to do the small one, but the big one was for um, extra points. For the chest. Okay. We'll try. We'll try. Yeah, the puzzles here are like fantastic. I love them. They're so good, dude. Nice. God, this is such a cool game. Here's the kingdom! Oh, horse just appeared. Cool. What is. Oh. Wait, we got some like crop circles here. You see this? What are these crop circles? Okay, we. It's been yet another hour. <laughs> and I made it from here to here. Uh, hello. What is it meant to depict? Huh. It's Impa! What? What surprise it is to see you here after all this time, Link. Oh my god. I was not expecting that. Uh, I heard you had gone missing. Uh, in, in case uh, uh, Impa is uh, the Sheikah monk from um, uh, Breath of the Wild, who was like, here's all the Divine Beasts, you need to go, you know, everything. And she was telling us a story. Like, she was a main character in the previous game. That's crazy. If you had gone missing, it's certainly a relief to see you back in, in one piece, more or less. Mm. And Princess Zelda, where is she? Well... Oh. What? She still is yet to return? In that case, we must use all available means to search for her. Link, when Princess Zelda went missing, something else happened all over Hyrule. During the upheaval, huge pictures appeared out of nowhere. Images that sprawled across fields and hills. Oh. We're calling them geoglyphs. I understand they have been found in locations across the kingdom. Uh, Kato and I are traveling from region to region in hope of seeing them all. Yeah. I noticed the shield glyph from a distance while I was standing on high ground. Examining up close, I could not make out what it depleted or depicted. I thought I might have a better view from up in the sky. I took I took the air in the balloon Pura gave me, but then alas, the wind struck and completely sheared the balloon off the base. I racked my brain for ways to reattach those two parts, but no avail. Impa in the geoglyph. So I need to uh, find where the balloon part is. Oh, uh, it's wow, wow! This one's so mysterious. I wonder how to do this. Uh, hello. What's up, man? But I did it. Hmm. Oh, you fixed my balloon? Thank you, Link. Uh, will you come with me to look after at the geoglyph then? Sure. Oh. I'm gonna head out then. I nearly forgot. Would you mind doing one final thing for me? Oh. Uh, light a fire there, and the balloon will start to float. Then we can be on our way. Okay. This will be so cool. Um. 
Okay, Construct Bow is badly damaged. Actually, you know what? Let's just do this. Shit. Nice. Oh, oh god damn. <laughs> that could not have gone wrong uh, anymore <laughs> than it already did. Oh, uh, wait, no, rubies are valuable. I want to use a, um, there's a spicy pepper. No, that's just a spicy pepper arrow. Okay. I was just checking to see if that, you know. Um, where are those swords? Okay. Here we go, the fire fruits. Nice. Hot, hot, hot. <gasps> Impo, we're going. Uh, what is it? Okay. So we're going to take a look at the geoglyph. With Impo. Oh. Uh, too high up. I feel faint. Hmm. Finally, we can see it. The geoglyph. Well done, Link. You know, I read something in the build's old literature. A passage about what the ancients called dragon's tears. Where the tears rest upon the earth, we marked down the images in which they gave birth. Oh. oh. I believe this geoglyph is one such image. But even from this vantage, its meaning is no clearer to me. Nor can I figure out what dragon's tears might be. But you know, if the literature is correct, one of them should be quite close, near the geoglyph, or even within its borders. Yeah. Would you look around? This could be the clue we need to discover Princess Zelda's whereabouts. Oh. If you'd like to examine the geoglyph from the ground level, you can float down with a paraglider. No need to worry about me. I can manage a simple landing. Okay. So we need to find... So there, uh, there's a, uh, a, a tier... A dragon's tear nearby somewhere with the geogle. Um, could it be in the hand? Like right here. Just like where the tear was supposed to be. Oh! That's not a tear. <laughs> Alright, that's okay. okay. Right, I'm looking for something else. <laughs> looking for a little something a little bit different here. Um, all right, come on, the horse. Of course, of course, of course. The, the Korok appears at the most inopportune time. It's so funny, though. Okay, let's go up uh, here-ish. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Damn it. Okay. We, so we found one of the tiers, I, th I think. What is this? Whoa. Oh my God, it's like a memory. Oh, oh. Is this like, what is this? Of Zelda. Oh, right after she took the tear. Or whatever this thing is. Uh, tear, I'm assuming. What? Oh, oh dear. Oh. That's Raru? He, he's alive? Where am I? We didn't mean to startle you. I'm sorry. It's okay. My name is Sonia. Hi, Sonia. <laughs> and could we ask what your name is? I... I am the daughter of King Rome of Hyrule. Zelda. Uh... What an unexpected answer. <sighs> we are the king and queen who founded Hyrule, after all. Or at least we were. Oh the my god, Zelda's time, in the you. past. You two founded Hyrule? And oh my god, Zelda got king? teleported to the past. Mm. My name is Raru. King Raru of Hyrule. King Raru? And Queen Sonya? Uh, but that must mean. What? Huh? What? Okay. Huh? So, 
no, no. So, so my overall theory about all of this seems to so far still be correct. Okay, let me tell you about this theory in a second. So here, here's like, here's what I was thinking going into the game, right? Um, and based off of like the trailers and stuff, right? Um, oh, okay. So each tier is a memory. Oh my God, there's, dude, I'm, I'm just putting it out there. Oh, wait, one Aww. second. Link, you look distracted. What's wrong? I'll tell you the theory in a second. Oh. Goodness. Uh, you say you had a vision? Saw mysterious figures? And then Princess Zelda? Hmm. The geoglyphs, the literature, the dragon's tears, and now a vision of the lost princess? What are these? What if these are all connected? Let's continue to examine the geoglyphs. They may contain further clues that lead to Princess Zelda. Mm -hmm. You know, according to the literature, there is something to do with the geoglyphs in the Forgotten Temple. The Forgotten Temple lies at the bottom of the canyon in Hebra. I think we should make our way there soon. Okay, so so while we're while we're going on our way here, let me tell you a couple things. First off, um, my theory uh, of this is that Tears of the Kingdom is actually a prequel uh, to Skyward. And it doesn't look like it's a prequel in the way that I thought it was going to be, but that it explores what happens before Skyward Sword actually happened. Um, that's what I'm thinking. I think I think the story so far, and don't do not. Cr I swear to God, if somebody spoils this in chat. Do not spoil. I am going over a theory right now. Please, for the love of God, do not spoil anything. Do not say if you know. Do not say anything. Just smile. Chat, put smiles in chat. Put smiles, put smiles, put smiles in chat. Okay. Here is... Whoa, look at the map. That's cool. Um, okay. My theory about this is that um, we are exploring what happened to Hyrule before the events of Skyward Sword so, so long ago. Thousands and thousands of years ago. And so... Uh, that's, I mean, Zelda got teleported to the past. I mean, it explains why when we touched the tier, we got the recall, um, sort of ability and everything. Um, I mean, hell, you can see like the great tempest storm right here in Skyward Sword. I, I, that's what I'm thinking. That's, that's, that's what I'm going at. That's, you know, it, it explores the events of what happened to Hyrule before, um, Skyward Sword happened. Because in Skyward Sword, we, we know that a while ago, there was a great calamity that happened that forced the people into the sky. Um, and the goddess Hylia and stuff and, and all that, you know? Um, that's incredibly interesting. Um, that's something I definitely want to know. Um, right, we're going in a weird way here. Anyways, that's like my sort of theory about all of this. Um, my sort of like idea about what's going on. What's happening. Now, the Forgotten Temple is like down this way, you know? Oh. Um, so that's, 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 that's that. Um, that's, that's my, my theory, which is, hey, you know, I, I might be biased, you know, but like, that's uh, pretty cool. All right, Forgotten Temple's next. Wait, 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 wait. You're on the wrong, where is it? Adventure log. Find Princess Zelda, regional phenomena. Regional phenomena. We can do the Forgotten Temple later. I want to go to Rito Village more than anything. I feel like we should, you know. I feel like it's only right. Crunchy audio. Oh, I don't know why that happens. One second, chat. Um, yeah, I I think we go to Rito Village. I think we do that. Uh, once again, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel. All that fun jazz. All right, here we go. Um, <laughs> but don't sound so enthused, Pudro. Uh, okay, subscribe. All okay, right, you know that's 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 it. You know, if you if you wanna be notified of what I do when I do it, um, if you wanna see more streams of this, uh, then that's like the best way to let me know or just watch in general, right? Uh, okay, so we wanna go up here. Yeah, this is this is the path. It looks like. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. But I'll take the money. What? What? What just appeared? What just appeared? Ah, oh, of course it's one of. Is that Hestu? <laughs> one second. Wait, wait, wait. I think I just skipped over Hestu. Uh, a high tail lizard. Nice. Hestu! Those trees over there. So scary. Shaka. 
Yeah, I already killed one of them. Sorry. Ah uh ha! -huh. I love the building mechanic. Or like, sorry, I love the, the upgrade mechanic. It's really cool. Takala? The scary things are gone. You see me? You see me? My name is Hestu. I'm the musician of Korok Forest up northeast. I'm known for my maracas and my dancing. Thank you so much for your help. To show my appreciation. I'll do a little dance for you and make your pouch bigger. But my maracas aren't working anymore. The Korok seeds are all gone. Children of the forest must have taken them again. If I had even one Korok seed, I could sing and dance and use my powers to help you. All right. Um, so Korok seeds, uh, they allow you to expand your inventory space, uh, which is really cool. And uh, I think particularly, we definitely need Korok seeds uh, for our weapon stash. Yeah. So weapon stash. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. Wait, I kind of like that. I was, I was digging with it, you know? You can solve it to that. That was crazy. Uh, all right, let's do it. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, are you happy with it? I'm so happy with it. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking about heading east next. There's so many monsters these days. Probably dangerous. I uh, like lively places. So maybe I'll go with lots of people to hang out. Wait a sec. Uh, you still have cork seeds? I can smell them. Be here a little bit longer. Okay. Uh, more weapons. Definitely. Wait for it. Wait for it. I love this. I love this so much. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Uh oh, Hestu's profile has been added. So let's uh let's head on over to uh let's head on over to the Rito Village. Uh and for editors, uh this is your cut right here. Uh for the um uh for the splice. Sorry, it was a little bit much, but there wasn't much going on, so. Um all right, sick. Um next, 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 next. Uh, where's our horsey? Why? Oh, no. It's just it, basically we snip it. We upload it. It's, you know, it's for speed reasons. So I'm not ending stream or anything. We're still going. Oh. Okay. Uh, hi, horse. Okay. Discovery. Lindor's Brow Cave. Okay. That's, this is a, this is a big cave, big cave, big cave, big cave. Um, I am totally. I'm, I tried to whistle right there. I can't whistle. Right. All right. I'm going around. I'm going around. We're going around. We're going to this tower here. Which is not even close to the first dungeon. Oh my god. For the divine beast. Is that Dude, I can't tell if that if that's like Vom Meadow in there, you know? I can't even tell. We got another searchlight though. Cool. Oh, okay. So we so once again there's some puzzles to get to here. So I can't actually just get up there right now really fast. Okay. Do I have a way of dealing with you guys? I think I do. I have a rock hammer. Yeah, so you do need rock hammers and stuff to deal with these guys. Alright. Oh, and they drop opals and ambers. Cool. Yeah, so we need to make like a bridge looks like. Which, I don't know if you guys have been watching, or I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm pretty good at making bridges. Okay? I mean, don't mind if I do, you know? Don't mind if I do. Alrighty. Right here. Nice. I good so far. There's a clear connection. Point. All right, just making a bridge. Don't mind me. Making a bridge. This is so fun. This is so fun, dude. I think 
this is I you can make it up there probably and just probably you know it's, it's probably good enough and good enough is my moral <laughs> wait I mean good enough is my motto that's what it is not my morals that would be awful if that was my morals Good enough is my motto. I just want to reiterate that. Uh, is this enough, you think? Uh, oh, no. Oh, I think we need to make it a little bit longer. Okay. Okay. That was really long. If I attach right here. Okay, this should probably be good, right? Oh, for sure. Oh, it's maybe actually too long. Yeah, there it is. There we go. And look at that. We made a nice bridge. Ah, uh, Fredrickson. <laughs> Lindor's brow, Skyview Tower. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. All right, here we go. Ah, it's so pretty. Ah, oh, what is that in the distance? Oh, hello. All set to launch. Niner, Niner. All clear for takeoff. Three, two, one. Blast off. Oh, there's a dragon. The music, yeah. Service map updated. Oh, wow. Okay, we got more of the sky map now, too. Okay, so where to from here? Oh, it really wants dude, it really wants me to go over this way, doesn't it? I really want to go over this way. Okay. So this is the map. What about the surface here? All right, looks like there's another hole over this way. And uh, our mysterious area with the regional phenomena is over there. Uh, Forgotten Temple's up here uh, for the next glyph that we should probably go around. Um, but wow, that scan is really neat. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's like, <laughs> kind of like, hey, you should probably go over this way. And to that, I kind of agree. I kind of want to see what this is. It looks really neat. Really cool. I am. Um... Wow. <laughs> Part of me is like, like overwhelmed in a, in a way, you know, of like, there's just so much here. Like, there's just there's so much. It's a good thing. Sunbelion. Um, wait, what was it? It was uh, so soaked in sunlight. Its petals can restore health depleted by gloom when used in cooking. Oh, okay. So it can get back your uh, maximum HP. It's like, what are these? Uh, dazzle fruits. Uh, break it to at least dazzling sparkles that blind any monsters nearby. There's so many. There's so many things you can do with this. Oh, my God. All right. What is this thing? Okay. What is this? This looks like when we got uh, recall. 
Okay, is it telling us to jump off? Like, what's going on? <laughs> I think it is telling us to jump off. <laughs> uh, Courage Island. Okay, it's really telling us to jump off. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Next one. Next one's up there. Okay, okay. Here we go. Oh, this is this is a fun mini game. I like this a lot. This is so cool. Courage Island. Okay, is this the last one? Over here. Oh, right into the end. And this one's the last one. Woo! Yeah, ha, ha. No, okay. <laughs> As we found a Chaos Emerald. Never mind. I have no idea. That's a lot bigger than a Chaos Emerald. Oh, it's like a shrine quest. That's what it is. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, there's a fairy here. Uh, hello. Why is there just a random fairy? Uh, I mean, I'll take it. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, it's, you know, it's for sure. Uh, it'll fly from your pouch and heal you the moment you lose your last heart. Um, cool. I'll take a fairy. That's like one of the best items in the game. Um, this is a, the site of a ceremony to test your courage. And the challenges of this island in a long time. I'm glad you've come. Witnessed your dive earlier. You seem to come prepared. Now then, let's commence with the dive ceremony. Dive ceremony? Could be that you don't know the dive ceremony. My apologies. Let me explain. The dive ceremony is a trial to test your courage. Oh, we just did this. Uh, okay. We just, yeah. Okay. Um, I'll do it. I already did it though. Uh, perhaps I uh, require one Zonai charge as an offering. Um, no Zonai charges have been provided for many years. We're in short supply. Uh, sure. Take one. All right. Uh, is to pass through all the rings in 35 seconds or less? Oh. Oh, we got this. Okay. Easy. Easy. Look at this. He's a gamer. Oh, uh, stop. Shit. Um. Gamer, I'm telling you. He's a gamer. So that's that's oh that's what you're not supposed to do. Uh I mean clearly, like, you know, that's I, I'm just trying to explain to you guys uh how not to go about um that 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 the test of uh, courage right there, you know. Um because you were curious about it. Nice, there we go. Alright, we'll try this. All right. Let's do this again. All right. 35 seconds or less. Okay. 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 He's gaming. He's too good. He's simply too good at the game. Woo! 24 seconds. Not too bad. Uh, 2414. I've borne witness to your courage. Uh, I have here the mark of your maturity. Ooh, a glide shirt. Skydive mobility up? Damn! Oh, that's so cool! Wait, I love that. Dude, the garb is amazing. I love that. Skydive mobility up. Okay. You may be able to beat the current record of 20 seconds. All right. Okay. All right. 
Let's try this again. He's a gamer. I can reach that, right? I can't. I totally can. No, please. Yes. Oh my God. Just under 20 seconds. Jesus Christ. Oh. Damn. 1968. This is an astonishing new record. My record is okay. You are faster and braver than any other previous challenger. I award you this in honor of your extraordinary weapon. A large Zonai charge. Wow. With a massive energy boost. Um, put it in a Zonai dis device dispenser or use it to temporarily prevent a Zonai energy cell from losing power. Please tell me your name. I wear it to you as your record holder. Uh, Link. Understood. Your name is Link. Uh, I've read you as the record holder. Uh, cool. Nice. That was a good reward, too. Um. Okay. So, does this indicate what... I mean, honestly, I'm gonna, I'm literally just gonna do this. I'm so curious what like one large one does. Like, how many does it dispense? The gotcha machine. Oh, that's so many. Okay. Uh, a time bomb. We got a. T okay, nice, cool. A zonai device for timed explosions. Its blast can activate other zonai devices. Okay. Portable pot. A balloon. Okay, we got a hot air balloon. Nice. A fan. More balloons. Wow. Okay, cool. That'll be fun. I cannot wait to build a working computer in Breath of the Wild. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, the Tanichi Shrine. This one. <laughs> I meant Tears, Tears of the Kingdom. Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> bad, bad mistake. Really bad mistake. <laughs> Let's close it up. I like, where it's, I like how it shows where you are on the map before you, uh, before you enter the shrine. There's so many things in this game, too. I'm afraid for 100% speedruns. Breath of the Wild 100% speedruns uh, ended up getting to... Oh, combat training archery. Okay. Breath of the Wild 100% uh, speedruns, I think, went down to like 14, 15 hours. Uh, this is going to be several... Like, it's like 40, 50 hours. Uh, the shrine purifi uh, purifies the ancient evil. Uh, heed my instruction. Draw your bow in midair to heighten your senses. Focus, target your enemy with an arrow. And release. Okay. So this is just um, instructions. Okay. So the attacks are ineffective here. Uh, ready yourself. Okay. So this is this is um, yeah, attack with bow. Okay. So just he's too good. Okay. Well done. Um, yeah, it's just another instruction shrine. Uh, I'm actually, like, shocked they have one for arrows as well. They didn't have one like this for Breath of the Wild. They came and defeat the enemies, okay? Okay. Nice. Go team! Woo! You've proven your mastery. Now proceed to the innermost chamber. He's simply too good at the game. Music's great. Absolutely wonderful. Um, okay, Zonite Sword. I don't want the Construct Bow. I don't need it. Uh, the Zonite Swords are actually like, super nice, too. Because uh, they synergize with um, Zonai uh, items. Uh, Zonite Swords. So let me actually like make these a little bit more powerful than they actually are. Um, so nice sword, and then let me um, do this, uh, and actually like make them good. So if I do, it's not so nice devices. Yeah, here we go. So we have one here. Hold, hold. I'll place these two down, and then I will use fuse. <laughs> nice. Okay, so that's one, and then the other one right here too. Nice. Good swords. Good swords. Uh, let me actually drop this then. Cool. A strong construct bow. Okay. But I will drop this instead. Awesome. So far, the uh, weapon scaling in this is uh, pretty good too. 
Uh, we haven't, like, come across, like, any weapons that are, like, super overpowered, which is nice. But that's the end of the shrine. Nice. Okay. Dude, we're in a new era of Tears of the Kingdom. I'm, like, so curious on what, like, an any percent run looks like here. I can't wait. I, I am, I, like... I can't wait to do so many things with this game. I really can't. It's going to be amazing. I am so excited. Okay, so uh, let's make our way over to... Um, well, where's the best way to do this? The best way to get to um, uh, Rito Village seems to be around, <laughs> up and around, uh, which we could do. I don't think I can get across without, like, wind bombing, which I can't wind bomb because there's no bombs. There's no bombs. This is sad. This is a sad day when there is no bombs. I'll, I'll miss wind bombing. I'll, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I, I, I'll miss wind bombing. I'll miss um, blessing uh, and all, but um, for what it's worth, um, I think... Um, uh, I mean, <laughs> they've really populated this world. There's like a lot going on. Oh, we have a wingsuit. Oh. Nah, that's cool. Sick. All right. Uh, the Makayuris Shrine is. the depths like there's there's so many things here and i'm like there i'm like overwhelmed there's just so much it's so cool dude i'm so happy all right combat training archery we just did this didn't we uh unless there's something different right uh, this shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instruction. Right. Uh, fire at the enemy's head. Oh, so it's, it's telling us about crit hits, I think. Uh, like, if you aim at an eye, then you'll do better, you know? I think that's I think that's what it's teaching us for archery. Yeah, attack with bow, yeah. Nice. <laughs> well done! Whoa! Oh my god, I can't believe he's done it! He's too good! He's simply too good at the game! Oh my god! He's cracked! He's so cracked! That's my speedrunner! Okay. Nice. He's too good at the game. How will they keep him from, from exploiting it too much? He's speed running already. Uh, another strong con con a little construct bow. Never have too many items. And one more light of blessing. I wonder if the game. I wonder if they're like, because in speed running, it's actually kind of funny. Um, the game loads faster um, if you wait like a second or two before skipping this the last cutscene. Um, of like, like when when the the monks kind of like start disappearing away in Breath of the Wild, like saves three seconds per shrine in a speed run. Hey, and we got our uh, the stable here. Uh, stable's in the same spot as it was last time. Cool. Has not moved. Ah. Oh. Ah. Beetle! It's Beetle! Hey! Hey! Are you a fellow traveler on the journey of life? It's me, Beetle! If you forget, my beetle-shaped pack is right here to remind you. Wow. This topsy-turvy world, there's only one direction to go. Forward. So when I travel, it's forward all the way. I can sell you bugs of highest quality. If you need anything else on your life journey, I can sell you that too. Run rubies, don't worry. I'll buy anything you don't want you waiting you down. 
Gemstones in particular fetch a high ah. price. And what do you... What, will be? what have you got? Oh, you have a lot. Okay, you have uh, arrows, butterflies, um, and everything else. Right, we're, we're good. We're good for now. But I just wanted to, you know... <laughs> say hi. I love Beetle. Okay. Oh. Uh, you're here early, aren't yeah. you? And welcome to the Pantha, oh. the Pantha Bridge Stable. This is your first time here. We'll add one point to your pony points. Yes! Yes! A pony point! Oh, is that everything I've ever wanted? More pony points! Ooh. Um, all right. Uh, let's take our horse. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you wanted regret, right? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, thanks for waiting. Oh. Uh, the towing harness. Nah, I don't want the towing harness right now. Mm. Um, here we go. Oh. Uh, if you do intend to go north to Hebra, I recommend that you take precautions against the cold. Hebra's always been a chilly region ever since their recent extreme cold snap. They don't even have enough to eat. You may, be, uh, you may see a Rito visitor here named Bendoli. She's come from Rito Village to stock him with food. Uh, oh, okay. Are you Bendoli? Ah. All right. Uh, I'll take them. Uh, oh, do you need to speak with Banji? Uh, apologies, we were caught up in our old conversation. I'm from Rito Village to the northwest. Uh, Times are tough where I'm from. Merchants aren't able to reach my village because of a blizzard. Oh. We're uh, fortunate that all kinds of folks from the stable are sharing their supplies with us. <laughs> it's thanks to them that the children have full bellies. Uh, Don't mention it, really. Uh, the Ritos have been good neighbors to us. We're just returning the favor. You let me know if there's anything else you need, all right? I can arrange to have it sent here and then pack it up and carry it home. Uh, Interesting. So there's a blizzard around. Uh, that makes me a little worried because we do not have much um uh cold food uh this is only cold resistance one i'm assuming there's also like a second cold resistance that we only need um uh like in addition to that so i'm a little concerned but we'll start with this for now all right let's go regret let's wait wait is there sorry i there's one thing i do need to check here um, is there a dog at the stable? <gasps> it's the moment of truth. It is the it is the goddamn moment of truth. Can you pet the dog in Tears of the Kingdom? <laughs> Game sucks. Back it up, guys. Game sucks. All right, GG's. Uh, wonderful. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys later. <sighs> All I wanted. All I wanted. All I asked for Tears of the Kingdom was to be able to pet the dogs. They do us like this. I feel so burned. All right, we still can feed the dogs, though, right? They're well down here. Go. Now, if I, I wonder if it's the same thing as Breath of the Wild, where if you feed the dog, um, occasionally they will lead you um, to a treasure chest uh, that has something, like a little, little, little treasure. Okay. Like occasionally. I don't know if it's this one. Nice! Oh, you're so happy! Oh, oh, are you leading me somewhere? Where are we going? Where are we going? Okay. Where are we going? Where are you where are you leading me? Oh, over here! I was right! I was right to the treasure chest! He's right there. He's right here. He's right here. He's right here. Oh, you neural, neural, neural zoomies. Okay, he's really cute though. It's so cute. All right, what's in here? Fifty rupees. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. Oh, I can't wait to do all dog treasures in this. It'll be a fun speed run. Okay. Uh, let's get a pot lid as well. Yum. Let's see. Okay. Wait, I have a stupid idea. I have a really stupid idea. What happens if you like before before we go over? <laughs> um, so I have uh what is this? 
Okay, so I have a bomb flower. Hold. Um, do that. And then L. Fuse. What if I do this? Fuse the bomb flower with a pot lid. And then what if I, like, neutral... What if I shield surf on it? Whoa! Whoa! Okay, wait. Okay, that has potential for some really cool things, I feel like. I thought I was going to explode. Oh, a golden apple? A very rare sweet fruit that has, seems to have an extra sparkle with it. Oh. O okay. Um, don't mind if I do. Um, sure. I'll take a golden apple. Okay. Um, let's go to Rito Village. I, I feel like I've said that like 15 times, but I, I'm saying it for real now. I'm saying it for realsies. Rito Village it is. Hello. God, I love how they've kept Hyrule the same, but also so different. It's the it's the same but different and in such a good way. You know, they've really added a whole bunch of new things. Like the the world has been lived in. And it's alive. It's vibrant. There's so many things to do. Okay. So normally, in the original Breath of the Wild game, there was a lot of guardians here patrolling this area, making it um, probably one of the more um, scary places to go. Uh, but I'm wondering what's here. So far, nothing. Uh, for what it's worth. So far, not too much. But I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my eyes out. Keeping my eyes open. Seeing if there's anything here that is a little suspicious. Um, I mean, like that book cobble. I mean, that's kind of like suspicious. Goodbye. Uh, to the arrow, because uh, I didn't want to shoot him. I spared his life. You should say thank you to me. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You wouldn't be you wouldn't be alive without me. I saved your life, actually. I chose not to kill you. So, I mean, you're welcome. <laughs> Duh. Come on. Jeez, some people are so ungrateful these days. Uh, okay. Fine, you saw me. Fine. I'll take some of your parts, though. <laughs> it's like the game's inviting you. It's just like, oh, step over here. Here's a detour that'll last two hours. And I'm like, no! I want to do Rito Village. It's just... <laughs> there's so much... <laughs> Rito Village. Rito Village. Rito Village. Yeah. We're going to Rito Village. Okay, yeah. but what's this over here, though? Some people deserve to stay down in holes. A French horn player is one of them. <laughs> I'll come back. Don't worry, chat. I'll come back. I'll come back. I'll come back. Okay. I'll come back. Um, I'll put a pin in it. Oh, there's so many more pins. That's a good one. Once again, French horn player. Yeah. Okay. Uh, up here is actually where you fought. Like a, there was a talus up here, if I recall. Um, no! No! I'm not falling for your traps game. I'm not. I want to check out what the hell is happening up there. No, I want to check out what is happening in Rito Village another invite you know oh that is a giant cold snap what happened burrito village yeah. damn they are not looking like they're doing so hot right now yeah. Okay. yeah what is going on there dude all right yeah. let's go across Be very careful. 
Yeah. It's cold snap. Did Thanos run, like, come by? Or what's going on? Seems kind of lifeless, too. <laughs> yeah, something weird's happening over here. Something. Oh, hello. Hello. Don't mind me. Fine. <laughs> Dude, the, let's go regret. Yeah. Dude, the double team with the horse. That was insane. Yeah. All right. You tried to throw. Oh, you throw. You wait. But enemies can throw weapons now. That's so cool. That's such a cool development. I love that. Cool. We got Lazafa's Talon, which is uh, plus five defuse attack, and a horn, which is uh, plus eight. Uh, I actually uh, do want to do that to the Traveler Sword here. Um, I actually do want one of these uh, for the horn. I want to see what this uh, says, basically. Oh, wait. Can I? Wait. Can I just do this? Oh, far. No, I think I do still have to drop it. I, I don't know. Oh, I'll take that. Uh, wait, 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 wait. One second. Okay. One, just give, give me a sec. Okay. Um, a Lazafa's horn, and then a uh, Lazafa's tail, which has eight fuse attack power. Okay, cool. Sure. Very neat. Uh, what were you carrying? Is that amber? No, it's fire fruit. Okay. Dude, I imagine. Dude, dude, there has to be like one book goblin, like traveler or whatever. That's traveling along with like precious material i i'm willing to bet there's one out there that has like diamonds that would be crazy you know i'm really trying to give you some spicy peppers here all right rudo village what does this place look like now cold. very very cold what happened dude The sound design is beautiful with the horse here. Oh, oh guys, we get more pony points. I, I can't wait. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a different... Huh? Huh? This isn't... What is... This is... This is different. This is new. What is... What is this design? Also, hello. Who are you? Oh, it's Pen. Shh. Tracy, our editor here, is getting ready for the big Princess Zelda investigation. Uh, you're here about our newspaper, right? Oh, oh, you're the oh, right, you're the guys that we're supposed to talk to. Um, then you can talk to me too. I'm next in charge. I gotta say, you did a good job in finding us out here. So I'm uh go right on by. It's uh pretty unusual for a paper to be run out of a uh, stable. Uh, Tracy cheated the previous owner out of this place. Uh, but you see things like they are, don't you? Oh. Uh, hey, you want to be a reporter? Shine light on the truth. Expose the evils in our world. I can put in a word with Tracy for you. Oh. Hey, quiet. Uh? Uh, don't you listen, Pen? I told you I was busy, but you keep bothering me. Um, and another thing. Uh, I bought this place from the owner after we came uh, to a fair, mutually beneficial agreement. Um, could you stop telling people I cheated him out of it? Oh. I, uh, sorry, Tracy. There's an applicant for a reporter job. I wanted you to know. Huh? A new applicant? Hmm, hang on. Uh, you look like ah, uh, L L Link. Hey, sorry, Pen, but could you give me in this guy a second here? Uh. All right. How about you give me the whole story, Link? I'm the editor of the Lucky Clover Gazette here, if you couldn't tell. So don't worry. Okay. I know everyone involved with the story. Pure asked for help uh, digging into what's happened to Princess Zelda. Right. So you're the people that we're supposed to talk to uh, once we get to Rita Village. Uh, what exactly brought you here? Uh, Interesting. That's why she asked you to investigate places seriously impacted by the upheaval. Uh, well, coming here was a great call. Uh, what I mean is, we're getting tips from all over Hyrule. So many, in fact, that it's been hard to keep up. And among those tips, uh, we've been hearing about someone who looks like the princess appearing in all sorts of places. Uh, I was about to assign Pen to chase those leads, but he could use a partner. I won't tell Pen who you are. Better if no one knows you're involved. What do you say? Think you can work with him as we investigate? Of course, I wouldn't ask you to do this for free. So that'd be nice. Wait a second. I... I Going to get you a little incentive from the back. Okay. Here we go. Oh. A full set of froggy armor? Froggy armor! With that, it's easy to cling to wet surfaces. No slipping! Yeah! Yes! Yes! Oh my!
my god! That's the that is exactly what everybody has ever asked for the past six years of Zelda life. It's just been like, can we climb while it's raining? You can the perfect clothing, and it's a flog. This is amazing. This is the best armor set in the whole game. Bar none. You work with Penn and chase down all these news stories. Uh, then I'll give you this armor, piece by piece, all yours. Ah. Pretty good deal there, Link. Uh, anyways, that's my offer. Hey. Uh, Penn, you can come back in. Where's Teller? Ah. Dumb joke. Sorry, now this guy's your partner. Huh. Uh, well, if our editor here says you're in, then it looks like I sized you up right. Tracy knows how to pick them. Ah. All right, you two. Here's what you're going to do. Visit every stable for leads. Penn, you'll head this all up. Tables bringing people and people bringing details. Right, now go get some news. Okay, so this is like a quest to get basically all of the uh, stables um, uh, around uh, Hyrule. And if you get all of the stables around Hyrule, you can get the frog set. Uh, set, yep. Uh, cool. Okay. Hey, listen up, partner. We're on the trail of the truth about Princess Zelda. We can't even let the smallest clue slip through our talents or hands in your case. We should visit as many stables as we can. Travelers always have plenty of going on to talk about. So long! And Godspeed. Okay. Um, all right, let me get another pot lid. Oh, a Hylian pine cone. Uh, contains oil and burns well. Uh, throw into a fire to increase the intensity of the flame. That's a cool idea. I see so many of these, like, things added, and I'm just, like, impressed. Um, so what about this? Oh, God! Oh, Jesus! Oh, I'm so sorry! I'm... I... Okay, uh, we leave, uh, before anybody catches us. Uh, hopefully there's no Hylian police. My God. Um, anyways. Don't worry about it, guys! Don't worry about it. Everything's okay. <laughs> Wingless visitors, cross at your own peril. Um, the bridge is busted. So, we need to probably find some sort of way material to get across. Okay. Actually, you know what? I, I, we, I think we literally just found the way. I just want to apologize in advance. Um, I just want to say I'm so sorry, um, for what I'm about to do. Uh, this isn't personal. Um, but, uh, hey, you know, sometimes something's happen. <laughs> There we go. Rito Village. That's the Pantha Frontier. It's uh, quite chilly here. I'm, like snowed in. Wow. So this is sort of the uh, the mystery right now of what's going on. All right. We finally... Hey. Hey. I just want to make it known to everybody who's watching the stream right now. First off, subscribe. Second off, we made it to Rito Village. It only took like five hours of sidetracking, but we did it. We did it. My God, and I would do it again. Well, actually, three hours of sidetracking because um, it took me four hours to get off the Sky Island. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm, I, I'm nothing except for um, really, um, really, uh, how do I put, accurate? Um, thorough, thorough, very thorough. All right. These pine cones actually seem incredibly useful. So I will grab more and more pine cones. Oh, okay. Wait, these can crack? Oh, good to know. Good to know. Now, I'm not going to be getting... I, I want to reiterate for everybody here for this playthrough. I'm not going to be getting every shrine, every Korok, everything. But I will, from what it looks like here, I will be getting um, all of the main quests and then probably all of the memories as well. well there's 18. Um, just so we can get the full story of everything. I'm not going to be doing every side quest or anything. It's a first playthrough. And uh, I'll do all the main quests, all the story stuff, and all that. So, pretty cool. Just want to reiterate that's what, that's, what we're, that's what we're going with. Uh, Rusty Halberd, I do not need. Cool. <gasps> you heard that, right? It was like a boom. That is creepy. 
it's not even a post-apocalyptic uh, it's not a post-apocalyptic hyrule like in breath of the wild uh wait listen to the soundtrack it's a special rendition of uh the rito village from breath of the wild to like fit the soft That's beautiful. Ta -da. All right. Uh, let's get a stamina vessel. Uh, I shall grant the power you seek. All right. There we go. Um, yeah. Crazy. Now it's going away. All right. We got down one stamina vessel. Go and bring priests to the world. Real in practice. Let's sing. Okay. Uh, let me uh, let me save here. Yo. Uh, how are things going, Mister? Uh, we're about to practice our song, the, the, the Warblers, the song of the Stormwind Ark. We're going to sing it together to save our village from the upheaval. Are you going to listen to our song? Let's hear it. We love an audience, so we'll give it uh, our best for you. Everyone ready? One, a two. I'm not saying this. Uh, once a god fell from the heaven, <laughs> stilling the Hebrew wood, the heavens grew lifeless just as their air below thinned. With the world in upheaval, we pledged to help the Lord, a line of ships soaring built as a passage skyward. The god ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. Its winds brought us new life thanks to its great divine spark. You know, the song is about uh, the Ark that saved Rito Village a long, long time ago. Something bad happened then, just like it's happening now. Aww. Hey, that Stormwind Ark, is it really real? I'd be so happy if it was. Aww. It definitely is. Papa told me it's always watching over us, high in the sky. Aww. We'd sure use its help with this awful blizzard. Most of the adults aren't around anymore because of the weird weather. Ah. But if we don't have the Ark and we don't have the adults, it's up to us kids to take care of the village. Practice is over today. Genly, you're in charge of food, and Molly will need you to make arrows. Yeah. We've got all jobs to do, so let's do them. Hey. Hi. Kid power. Okay. Um, this looks like the inn. Let me make it uh, a daytime. Or not. Oh, no. I did it again. The beds are too soft and inviting. I hate when that happens. Uh, welcome to Swallow's Roost Inn. We don't have any other guests at the moment, so rest easy and rest well. Uh, Yeah, we'll do a regular. Until morning. literally suffering from success. Oh, God. The beds are too inviting. They're too good. Uh, where are all the... Hi. Oh, I did sleep. Okay. Um, where are all the adult... Um, Rito. Where's, where's all the adult Ritos? What? Why are they all children? Open to the Slippery Falcon Generous Floor. Um, what can I do for you? Uh, what is this place? Oh. All right, all right, yeah. So it's just a store. Okay. Oh. Uh, if you need fish, oh. uh, there's a bunch of caves along the road to the east, and more of them in Hebrew Mountains. Okay. Um, very odd. Let me let me get the shrine here real quick. Uh, Gataka's shrine. But that's a very odd. Where are all the adults? In Rito Village. Weird. All right. Let's do this shrine. Okay. Oh, by the way, uh, whenever I ask a question that is not inviting in for an answer, um, ride the winds. Okay. It's uh, not inviting an answer. Uh, don't spoil. I'm not literally asking you, hey, guys, can you tell me the plot of the game? No. Um, it's just me posing like, hmm, I wonder what happened. Right? Spoiling something for somebody is never a good thing. Okay. Here we go. Uh, ride the winds. Uh, so... Look, we... Yo, whoa! I solved it! That was crazy. Okay. 
Nice. Okay. Uh, pretty good. Not too bad. So you just want to go across, I guess? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I know. We can do this. Close. That was close. All right. And then I feel like I need to break this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I need to break that. Uh, I feel like there's... Be wrong here, too. But is there a chest around here? No, okay. Ah, uh, wait, wait. Okay. There's definitely this guy, though. Hello. What? There's the chest. Got it. Okay. A strong construct bow. Okay, we're getting a lot of uh, better bows now, which is nice. Uh, arrows and all that. Uh, let's see what else is here. There's more constructs around here. I don't. I mean, it's always nice getting like construct stuff. So I mean, I don't mind to like do that. What's nice too is I feel like I'm not running out of arrows ever. I feel like that was a problem I had in like the last game of like I would always run out of arrows no matter what happened. I would just never have enough. But um, in this one, I, we have so many. Ride the winds. That's not where we're supposed to go. <laughs> we're supposed to go up from there. <laughs> yep. Definitely supposed to go up from there. <laughs> Whoopsies. All right to the end. There we go. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. I've been drinking a lot. I've also been live for seven and a half hours. So give me a bit. All right. Car shop if you want him. He's so cute. One sec. One sec. I, I gotta press B here. There we go. guys. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hear me out, chat. Do you ever, do you ever think something is so cute that you're just like, what if I just like take my hand, like wrap it around its throat and just kind of like, like squeeze and turn? 
turn and just kind of like maybe just kind of like rip it off right and then just like right you feel that or is that just me whoa is that a korok <laughs> speaking of which I wonder if you can just spam A and do that now. Really? There it is. All right, here we go. All right, I'm not in the bathroom any longer. <laughs> Sorry, I kept that one up for a little bit too long. Uh oh, snow cool armor is back. Uh, even thanks for coming in. Uh, it's even colder on top of the mountain. Free solid at the peak. If you don't find a way to keep warm, luckily for you, we sell warm clothes. Um, okay. Uh, people are finding more caves all the time on the road east of here and on the way up to Hebrew Mountains. Caves are nice because they're warm. Uh, you can hide out from the cold there if you don't have our outfits. Plus, you can find shiny ores inside the sparkling rocks. If you pay for a lot of those, we'll keep an eagle eye out for them. Okay. What's the cheapest combo? 650, uh, 500, and 1,000. Okay. Um, so we need 1,100 and fifty dollars actually no we just need no wait we already have the uh we already have some cold armor right yeah the archaic warm greaves then we just need the snow cool tunic which is 500 rupees so let me try to get to 500 if we can um oh it tells you how much it is oh, that's so nice <coughs> that's actually really nice that's a, a great quality of life feature so we should be able to get 220 um from that uh any opals okay so we can sell all the opals um and that would be close we're about 498 okay and then uh maybe one acorn <laughs> 500 sure look at that uh all right why is why why is everybody a child here okay uh, 500 rupees for the snow cool tunic. And I, you know, I will miss the glide shirt because it's badass, but we need the snow cool tunic for later. So thanks a whole bunch for buying from us. Uh, yeah. So we're supposed to be like right over here. So where's the... Oh, a soup ladle. Yo. No way. A soup ladle. Oh, we're Oh, it's probably like more above. Oopsies. Ah, oh, shoot. Wait, can I can I um ascend this? I can. Nice. That makes life so much easier. I love that so much. Ascend is my favorite. I you can't correct me. I like that I I'm that is objectively a fact. Uh, I sent is the best, uh, uh, the, the best of the powers. Where is everyone? Oh. Hey, what's up? What's up, Tiba? What's up, Tiba? How's it going? Do you know anything about this? That's not fair at all. You know I can handle it. Checking out that huge cloud wouldn't be hard. I could even do it alone. Hmm. If we don't do anything, the village... Huh? Huh? Is that you? Hello. It is you! Young Rita Warrior. Mm. Link, they told me you were missing. It's good to see you doing well. Oh, they grow up so fast. <sighs> it's very nice to see you again. Huh. Do you remember my son, Tulin? He's grown taller, though perhaps not yet grown up. Uh. Well, maybe I would if he didn't treat me like a hatchling all the time. As long as you still think you can take on the world by yourself, you'll always be a little chick. Oh, you think I can't? I'm already a full-fledged, you know, 
You'll change your tune when I ace today's scouting trip. You can keep wasting your time treating the song of the Stormwind arc like it's real, but not me. Listen, you. Unbelievable. Julian wants me to let uh, him go find what's causing the blizzard. Julian wants me to let him go find what's causing the blizzard, and he's having trouble hearing no. He mentioned a song, uh -huh. an old folk song here in Rito Village. Long, long ago, when we faced a different sort of upheaval, the village was saved thanks to a great flying ship. Or so claims the song that's been passed down through generations. Hmm. Uh, it's a song for children, mind you. Few adults still parrot it as if it were true. Still, every now and then, you'll get reports among the Rito of a flying ship. Combine that with the blizzard caused by this upheaval, and it seems less far-fetched. Even if the song of the Stormwind Arc is just a children's rhyme, I suspect that there's something lurking high in the sky. But the air is so turbulent now that no Rito can fly close enough to look into it. That's why we say we need to make careful preparations to find the truth. But to Lin, he thinks we can just cling to that song out of cowardice. Huh. But those are Rito matters. You came for some purpose, yes? Uh, yeah, we're Zelda. <laughs> That's why we're here. But we can also help you. This is terrible news. So then not even Hyrule Castle is safe. If Princess Zelda's disappearance and the strange phenomena around the world are related somehow, hmm. we Rito would ordinarily love to contribute to your search. But this abnormal blizzard shows no sign of stopping and food has grown scarce. Everyone I could spare is already out researching the blizzard or scavenging for food. Hmm. My, husband hasn't been, my husband hasn't been able to leave the village much since becoming the village elder. Hmm. I wish there was something I could do. Huh. Uh, but maybe I'm not the one you want. You should try asking Hearth. My friend Hearth has many sources of information, so we might already have a lead about Princess Zelda. You see the two bonfires out that way? Hmm. Uh, he's in the lodge near there. If you'd like to visit him. Okay. Um, let's go. Um, you know what? Let me try this. I I've never gotten this right. Uh, two lens profile's been added. Dude, I love the character profiles. It's, it's actually such a nice touch. I'm like you can see all of them. Uh, we'll read them all later, but it's it's so neat, you know. Uh, okay. Let me do this. Uh, I believe if I can, I can. I only have one wing left. Worth it. Never mind. Not worth it. <laughs> okay, let's go out here. So currently, what we need to do is, well, we're, we're like, hey, where's Zelda? Like, what's what's going on here? Um, and they're like, well, there's a huge blizzard in the sky and, uh, you know, uh, in a typhoon or whatever, right? It's insane, right? Um, but well, we got to figure out, <laughs> we got to figure out how to, how to find Zelda and stop this blizzard, uh, which it seems that this skyward, uh, ship seems to be involved somehow. Very, very interested. Uh, very interesting. There's a lot to do here. Uh, and a lot we still have to discover. Okay, let me do this. Uh, so if we use a construct bow and then attach it with... This takes so long to go all the way to the side. Here we go. Fire fruit. Oh, and miss. Uh, and hit. There we go. Instantly defeats him. Awesome. Is this new? A sapphire sword. An average sword used largely by travelers. The blade has a deca is decayed, but it can still serve its purpose. A sapphire sword? Oh, it's a tra oh, it's a traveler's sword and a sapphire. Oh, which is basically the same thing as like an ice rod. Okay, that's pretty cool actually. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, yeah, I like it. All right, let's go to, uh, what's his name again? It's ha ha have, um, Harvey, Humvee, um, Ar has, has been, um, uh, Hasbro, um, ha Haberdashery, ha Haberdasher, um, H-E double hockey sticks, uh, hell no, um, have a good day, um, uh, Hearthstone. Kibra Hodge Lodge. Ah. Oh, Misa. Hi. Um, they're oddly shaped, aren't they? Mm. I've done every uh, thing I can think of, but they're not made for what they're for. Like, you know. Uh, I've got to get. I'm. Um, I'm going to get out of these things. Uh, if you want them for some reason, they're all yours. Oh, cool. Thank you. Appreciate that. 
uh, haberdashery, um, uh, hell's nose, husband, um, um, heart, heart, deed. um, oh, it's hearth. I got it. I got it right. <laughs> I was, I was close. Come on. It's hearth. It was really close to haberdashery. Link, you're all right. I was worried after I heard that you had gone missing. What happened? Ah, uh, so you're looking for Princess Zelda. Sorry to tell you that I haven't heard anything about her. <sighs> Our feathers are full, dealing with a mere immediate, uh, with a more immediate problem. Everyone from the village has left to scavenge for food or to investigate the cause of this terrible blizzard. <clears throat> and all that has been hampered by the sky monsters that seem to be everywhere. We're spread too thin to deal with them properly on top of everything else. All right, bud. I wish I could do more for you. Oh. Though now that I think of it, maybe Tu Lin could help. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you went around for it, but well, Tu Lin has developed a way with wings that puts the adults to shame even in this vicious weather he patrols the skies and reports all kind of useful information oh. his wind gust technique is something to see none of the rest of us can pull off like Ravali. even stern tiba acknowledges that tulin's skill is a cut above hmm. the kid does preen about it more than he should but well it's worth asking him at least last i saw him he was with uh, jezanine and lysa on a trip to find food i think they were on their way to hebra south summit cave that's the northeast from here uh, the cave is past the cliff out front uh, and up the mountain road. There should be a bonfire uh, marking the spot. Okay, so we need to go find uh, Tu Lin who can help us uh, find uh, Zelda. And also, we'll, we can maybe find whatever uh, we can do about this blizzard. Find the bonfire at the mouth of the cave and you'll be on your way to find Tu Lin. All right, let's go do it. Speaking of bonfires, uh... Can, can I actually, like, go up this? Wait, what if I... Wait, it's a bonfire. So what if I use a pine cone on this already bonfire? Oh, my God. That, nice. Cool. <laughs> that worked. It's a mega bonfire. That thing's about to catch fire everywhere. Okay. Uh, I wanted to, actually. Let me check this out. Uh, I haven't checked this yet, uh, but does throw sprinting also do... Okay, no. Throw sprinting doesn't work either. They patched that out. That's... Wow. They patched out everything in Breath, from Breath of the Wild. They patched out a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wow. Oh, look at that. Northeast Cave. So up here. Uh, and there is a shrine up there as well. Uh, is this... Close? Hello? Unbelievable. Mm. Unbelievable. These huge things are raining down upon us. What's happening in their skies? Oh, I, I didn't expect to meet you highly near. Where are you doing in the mountains in this weather? Mm. You'll see how cold you've gotten. Ah. Yeah, if you go farther up the slope, you'll see Hebra South Summit Cave. Right, that's where we want to go. My friends are there now gathering provisions. <sighs> they keep a bonfire stoked at the cave entrance to mark the location. If the cold gets too much for you, find that bonfire and warm yourself up in the cave. Okay. Such a cool game, dude. It's such a cool game. Watch this. Watch this snipe, actually. Boom! Save their life. Once again, you 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 mistake it probably as oh point crow missed. No, I saved their life. That all right? I'm a benevolent ruler here. So uh, you're welcome. Actually, I'm a, yeah. I'm quite literally a saint. Uh, an ice keys eyeball. Uh, a homing quality of the arrow. Okay, ice keys eyeball. That means it's like homing and freezing. That's kind of cool. That's that's pretty neat. Alright. Oh, hey, we got our first uh blue column, actually. Okay. Uh, a feathered edge. Right. Okay. This is a feathered edge, but it's all rusted like last time. Interesting. It's so cool, dude. How they are literally taking like they're, they're taking all of the old weapons and everything, and they decayed it, right? Because Gloom hit all of the weapons around Hyrule. Um, but the, the, the really neat thing about it uh, is that uh, they uh, it, it gives you the want to, the need to upgrade it. Because the Feather Edge is just is not as powerful as it used to be. A blue Bokoblin Horn. So if I took the Feathered Edge, um, as it were, let me equip this. And then um, it's like a good material here to use. Not a Hinox horn. That maybe I'll, I'm kind of saving that. Um, let's take the blue Bokoblin horn, right? The, the one that we just picked up. Uh, and we'll use Fuse here. And with the Feathered Edge. Now we have uh, 
13 and a lot more durable. Oh. Oh? And the Feathered Edge, okay, can produce a strong wind. That's pretty neat. That's really cool, actually. Uh, chill Shroom can use to cook dishes um, that are cold. Wow. They've really added a ton to make a variety of weapons and everything more. But the variety, to, to make a, a wide variety of weapons um, that you can like play around with. Okay. No. <laughs> Don't mind me. Yeah, Hebra, I, I won't lie. Hebra is probably one of my least favorite areas of the entire game. Um, I, so I'm kind of curious to see how they like revamped it for Tears of the Kingdom. Um, so far, pretty good. Um, my God, uh, the game's pretty. The game plays fun. There's so much to do. Um, I was uh, I was told a little bit before stream here that um, ooh, it's a hero shrine. A little bit before stream that I the from a couple of people being like, uh, they're like Point Crow. I really like the game. Uh, if, and if I like it, uh, you're going to love it. <laughs> so I'm super stoked, you know. All right. Now, I'm doing the shrines. Um, well, obviously, because they're kind of cool and I really like the puzzles. But also because they're uh, awesome teleport points, too. Okay, so what's this one called? Aid from above. Okay. Um, can, I, can I do this? Does that work? Oh. oh. So if you cross it... Oh, okay. Interesting. So you really don't want those lasers. So if I hit a laser here... Then, um, I'm okay. If I hit a laser, um, everything is <laughs> everything goes underneath me. Okay, dun, 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 dun. yeah, let me play like the Mission Impossible theme really, really quick, you know. Okay, nice, go team, and then next, uh, we can use. Uh, ascend. Get up here. Cool. And what else is over this way? Wait, is this okay? Which one's the side path? <laughs> like you feel me on this? It's like which one actually is it? Wait. Something behind me open? Too? Oh. So you need the block in order to get the chest. A spicy elixir grants high level warming effect. Very useful when exploring the snow covered mountains. Oh, good news, we don't need that because we actually already have uh, times to um, uh, cold from uh, our snow cold set. But uh, pretty neat. Uh, you know, I'm just going to attach these so it's easier to just bring them together. <laughs> just for convenience sake. Um, if I need to at all. Oh, uh, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. A really bad idea. <laughs> so don't do that, uh, in case you were wondering. <laughs> and you had um, like a, a want to do that, you know? <sighs> uh, okay, that closed behind me. Oh, it's like it's like a hole in the wall. Uh, that that one Japanese game show. What, what the? What the fuck? What? I do this. I can't. Okay. Um. Okay, so it doesn't go all the way. So I can like go through it at the very last moment, I think. I was thinking of like reversing it, but it's already going to reverse. So I do this. Yeah! You just barely make it through. You know. Okay, that works. Uh, 
You know, I probably could have used like a send there. Um, thinking about it again. Um, because there was like a space open where I could have like gone through. I like my solution better. I like mine better. <laughs> mine was cooler. All right, let me eat a little bit here. Hey, I bet I'm not the only person that did that. Right. So now we're trying to look for the southern uh, Hebra mine or cave, one of those. Oh, it's marked by a bonfire. Might have gone a little bit too far here. So let me go up for a, a greater vantage point. Bye. Nice. <laughs> uh, go team. I did it. Oh, too good. He's too good. He's simply too good. Oh, Coblin guts. Um, it, con it convulses on its own every now and then, which is really creepy. <laughs> but uh, perhaps that was used. Perhaps it does. Perhaps it does. Uh, a soldier's shield. Uh, super useful, I feel like. Um, has 16, uh, blocking power. Nice. Okay. Um, let's see what else. Classic white choo-choo jellies. Um, ooh, I'll take this. I'll take a seared steak. My God. Is this too nice? Is this too good? Um, and then anything else? Oh, there's a chest. I totally missed that chest. Spiked Boko Bow. Okay. Uh, I want that instead of this for sure. Spiked Boko Bow seems pretty nice. Okay. Uh, is there... Where's where's the... Wait, is this a Zora? No, it's a... Oh, wait. No, that's a Rito. What's going on over here? Also, wait, wait, wait. Okay. First off, there's the bonfire. I found it. It's over, it's over there. Second off, um, uh, what's going on? Oh, wait. What is this? Ice fruit. Gives an effect that strengthens muscles and increases attack power in cold temperatures. Oh, cool. So it makes you more powerful in cold temperatures. You know... Hello. Huh. What a disaster. I came all the way to scrounge uh, mushrooms and now this. I'll never be able to get to the deep parts of the cave with the messed up wing. Uh, where's Tulin? Oh. You're looking for Tulin? Uh, he's out in another cave uh, gathering food with uh, Jusane and them. There's a bonfire mark in the entrance. Okay. Oh. Start freezing on your way there. Take a minute by the fire to warm up. Okay. Uh, which I'm totally good, you know. You know. All right. Let's get on this a ways. Yeah. No, if everybody had a notion. Across the USA. Okay. You got to get that uh, classic Beach Boys uh, whenever you uh, shield surf. It's like a requirement, basically. Okay. So, Tulin should be in here. Uh, the Hebra South Summit Cave. Oh, I didn't think I'd be seeing anyone else in these mountains anytime soon with the blizzard and all. But I'm here because it's a good place to find food for my people. Why are you here? Oh. Uh, looking for Tulin, huh? Oh, well, fair enough. He's farther than the cave with Jacine. They're scavenging for food. And no, I'm not going to show you the way. I need to keep an eye on what I've amassed so far. Be on your guard. There's a creature in that cave that hops around on the walls. Probably won't bother you if you stay away from it. Good luck finding Tulane. Interesting. Okay. Is that like a mini boss? Or is it like one of the um, like bubble frogs? I'm interested. Like what, you, what, what are you? Oh, whoa. Whoa! Also, oh, okay, okay. Oh, God. Damn, man. What the hell is in here? Uh, chill friend trout. Okay, cool. Temporarily, temporarily boosts your heat resistance. Oh, okay. A bunch of chill shrimps, too. You're nice. Okay, you know, I'll take this. This is pretty good. Pretty good. Um, I do want to find the frog. One time. Got some ambers. Um, some bright caps, uh, which we'll need for the depths. And, uh, sick. Okay. 
Uh, now to head back up. <laughs> oh, one of these guys. Uh, these guys as well. Hello. Okay, they totally ran away. <laughs> There's, uh, I wouldn't. Yeah, I'd, I'd be the same if I were them. So there's like an updraft here to go higher in the mountain. Wait, is this an area of the cave? Oh, there's an area right over here. Interesting. What's down here? I think this is where we're supposed to go. This is where I came from. <laughs> um, um. Never mind. Okay, nice. Uh, a giant bright bloom seed. Okay, another bright bloom seed. salt and everything don't uh two any axis that's fine that's okay um i probably should have picked up some um um i probably should have picked up something with um like a rock oh speaking of which wait what the hell is that thing huh what what are you what is this like a troll what the it's a horriblin a horriblin a talon a horriblin that is wild okay also like a crazy enemy design um i will drop this and then in favor of here and then fuse all right, I'm getting faster at this, which is nice. All right, luminous stones as well. Uh, they glow in the dark. Um, apparently, a stone can be used as a base to make special clothing. Oh, okay. So you can use uh, luminous stones for special clothing. So we back in the mines. Got our guessing from side to side. Side that it's an earworm that is um, forever taken over my life. Okay. Uh, let's put some flints here. Uh, it looks like we need to create like an updraft here uh, for. I need to put like a sharp blade. Uh, and then not only do we need that, um, thank God uh, we picked up some high highly in pine cones, so we can make an updraft and go farther up the cave. And look at that! He uses everything that he's not. Uh, there's also more up here. There's a lot in this cave. Yeah, there's a lot in this cave. Okay. Hey, guys. Uh, what's going on? Uh, just don't, don't hurt me, you know? Okay, cool. Some opals, some flints. Um, just some more uh, stuff here. Where are we going to? Oh, nice. Um, uh, more bomb flowers. And uh, just go full circle. No. Wait. Where's too late? Oh, just saying. Oh, where? But where's? Where are we gonna do with that boy? I'd just like him to fly off on his own and leave all the food we collected behind. Okay. Uh, but where is Tulin? Yeah. Was Hylian doing all the way up here in such a fierce blizzard? Looking for Tulin. That's mm. what I'm doing. You just missed him, unfortunately. Our task was to scavenge food, but we saw a flock of monsters fly past outside the cave. The same ones that have been sighted around the village lately. In fact. Mm. I told the others we should return right away to report them, but Tulin clearly wasn't listening at all. He said, "I'm going to follow them back to their nest." And flew off alone before I protest. You leave the cave and head north. You can find a you can find a lone cedar tree on Talanto Peak. That's where we saw the monsters. No doubt Tulin followed him there. Yeah, sky mm. monsters. I know he thinks he's unbeatable, but he really shouldn't be taking these chances. Okay. Uh, let me uh, wait until morning though. Um, he'll be fine. Don't worry. 
Tulin's gonna be okay. He can last the night. <laughs> it's like the in-universe like lore of just like, yo, uh, let me take a nap first real fast. Don't you worry, don't you worry. Alright. Uh love getting the bright blooms. We're definitely gonna need those later. Okay, so we wanna find the lone cedar tree. Okay, that almost killed me. Good to know. Uh, the lone cedar tree. Is it like up here? Yeah, up there. That's where Tulin should be. Looks like there's this weird structure here though that has appeared. Or fallen? Oh, what's going on, my guy? Let me save. <laughs> Don't mind me really fast. How's it going? How's it hanging? What's up? You know. Are we really just hitting you fast? We might actually be. Okay, nice. <laughs> we did. Okay, let me do that, and then uh, I'll grab the Captain One Reaper. Reaper. Okay, don't don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do it like. Don't do me like this. Um. Okay. Let me. Here we go. Okay, you have uh, frost on your weapons. Which makes you a little bit more difficult. But oh, and you were holding a bunch of chill shrooms. That's awesome. I'll take all of them. Don't mind if I do. Okay, I do mind if you do that though. I very much mind if you do that. Okay, what is this frost sword? You got icicle club. It's an icicle. Wait, there and you, a wooden stick and an icicle. That's what this is. It's a wooden stick and an icicle. You can have an icicle, huh? What? Since when was that a, a thing? That's crazy. Uh, hi there. And goodbye. There. Oh, very interesting. Oh, I mean, sure, I'll take it. Yeah. Damn. Uh, okay. Uh, let's get more of these ice fruits. And then uh, it looks like we need to find out what the hell this is. Beep. Yeah. Here. The lone cedar tree up this way. Yeah. I mean, we could probably go the other way and like around, but this seems more my speed right now. As of late. What is... Oh, looks like there's an enemy stuck in here. Oh, you know what? Let's, let's thaw him out. Screw it. That's, this seems, this seems like about fine, right? Oh. This is probably like a huge waste of air. Are you friendly? How's it going? You're not friendly. That was so, such a waste. That was such a waste. I can't believe I just... Okay, that was... We wasted so many arrows for that. I regret. I regret. Such regret. He's not friendly. It was not friendly, and he dropped nothing. Okay, here's the lone cedar tree. Uh, that we... Uh, we're told about for two Lin. He should be right here. He is. Hey, hey, guy. Should have kept my guard up. Right, let me save here. A uh, stupid monster. What, Link? Where did you come from? What happened? Uh, you see, uh, that rotten monster took my good bow. Huh. Oh, that's the bow napper. 
That's a new enemy. I gotta get it back. Help me out? Sure, of course. Uh, really, thanks. Did you know I can blow strongest of wind anywhere I feel like? I'll do it for you, too. That way, you can glide over there to where that monster went. Just tell me where to put my gust, and I'll make it for you. Tulin's power of wind. Oh, whoa. When Tulin's aura is charged, you can create a stream of wind that blows straight forward. This could be used for bursts of speed while paragliding. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, so if I... Let's go. So uh, I can, like, aim your gust of wind, like, here. Whoa. Yeah, and then you can do it again. That's really neat. Okay, so let me do this. And then when you're... Really? I really... Okay, fine. Fine, fine. I'll do the, the dumb... Yeah, 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 fine. I'll do the keys eyeball who's homing. There we go. We got it. <laughs> ha! Uh, there we go. Hey, here, one second. Um, let me fix the crackle. Uh, let's see. Uh, audio, DG, EXE, uh, set priority. Uh, and set affinity to one. Maybe that'll work. There we go. That worked. Uh, that was uh, recommended to me by a chatter and forwarded to me by one of my mods. So uh, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. I need a big time link. Uh, without you, my bow might have been lost for good. That, that has been plaguing me for ages. Uh-oh. Oh, there's more. Oh. With enemies. There's more of them. Okay. Hello. Don't worry, I can, I, can, I can get you. All right, they're not going to make a fool out of me twice. Let's go get them together. All right, this is fine. <laughs> Woo! Oh, my God. He's actually... That's so cool. Wait, two ones actually doing damage here. Uh, and we got a falcon bow. Okay. Let me... Uh, really quick. Don't mind me. Uh, drop. Pick a falcon bow. Oh, I meant to do that. Wait, is it still crackling? It's still crackling. Damn it. One second, chat. Pause, champ. Pause, champ. Okay. Here we go. Nice! Oh, let's, that's perfect. We did it. Hey, look, I think this might have been a hideout for those monsters. Oh, what's happening? Oh, uh, what was that wind? It couldn't have been. There's no way. Must have been something else. Hey, Dulin, Link. Huh? What is that? Oh. Oh. Hey, what's up, Humvee? Oh, Hearth, right. Uh, that was some impressive teamwork, you two. Uh, you saw that, Hearth? Talk about embarrassing. I, I didn't listen when Jaz uh, Jazine tried to stop me. I thought I could handle it. Uh, but I ended up losing my favorite bow to those stupid things. I thought it was fully fledged, but there's probably no way I could have gotten it back on my own. Mm. But now you can see why we were treating you like a small chick. Yeah. Uh -huh. You were right. It really is important to work as a flock. I think I finally get what Dad has been trying to tell me all this time. Oh. Is that all there is to the story? It seems unlike you to let your bow be taken to Lin. Huh. Oh, yeah. Funny story about that. There was this whole thing with Princess Zelda. And you mention it now? I spotted her getting attacked by a monster. It was such a surprise I dropped my guard and stole my bow. But I guess she was fine because then she zoomed up above that cloud. Huh? What? Princess Zelda is blue above the cloud? How can that be? Seems like a stretch, but we're not going to get to the bottom sitting around here. Huh? Tulin, Link came out of here looking for Princess Zelda. You should go with him and investigate the cloud you say the princess soared into. <laughs> but I thought it wasn't allowed. Uh. I got a report from coming here. We think it's likely the blizzard is coming from the inside that cloud after all. So, yeah, <laughs> it's like, it's kind of odd. <sighs> I want to see for myself as soon as I can, but the strong winds make any approach from the sides impossible. The only way through is through the top, but... 
There's not a Rudo alive capable of crossing the stormy side and making it all the way there. Well, except for one. Uh. Talking about you, Tulin. Only you have the skill and training to create gusts at will. That's so cool. Tulin would be the finest Rudo warrior of all once he understands the value of working with his allies. Uh. You know who said that to me? Your old dad. <laughs> dad said that? Oh. And yep, make sure he knows what you accomplished here today. Now it's time for you to go with Link and find Princess Zelda and whatever's causing this blizzard. Uh -huh. No problem. The two of us together have got this. <laughs> I saw Princess Zelda up on the Sky Islands near uh, Hebra Peak. Uh, let's check there first. Oh. Link, to Lynn, we're counting on you. So what? We, okay. So there was a weird gust of wind, a, a strange gust of wind, uh, that Tulin uh, found. Interesting. So uh, let's go. Okay. So I can show you where to gust. Right no! up there. That works. Okay, perfect. That's really cool. And then, um, and then I think I can use a send up here, right? Never mind. Uh, up here. Yeah. So cool. Okay. And I can use it again. Up here. Hey, look at that! Oh, I found a chest. All right, what's in here? Uh, Zonite Sword. I don't need it. Okay, that's fine. Um, Yeah, so Tulin is right here. That's so cool. I really like uh, the fact that you can use, like, your companions here. That's a really nice, like, I wouldn't even say quality of life. That's just, like, a nice thing to have. <laughs> it's just a really neat thing to do. Um, Yeah, all right. Let's head over this way. Uh, and uh, I guess figure out what else is up, up here. Yeah, it looks like we're going to go to the Sky Islands above Hebra. So whatever's up this way is where uh, Zelda is. And we'll see what's at the center of this, uh, well, of, of this storm. Like, what's causing the blizzard? Right, what's that over there? <laughs> it's a Korok with a backpack. It's a Korok with a backpack. He's so cute. I must help him. He's a Korok. I need to reach my friend. Oh, my friend and I got separated. He's up there. Okay. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. Yeah. So tired though. I can't move. Um, how can we get you up here? Is there anything I can use to? Oh, you know what? There is actually. I feel like there is. Um, if I can do like. One second. I wish there was faster. Okay. Um. Oh, oh, you can sort in different ways by Zonai devices. Oh, I just saw this. Okay. So if I use a balloon. Sorry. Uh, if I use a balloon, drop the balloon. Like right here. Okay. Let's let's do it like right here. Okay. Exactly. It, exactly what I was thinking, Korok. Okay, here we go. And then up and around. Okay. Let's place this right here. Actually, I, I'll, I'll attach it like... <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? Okay, and then a fire emitter, maybe. Um, yeah, a fire emitter. Okay, and then let me ultra hand this and attach it. There. Well, okay. This could work. <laughs> this could work. This could work. Oh, wait. I mean, we don't really have to talk about what just happened there, right? Like, we don't. We just. I, uh, I hope he finds his friends sometime soon, you know? I hope it goes well for him in, in the future. Nice. 
What? 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 First Frederick and now this. Yeah, at least it wasn't like, you know. Okay. Can you win, like shoot something up into the air? That would be awesome. Okay. Uh, and we need to get up to the Sky Island. There. Uh, all right, Tulin. Let's go. Leave it to me. I love the gust effect. It's so it's so convenient. It's so nice. And it's like nice to like have uh, this sort of main quest where the uh, companion is very useful. Wait, this this is new. Wait, you got you got like a new you got a new head that I can I can I can use. Yeah, what do you drop here? A soldier's construct two horn. It's well suited for slicing small branches and plants. Oh, okay, okay. So if I do this, I was waiting for something like this, right? I do a zonite sword and then take, where is it? Down here. Uh, and fuse it. Whoa, I got like an ax. It's 17 damage. Soldier 2 Reaper. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Okay. I just gotta climb up this way. So, so, so cool. Uh, chat, by the way, uh, if you're not subscribed yet to the channel, uh, subscribe. Subscribe. Uh, if you wanna, cause uh, I'll be editing this video. Um, like this, this video will be edited, um, and fully available for you guys, uh, tonight. Tonight. Uh, so if you enjoy, uh, what you're seeing here, uh, I should probably, uh, you know, um, I should probably do this. Uh, but yeah, uh, the video will be out tonight. Uh, so check it out if you have not already. Um. Uh, like subscribe so you can be like notified of when I do go live. Um, but then also, uh, when that, um, uh, when that video goes live and I'll be streaming all weekend. So tomorrow I will also be live. Okay. An arrow Kuda wing. That's what it's saying. It's an arrow Kuda. Uh, arrows and throwing weapons fly farther with this item attached. Oh. Uh, okay. So the sky islands around Heber Peak. So we are at basically Heber Peak right now. This is, this is Heber Peak. Uh, and this is... Zelda was around the Sky Islands of Heber Peak here. And, I mean, directly above us is that blizzard. So, yeah, I'll be, uh, I'll be doing that. Um, pretty, pretty cool. Um, here we go. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be, uh, doing whatever this is, too. I'm excited. All right. For the editors, uh, I'm gonna split here. Okay. Here we go. All right, let's go. Come on, Tulin. Let's do this. Let's go find Zelda. No. Uh, let's see. All right. So then, uh, let's let's go through all of these puzzles. Uh, I'm assuming what we're probably going to want to do is take these two, or at least one of them. Are we going to we just use these? Yeah. Uh, go up here and then have Tulin uh, use uh, Leave it to me. Uh, use your gust effect again. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. It, like, it, ascent just makes it so much more fun to, like, climb things. And then... Ultra Hand is like a really cool Magnesis like addition. There's just it's so neat to figure out what all of this stuff does and like how they work together. Uh, can I ascend up here? I can. <laughs> God, that's amazing. All right, we're just slowly ascending these sky islands. Uh, you have to you do have to look above a lot though. Oh, like I like like right over there. I missed that. Then there's this over to the side. 
Hmm. Let's see. Oh, you know what? Let me let me go over here again. Um, to the side here. I'm down, and then across here, because it seems like there's so many different ways that you can do this. Wow! Look at that. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, because I think we want to go around to here, if I can. And then up. Can I send all the way up here? I can't. Oh, my God. This is going to make you sick. No. <laughs> such a good, such a cool game. Uh, and now we're fully in the sky. The rising island uh, chain in the Hebrew Mountain sky. This is where we're at right now. Yeah, we're pretty far up right now. Uh, pretty, pretty high. Is that... Is that the boat of legend? Hey. Yeah, it might. I think it is. It was around here that I saw Princess Zelda. Hmm. But now I don't know where she could have gone. Uh huh? What is that? I think we found it. I think we found the Skyward, the Skyward boat. Uh, let's go around. Or, yeah. Look at that. It's a boat. And it's flying. Oh. There's that mysterious wind again. What is it, though? Come. Nice. Sorry. Sorry. Come. <laughs> Who is speaking, though? To me. Um, whose voice was that? Was it coming from somewhere up there? Look at all those sky boats, dude. And that was a giant boat up there, too. Oh, my God. You see that thing inside the cloud? It's another boat, but it's huge. I'm, oh, my God. Is this a dungeon? Like a full-on, genuine dungeon? And it's a sky boat? <gasps> I can't believe it. It's huge. There's tons of little flying boats, too. You know what it reminds me of? A line of ships soaring, built as a passage skyward. The god ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. The whole thing is just like the song of the Stormwind Ark. Oh. Was that children's song true after all? You heard the strange voice too, right, Link? I heard it say, come to me. <laughs> it's like I, it was calling us up there. I don't see anything around here that would lead us to Princess Zelda, but maybe she went over to that ship. Uh -huh. Well, nowhere to go but up. Come on. Oh my god. It reminds me of like the sand ship, but keep in mind that's only like one that's like a ship. So um Yeah. This is neat. This is crazy. Um yeah, it's crazy how the song of the, the skyward ship and stuff, um, the song, you know, is, is crazy. Now imagine if like you know little twinkle twinkle little star was real. <laughs> now, now that would be nuts. There's not the stars don't exist, right? Uh okay, what's here? Whoa, whoa, oh my god, it's a trampoline. Sick. Oh, that's cool. Wait, can I, can I use the gust midair? Oh, you totally can. Oh, you totally can use the gust midair. That's pretty cool. All right, uh, Mayumikas Shrine. This would be like a, uh, a point on the way to uh, whatever that is. All right, here we go. Oh, that's so cool, dude. Okay, what is this one? Uh, Downward Force. Okay. Um, okay. Can I shoot this? I can. Nice. I did it. <laughs> Uh, downward force. Oh my god. There are boats in the shrine. There are boats on the shrine. All right, so if we go through. Hello. All right. Oh, you also have the soldier's construct. Uh, uh, the, 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 you're a soldier's construct, but you are a, uh, uh, a type two. You're a type two. Yeah, because you have the type two horn. Cool. All right, so if I do this, thwonk, that's so neat. 
That's so neat. Okay, and then I can just like go from here and then it shoots me back up. Wow. That's dude. I'm imagining this is probably what we're gonna have to do um with uh um like the uh the dungeon <laughs> oh he's a sniper and he's finished wow Ah, oh, that's a cool shrine. That's that one flows really well, and I like that. That was great. It's a cool mechanic. Da -da 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 -da. Cool. Okay. Um, so what's this over here? Now I know I can break it. But what does that do for me? Oh, it's my chest. Sure. Okay. All right. Uh, five arrows is what that got me. Uh, but you know what? I'll take it. Uh, I, I definitely need more arrows all the time. It was really nice to have. All right. Let's continue up these uh, sky island. There's so much to do. All right, Tulane, come on. I'm waiting for him. Hello. Eight-hour stream? Yeah, it doesn't feel like an eight-hour stream, though. <laughs> Woo! You know when you're just having fun and, like, you... Like, time just passes and you just don't feel like... You know? That's what, that's what it is right now. I'm just having so much fun where I'm like, dude, it's eight and a half hours? It's crazy. <laughs> Does not feel like it in half hours. Ooh, the snipe from Tulin. My God, my guy. Uh, I mean, hell, it's not the longest I've ever streamed. Uh, the longest I've ever streamed is about um, uh, 525 hours. Why are you not moving? What's going on? All set. Okay. Uh, 525 hours straight. It was uh, uh 25, four days long? 25 days long? Oh, it was for the subathon. If you guys uh, have not watched that video, uh, that was a fun one. That was a real fun one. Okay. Got the... He's never gonna know what came to him. Oh, I just one shot him. Oh, my bad. I'm so sorry. Um, are you good? Um, excuse me. Rude. Okay, I was just mourning the loss of your friend, and then you choose to snipe me. That's uh, actually like not okay. Um. Oh, well, that guy's dead. <laughs> like, geez, some people these days, you know. Some people. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it's just kind of interesting to like get around and see what's up. Um, like I'm like, okay, you have to like continuously like look up as well. So you can use ascend. Can I not ascend up here? What? Uh I guess not. Okay. It wants me to go over here. Like the game wants me to go over this way. I can't even tell if this is technically the dungeon. I don't even think it is. I think it's just platforming. Like, I don't think we've gotten to the dungeon yet. Like, legitimately, I think it's just like this is... Like, just the way to get to the dungeon, you know? Which is pretty cool on its own right. All right, Tulane, please. For the love of God, come up here. <laughs> Alright. Uh, and then guess over here. Hmm. I don't think this is where I'm supposed to be landing. Yeah, definitely not. Uh, because I'm supposed to use a send up here. 
And the way I can do this is if I shoot this with a fire, right? Melt. Okay, that didn't help much, though. Hmm. I, you know what I could probably do instead is use a flame emitter, right? Actually, can I even ascend through this? Oh, I can just ascend. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was like, hmm, maybe I can melt it so then I can... Nah, that was, was good. Uh, so just conjure corn. A sturdy, thick stick. Hey, what they called me in college, you know? Uh, okay. <laughs> I will see. Uh, a portable pot. Okay, cool. Uh, also what they called me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but imagine. Uh, let's see. Uh, spicy pepper isn't good for this. I can use a flame emitter, actually. No, where's a bomb? Wait, can I use a bomb arrow? That might help, actually. Okay. My type. Nice! That works still. Okay, and then I can use a send up here. We're almost to the top. Oh, yeah. We're almost to the top here. Uh, a little bit longer. All set. Now. Okay. When will this stream end? Uh, when I feel like, uh, when I feel like it. When I feel like it. When I'm like, nah, I did enough today. But I want to, I want to stream some more. Hello. Oh, you're a captain. Okay, so I want, I want to stop you from uh, actually um, choosing things because that'll be some trouble for me. Um, oh my god, and it's so useful that they actually work. Like, uh, <laughs> um, the the. Um, uh, the the companions actually like do things, so it's very nice. Uh, except for when Tulin gets stuck on a ledge. Come on, come on, Tulin, really? Come on, come on, come here, Tulin. Tool where are you going, Tulin? Where are you, where are you at? Okay. And then guess that was the wrong way. Well, so take you. What the hell is that? Um, okay. Um, alrighty. I mean, it doesn't look like we have to fight that thing, but I, uh, I, I kind of want to fight that thing, you know? Like, I can, I can just skip him like this, but I'm not going to lie. That seems like a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, let me fight it. All right, let me save real quick. Okay. Uh, let me do this. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's fight whatever this thing is. What are you? Hello. Can I even... Uh... <laughs> Guys... I don't know what I did, but I already broke the game, dude. I didn't do anything here. <laughs> um, well, this has been fun. This is, <laughs> you know, he's like, he's, he's moonwalking, you know, he's doing the jitters. Oh, uh, he's a little buggy. Uh, you know what? what? Oh, he's good now. 
I don't know what happened there. I have no idea. A flux construct? But oh, that's your eye. Okay, so right here is like where you take damage the most. Oh, okay. Oh, it's like a Hinox there where you want to take like... Okay, you want to hit this block in order to beat him. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Uh, he comes back. Okay, what's he doing? What's he, what's he up to? What's he, okay. Right. Okay, okay, you can do that. And he comes to right apart. And then you have to uh, grab the block again. That's such a cool mechanic. I love it. All right, it's almost done. Nice. And we got the Fluff Construct 1. The Guardian of the Rising Island Chain. Whoa. Wait, wait. speaking of whoa, what is this? What, what the hell is this? Can I, can I like fuse this with like one of my weapons? Um, yeah, let me like, let me try that. Uh, so let me like destroy fuse material and then, uh, put it on here and fuse. It's a flux construct for. <laughs> Whoa! Damn! Look at that weapon! It's a plus 10 attack. Um, it resonates with attached sign identifiers. Yeah. Whoa. That's so cool. And it moves on the back too. That's really neat. I like that a lot. Yep. Alright, what what did we get for defeating that thing too? An old map shows a marked spot. What could it be? There's no way they did treasure maps here. They did treasure maps, like like in Wind Waker. Oh my god. All right, we got to find that later. We got to find that later. That's so cool. All right, so that's that's specifically in the depths, in the bottom left corner of the map. Wow. All right, sounds good. Uh, can I even this? How do I, how do I get back up? That's the next. Uh, oh, yeah, I can ascend through here. Wow. Okay, let me um ascend. There we go. Uh Katsu Fatsu, thanks so much for the channel membership. I appreciate that. Thank you. Alright, and then we go over here and then and tally ho! <laughs> okay, we, we just hit that, but I can use a bomb arrow. Go in, get out of the way. Nice. It'll work, right? Nice. That's really neat. It, it, it really, like, the game really, like, it doesn't tell you anything here, but you have to figure it out, and it's totally worth it. Uh, speaking of worth it, uh, what's this over this way? And also, what's this over this way? I have so many questions, and I um, want to find out more answers. Okay. Um, so if I do this... Yeah, whoa. What did we just discover here? Yeah, we're not even we're not even to like the, the ship yet, but I am finding so many things. Ten arrows. You know what? It's not much, but I'll take it. It's worth it still in my opinion. Oh, there's some guys here. Don't worry. Um I just won't interact. Cool. Okay, nice. Get out of the way, and we're good to go. Uh, unless you guys are going to be annoying about it. Oh, they're going to be annoying about it, aren't they? Yeah, they're going to be annoying about it. Okay. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, I think we've made it to the... Oh, we're not even at the top yet. Are you serious? There's more? How is there so much more? I'm not complaining. It just keeps going. Okay, so we go over this way. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna sound like Billy Mays soon, you know? Billy Mays here, but wait, there's more. 
if you order Tears of the Kingdom right now, you have a special edition uh, tree branch with my name signed on it. Don't worry, it's only 14 payments of $19.99. Just subscribe now and you won't miss out. Cool. All right, this is like a nice place to like rest if you wanted to, uh, which we don't need to. Uh, chat, was this from a uh, lag there? That was their leg there? And how bad was it? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, it looks like YouTube doesn't like it that I'm being live for eight and a half hours. But it's good now, right? Chat, is it good? Like, we're all good with it? Yeah, okay. All good now? Um, chat, uh, check to see if you're still up to date. If not, just like refresh the, the tab really quick. Uh, just so you're not like a little bit behind. Okay. I was not... Oh, right, okay, that's fine. All right, cool. Thanks, chat. Wanted to make sure. Uh, lag is lag, and it's always annoying. So I just wanted to make sure that we're all good. I want to make sure that you guys are uh, still watching in uh, the best way you can. Nice. I missed. Are you kidding? Oh, there's a lot of them here. Oh, right, because they don't like the uh, the Ganon enemies either. I forgot. They're actually kind of helping us here. Okay. Don't mind me. I will just grab all this wooden shields. All right, we're good. I missed. I, are you kidding me? I missed. There we go. We're good. Uh, I missed. Oh, I got an arrow Kuda eyeball. This eyeball is constantly trying to focus on his targets. Okay, so it's like the same thing to like uh, the Keys eyeballs, but it seems like those eyeballs are a little bit bad. Like, like the arrow Kuda eyeballs are probably a little bit better. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh no, oh Jesus. Okay. So I, was, uh, I was a little scared there for a bit. Probably not used this weapon yet. I still want to uh, finish off the, the Reaper weapon, I think, right now. Almost to the top. We're almost at the top. All right, Tulin, come here. Bridge has a weight limit. Are you calling me fat? Is Tears of the Kingdom calling me fat? Um, excuse me. <laughs> All right, a lot more of these guys. Um, let me just really quick. Nice. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do there. All right, good. Oh, that was a time bomb. Woo! Okay, all right, all right. Calm down. Everyone can calm down here, okay? Guy, everyone calm down. My God, calm down, please. There's too much going on. All right, don't worry, don't worry, everything's fine. Yeah, I, I solved, I solved. Time bomb club. Oh, so, <laughs> okay. You attached a time bomb to your club. That sounds uh, lovely. Sounds wonderful. Sounds great. All right, so if I throw this, it'll go off, but it'll take a little bit. Okay, good to know, good to know. It's down in here. Ooh, watch this. A large zone I try. Oh, that's so worth it. Now I can gamble more. Um, actually, you know what? I can just use a scent here, can't I? Yeah. Are you tired? Uh, it's only like, it's almost 5 p.m. So definitely not. It's almost dinner. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Um. All right, let's make a platform here. Um, let's make a little hot air balloon. 
Uh, they've given us all the, the resources that we need for it, so let's do it. Full hot air balloon. Uh, there's also time bombs for some reason. I am uncomfortable with the thought of putting a time bomb on my uh, on my hot air balloon. I don't know about you guys, but this seem totally safe. Um, could, could be just me, though, you know, honestly. Could just be me. All right, let's put this down here. Blah, blah, and let's go. Good team. That's so cool. All right, and up here is Ascend. <laughs> Just the way his face gets stuck in the bottom is amazing. Like that guy, that has to hurt, right? Like that has to hurt. Oh, we are really close to the top now. I don't even, does this even count as the dungeon? I don't even know if it does. Like, dude, we are so high right now. We are 1,232 units in the air. That's insane. Okay. Let's catch this guy. You can hear the thundering, the rumbles. Sick. We're almost to the top. Oh, more uh, more more time bombs. I, I was I was going to combine that with more five time bombs. We got them. Okay, cool. All the way up, all the way up, right until the end. Oh, here it is. This is my first time flying this high. This hair's pretty cold up here, huh? I'll be fine. But what about you, Link? Make sure you don't freeze, okay? Yep, we already have um, we have times two cold resistance, uh, which is very nice. Uh, I'm so glad I picked up the snow cool set before we got here. That was definitely like totally useful. All right, uh, let me do the shrine here. Let me save. I think we'll need it. And then and then we'll go to, well, what I presume is the dungeon. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Uh, Abby Bagel. Oh, hey. Uh, thanks for the eight months of membership. Thank you. Whoa, what is this? What the heck? Oh. Raru. Oh. <gasps> Raru's blessing. Whoa. What is this? This is gorgeous. Hey, right, a large zone charge. Nice. I'll take that. Wow. Thanks, Raru. Uh, but yeah, Abby, thanks for the channel membership. Appreciate it. Visitor to the Shrine of Lights. Uh, we're going to bestow upon you some more lights. Game of the year. I'll just say it right now. I'll say it right now. Game of the year. Game of the year. Game of the year. Did I mention game of the year? <laughs> I haven't, dude, I'll be honest. Like, I don't really review games or anything. And I don't really like tell you guys if you should buy something or not because I, uh, you know, when I'm still playing it. But let me just tell you, I'm nine hours in the game. It's felt like two. Uh, and I am having the time of my life. This is so fun. Oh my god. Okay. Rising Island Chain. Hebrew Mountain Sky. We are on our way to the giant arc in the sky. Here we go. Oh. A little bit more over this way. We gonna make it? There's so many, so many flying ships up here. Yeah, they really took everything in Breath of the Wild and they're like, yo, hold on. Like, just hold on. <laughs> just like, just like, give me a second. <laughs> I can do it better. Okay. 
So we need to use these to get around and probably get up more. That was close. That was a little close. Yeah, the music, dude. It's it's. It, I can't tell if it's haunting or beautiful. It could be both. Haunting. It's hauntingly beautiful. Some lag. Yeah. Is it still lagging, chat? Okay. It's like we can make a decision here. Um, unfortunately, it seems. Uh, yeah, leg stopped. Uh, okay. So, so I I know about this. So I actually asked YouTube this. Um, like beforehand. Uh, um, I asked my YouTube rep, and I was like, Hey, I'm planning on streaming for a long time. Right. I was like. I was, I'm playing on streaming for a long time with uh, on YouTube, and they're like, "How long? <laughs> Tell us how long." Just asking for a friend, um, and I was like, "Yeah, maybe like ten hours." And they're like, "Are you sure?" <laughs> like, cause like, kind of past eight hours, like it's it's gonna, you know, like you know, the vibe might get a little. And they're like, 10 hours is like a lot. Um, there's no more lag though, right? It's, is it, it's not a, it, uh, is, is it for my mods uh, out there? Is it a huge issue or like we still good? It was like two seconds long. Okay. Alright, here we go. Let's continue. Oh. Here we go. Whoa! Alright, there's another thing here. Hello. Right, this is so cool. We're using these to get to higher and higher heights. Okay. We're literally using all the sky ships. Oh my god, it's amazing. Um, I need to use this next one over here. Um, we'll be fine. Such a cool mechanic. You know the devs were just like, "All right, guys. All right, I got a, I got a great idea. What if we did this?" <laughs> oh my god. And they were just like, "Hold my everything." All right, so it's not it's not huge, but it's, it's yeah. All right, no worries about the lag chat. Just put smiles in chat. You guys are all happy, right? Oh, it's getting it, dude. It is getting snowy out here too. All right, here we go. I wonder if this is the last one. Or do we got more? It looks like actually. Oh, we're almost to the top. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're at the top of the map. The top of Hyrule. Dude, there's not much taller than this. Here we go. Right into the mouth of the storm. Here we go. Oh, look, that's the arc. The Wind Temple! <gasps> the legendary Stormwind Arc! There are dungeons! It's the Wind Temple! Oh my god! That's amazing. <sighs> Another lag spike. Oh, they're getting more frequent. Um, <sighs> okay. It's just like one to two seconds. Okay.
Okay. Uh, wow, so this is what was waiting for us in that huge cloud. This is Stormwind Arc from the kids' song. This is so pretty. It's a full dungeon. Oh, there's Zelda! What is this? What the? That proves it, Link. The blizzard's been pounding. Rito Village is coming from here. Oh, yeah. Didn't I see someone here a minute ago? Yeah, where did Zelda go? Yeah, they were. Zelda was just here. Okay. Okay, so let's activate. Okay, so we can come back here anytime we want, looks like now. The wind temple. I can't believe there's temples, dude. That's so cool. Okay. Oh, it can't it can't move. It can't open. Oh, okay, so there's four gears that we need to unlock here in order for us to actually uh uh open whatever that is. The source of the blizzard is gonna be right under that hatch. Some way we can get it open. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to look at it. Huh. That sound. There it is again. Brave Fletchling. Who are you? There are still five locks securing the hatch five. on the five deck. Locks. Use your power to release all five locks, and the hatch should open. Whoa! Look at this map! Heed my words. Huh. Uh, okay, I heard it for sure this time. Uh, it was calling out to me loud and clear. The source of the blizzard messing up the village has got to be under this hatch. If that voice was right, it'll open once we find a way to release all five locks. We're so close. Come on, Link. Let's go figure out how to op open up those locks. Uh, okay, so let's look at the map. Um... <laughs> oh my god, look. Okay, so it's it's a full dungeon. <gasps> it's a full dungeon, chat. Like it's like a legitimate actual dungeon. Look at this. Look at the floors and everything. This is so cool. Wow. All right, well, I mean, let's let's explore it. Uh let's see what this is all about. So this is the beginning. Like this is the like helm. Uh, and the uh, bow is down over there. Uh, unless I'm right. No, it's the other way. Um, the bow is this way. Um, yeah, the wind temple entrance is right here. That's really cool. So let's go. Yeah, let's go into here uh, because there seems to be some sort of lock under here or over here. Uh, we need to find a way to get inside here. Ah, so you go. Okay, so the way to get inside here is from below. Okay. Uh, let me just, uh, let me just tell you all of everything I'm thinking. Okay. Um, so, okay. So they're, they'll glow like this if it's on the floor. So let's go to that one instead. And then once we're down below, then we can find something later. Sniper. Okay. Yeah. So then if we go inside here, oh, this one's locked though. Okay, so this is locked. How is it locked? Why is it locked? What can I do to make sure it doesn't? Oh, you know what, actually? I wonder if I can, like... Yeah, I can ultra hand this. Can I move it? Oh, I can rotate it. No, but it needs probably something attached to it. Can I, like, knock down an icicle? And then use the icicle as, like, a fusion... And then, can I do this? Oh my god. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. I'm telling you right now, that is crazy. <gasps> yeah, because you needed leverage. Okay, and then to do this, um, I think we need, uh, yeah, two Lin to shoot a gust of wind through it. One of the locks is kind of shaped like a windmill. Yep, all right. Leave it to me. All right, use your gust right here. That's so cool. 
this this is why I love uh, Zelda games is because I feel like the uh, hey Link, puzzles are so intuitive. The locks. We gotta find the other four. Sure, hell yeah. Uh, it's just it seems like all of them are so intuitive, you know. Oh, you can probably tell from this one too. This is this is the uh, other way that you would get it. Cool. It's intuitive. It's fun. It's creative. Uh, and with something like this, it is, um, it's like reading in a way, you know, I don't know. It's like, it's nice. Okay. What is this? Uh, it's a flame emitter spear. Okay, so hard as I do. Don't I charge? And I'm I don't know. I really, really love Zelda games, man. I love them so much. Okay. They're so neat. Okay. <laughs> I just want to open those then. Uh, all right. So that we we found both of those. Um, we found here. So now the next thing we probably need to do is find a way to get deeper into the uh, actual ship. Because the only way that we'll get the one at the bottom is if we go down from below, right? So if we look at B1, we could probably see where the entrances are to it. Um, so I wonder if we can do something here. Or maybe like up and around. Uh, there's probably a couple different spots that you can get down, um, but we'll uh, we'll check them out in a second. You know. Uh, by the way, I uh, don't want any help um, with any of this, uh, in case that's not obvious. I want to figure it out for myself, um, and that's like that's like part of the fun here. Uh, so just like, I'll I'll be voicing my questions, concerns, comments, and all that, um, but just like, uh, let me figure it out. You know. <laughs> Uh, just like enjoy it. I don't know, like smile, put a paw on yourself, you know? Uh, and chill. Uh, sturdy lawn stick. High durability because it comes from the hardest part of the tree. Uh, I actually want to do something here. Uh, I want to, with a sturdy lawn stick, seems pretty good. Uh, I want to attach, uh, like a boss bacoblin horn. That seems kind of fun. Uh, so I want to go here, do this, and then I'll fuse. And then fuse here. Yeah. A nice uh, 14 spear. That seems pretty good. Oh, and there's... Okay. We found our way to a lower area. Nice. I'm glad we did. Okay. And then to do this, we need heat. Now, is there a better way of... Well, actually, there is a really good way of, of doing heat. I am, I can't believe I have not done this. Um, or I haven't thought about this in a hot second. Um, where is it? Yeah, right here. Yeah, we should drop a flame emitter and then fuse that with... Um, and I love doing this uh, with the pot. Mix. It just like is very convenient. Yeah, should have done that a lot earlier, you know. Uh, wait, not ascend. I want to do ultra hand. So nice, so cool. Um, okay, we can like take this now. Wonder that does anything for us? Okay. Probably not. Um, this does not also do anything for us right now. Oh, a Zonite shield. Uh, lowers the energy consumption of an attached Zonite device. That would have been nice to have five seconds ago. But that's a really cool idea. Okay. Um, so I'm assuming I can use a set here. Yeah. To get back up. Because uh, that's not going to lead us anywhere. Or I don't think so. Uh, let me let me double check here on my map. No, but I don't believe that was actually going to lead us anywhere. Yeah, it wasn't. Um, oh, we can go through the side? Oh, we totally... Oh, we totally can. Ah, ha! Hey, it pays to look... At... Okay, well, we could have gone from the side if we wanted to. Like, it pays to look at the map. Uh, it's, it says the guy who does not look at the map. Oh, but we can go through uh, there. Wait, there's, there's a spot here. Wait, let, let me take a look. Let me, let, 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 let me take a look. Uh, hello. That's concerning. That's like actually extremely concerning, but we'll take it. Uh, bomb. I need more bomb flowers. Those are extremely good. Okay. Jeez. Okay. All right. Jeez. All right. <laughs> Calm down. We can talk this out. We can talk this out. We're all in this to get... No? Okay. No, it's just like, maybe if we break out in the song, they'll like it. <laughs> Worth a try. Okay. 
Oh, I think it was two Lin who got caught. That's why. Woo! Just barely missed. Okay, we're good. And then we go inside here and please, 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 please. please. We made it. Thank God. Okay. So now we're back in and it looks like we're in a good spot too. Hi, Keys. Woo! Two Keys with one stone. Nice. Uh, alrighty. So there's a way to get in here. Okay, that's just annoying. Um, there's a way to get in here to get this thing. Uh, and I wonder how we could do that. What's, what's the way? What's the way? Uh, I, I'm assuming I can't just, like, ultra hand it. No. And I can't fit through there myself, I don't think. Um, can I, like, take one of these? <laughs> Maybe. This, this might be really stupid, you know? Um, take one of these. And, like... Oh my god. And then attach it. <gasps> and then you take the attached. Oh my god, that's so cool. That's so neat, dude. <gasps> that's such a fun idea. Puzzles, baby. Then you open it. All right, sapphire uh, contained the very essence of ice. Okay. All right, that's a, that was a cool puzzle. Okay. All right, let me do this. So we go back in time so I can go over the other way. Oh, I guess that, works. that works. Okay, uh, let me drop this. More zone I charge and everything else. Okay, so I want to be able to open this gate now. And to open this gate, we have these gears turning. And that seems to be it. Um, these gears turning. So, in order to make these other gears turn, how do we do this? Can I just move this? Or I can't move this. Can I move this? I... Can I rotate it myself? I cannot. Okay. Then how... I need something to connect the two, like an icicle. Um, I need something to connect the two. I think, I think that's the solution here, uh, rather than try to uh, take one and the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We fuse one part of the icicle to the other part here. I think that's the, the way. Okay, this icicle is cool. Oh, oh, you just do it like this, right? And so then it pushes to the side. Yeah, that works. Nice. Cool. Oh, and then we got the uh, we got the other terminal. All right, perfect. Or the uh, the the hatch, whatever you want to call it. Huge. Okay, cool. That's uh, number two of five, I believe. Two of five. Three more to go. Yep. Three more to go. We can do it. Uh, let's see. Let's. Then how do you get back? So what does this open up to? Probably the outside. Yep. Good to go. Nice. I'm glad you guys are liking this. This is what I really love about Zelda games is like coming up with all the solutions, all the problems. Um, it really makes my brain go burr, you know? Really, really adds that enjoyment. Avoid that. All right, let's go to the other side of the uh, uh, ship then. Uh, other side of the ship should have, um, I think, one or two different other hatches too. Um, depending on uh, the actual like solutions or problems here. Okay. So how do we get into the other side of the ship? That's the next question. Um, well, it seems to be open, so that's good. Good, good first. Thing. Um, is that it is open? And there are lasers. Oh, okay. And you have, like, fire arrows. Okay. You know. Oh, you have fire fruit attached to it. That makes sense. Um, all right. So, let's take a look at the map here. Um, if we go down uh, this way, right, where I'm looking, uh, there seems to be, like, an area that we will be able to get. Oh, this is that, that one. 
There's a middle area and then one up here. So let's go, let's go over here, uh, and then we'll like double back for the rest. Uh, make it a little bit more efficient, you know. Okay, so what does this do? Um, I'm definitely gonna trip it with my <laughs> with my shield here. Um, so I wonder if I can like do a weird like shield jump. It's not intended. It doesn't look like. Okay. Uh, the Vault Master, thanks so much for the channel membership. Cameron, thanks for the membership as well. Thank you. Okay, let me try this again. Let me shield surf over it. Okay, really? Are you kidding me right now? Are you serious? Is this the intended solution? Probably not, no. But is it fun? Yes. Okay. Let's go in, and then... Uh, Are you kidding? Are you? Oh God, okay, we're good. I mean, I did it. I did it. We're good. We're fine. Everything's fine. We're good. Nice. Go team. Yeah. Huh? Easy. Is this actually gonna work? I. Are you? Are you serious? Are you kidding me? I didn't have to do that. I could have just walked up. I could have just walked under. I could have walked under. I could have just done that. The other area is in here, but this is from below, so we can't actually access this yet. Um, let me do this. Uh, nothing else here. Okay. All right, let's go through. Um, the other... Oh. This is to go down. You know what? Um, yeah, I do want to do Go down a little bit farther. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm so glad they have, I'm so glad they have, uh, they, they brought back dungeons. That's such a cool, cool, uh, mission here. Okay. So I can't come, I can't go down here yet. Okay. It's such, it's such a, like the way to get to the dungeon was so much fun and so cool to like see what's going on. But then not only that, the actual dungeon itself is really neat. It scratches an itch, you know, you feel me? Okay, all right, what's over here? Uh, we got some portable pops, uh, pots and a time bomb. I wonder if you can like, can you thaw the wall? You can't thaw the wall. Okay, you in, I need you out. Oh, shoot. We got it, we're good, everything's fine. I did that, yep, we're fine. Literally not even worried, honestly. Like imagine being worried about that. That would've been crazy. That would've been crazy, dude. Yeah, the fact that you have an NPC with you as well is super cool. Okay, uh, was that my? No, that was that was this. that was my bow. Okay, there's a ruby here, which leads me to believe that we're going to be dealing with some fire stuff in a second. Um, the construct bow. When I charge and a horn. The horns are really nice. Uh, stone shard guster. I don't. Uh, okay. So what is so special about this is I'm gonna send up here. All right. Nice. That was so cool. All right. Let me do a Zonite uh, shield, and then uh, do Zonite devices. Uh, and then L. I didn't mean to make you use Gust, but I'll take it anyways. Okay, so now we're back up here um, in this weird area. Okay. How do we get this out? Oh, we can just like stone shard it up, but like we can also... Can we alter hand this? Okay. That'd be really funny if it made you actually like... Um, like fuse weapons, like specifically. Kind of cool. Uh, a Captain One Reaper. I do want this, actually. I want this over this. That's a really nice sword. What the hell is this? Okay. 
Um, we have to do something with... Oh, yeah, we have to turn this somehow to get into there. Um, all right. I, oh, I see what we need to do. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. So what we need to do here is we need to create fan blades um, for, for this. And then we use two winds gust um, uh, to be able to actually um, yeah, use it. You know, I wonder if you can just do it with two. Uh, fan blades? Might be good enough. Actually, I don't think you need to lit. I think you could just use like Zonai uh, stuff. But let me let me let me try. Nice. We'll oh, puzzle. We'll oh, puzzle. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. Okay, nice. Hello, Tulin. Hey, come over here. Come on. That was a cool puzzle. I like that a lot. It, it, it's like the game is making you really use Fuse and Ultra Hand and everything else just all simultaneously, all as one. And it's so satisfying to like see that. Two to go. We're almost done, Link. All right. Three down, two to go. Um, all righty. All righty. So there was one here, which I could not get access to. Um, and then the B second floor. Now I got to figure out how these work here. Like what? Like who's? All right, that was a chest. Nice. Um, I got to figure out where to go uh, to get those. Soldier two spear. I want that a lot, actually. I want that a ton. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's see. Where should we go from here? The second floor. Uh, down over this way, I think. We'll have to figure it out. Okay. All right. So that was a, a cool puzzle here. Cool puzzle. Cool puzzle. Huh. So the next one, um, I need to make sure I'm doing this. I wouldn't say... Wait. Can I lift this up? I can't lift that up. Ooh, I like the music. So the next one is in here. No, no. It's the second floor in there. And there's one on the second. All right. I need to figure out how to get these last two. God, what a dude! What a what a cool game! Oh, I'm gonna scream. This is so much fun. Um, I can just go up here to remain. Fine. Work. Hello. And goodbye. All right, strong comes. Okay, so I need to figure out how to get over there. So I'm thinking it's probably to do with like all the way up top, um, in order to, to do that because because it's in here. We do B, yeah, B one. It's like right there with like a turbine engine. So I'm thinking that you, the way you do it is you find, like, you go through the top. Normally, you're thinking about, like, doing something like a scent, right? So it would be a little counterintuitive to go from the top. So that's probably, like, part of the actual puzzle itself. You know. Uh, wait, what is this? I know the bro. Okay. Um, all right, here we go. How do we do this? Um, I think we have to rely on these guys. Do it. Yeah, I think we do. I think that's that's like probably the prime the, the primary reason why they're here. I mean, obviously to catch you and everything, but it's like right they're situated right here. It seems a little odd. Yeah, there's doors. There's doors. You see the doors? Okay. So this is uh, Ultra Hand status. Yeah! Oh my god, so cool. All right, we got it. Nice. I, 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 I got that right. Okay, up from above. Oh, hello. Okay, oh my god. Oh my god. Hello. Goodbye. Let me just eat, like, every single thing in the entire world. Uh, I want to save those fish for later. Um, okay, what do I have an abundance of right now? 
Uh, mushrooms, for sure. Kill shrimp. That was not the mushroom I wanted to eat. That's cool, though. All right. Now, if we go through here, and then... Oh, and then a little bit up into here. Oh, that's a uh, chest. But it's not the actual thing we want. Uh, which is a little bit behind us. Okay. Uh, soldier's Blade. We'll drop this. Does Eric know the puzzles beforehand? This is the first playthrough. It's the first playthrough. Huh? But I'm I'm flattered though. Thank you. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, so we just crossed here, and this is the last. Uh, or no, the second to last. Uh, turbine. Yeah, I'm flattered. Thanks, guys. We only have one left. All right, last one. Uh, all right. So the last one is in, yeah, it's B second floor. So how do I get to the second floor here? There's entrances from the... Do you go underneath? I mean, we went, we went above for this one. Do you have to go underneath? I wonder. Let me try it like this, actually. Okay. So I'm going to use uh, Recall. Um, to do this. Pause it for a second. Go. Yeah. How now? How do you go underneath? Leave it to me. How do you do this? <laughs> hmm. How do you go underneath? I have... Oh, all right. I have an idea. It's not a good idea, but remember I was uh, remarking a little bit on how these side platforms were a little bit weird? It is possible that we can build something on the side platform. Uh, to help us go underneath the actual, uh, ship. Uh, Lord Zonite. Okay, cool. But what would we build is the question. We haven't really used any building materials here. Uh, Zonite stuff here. Um. Glider? This... Actually, sounds really dumb. But a glider and a fan, I think. Okay. Um. Okay. Don't, 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 don't shoot me. 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 Okay. Um, a glider and a fan. So I feel like I'm gonna glide out and then fan on top of it. That's my plan currently. And we'll attach the fan to the glider. Okay. Um, and then... Yes. That was... That... Hmm... Might not be it. air balloon that might be the way to go i wish i could push this glider can i all right this one's stumping me a little bit here how do i get uh from below i mean it literally could just be balloon 
I think it could be just Berlin. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Take out the vice. I'll put... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, and then rotate. Uh, let me attach it to the... Yeah, here. Okay. This might be really stupid, but I kind of like my odds here. Uh, and if this works, it's hilarious. Pretty cool. Okay. Then can I do... Okay. Fire it up. I go forward. I can't. Oh, it's going to run out anyways. Okay. All right, let me try this though. This might be the, this might actually be the way to do it. Um, is just jump, but I um, think that's boring. So, uh, I was right. <laughs> I was right. You're just supposed to jump. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at me overcomplicating things. Oh, but like, come on. Think, think about like, think about my solution. I think my solution was pretty cool. Uh, a Zonite sword. I do want this for later, I think. Yeah, over the icicle sword. Okay. All right, come on, Tulin. This is the uh, the last one. Here we go. Uh, uh, yes. All right, last one. Here we go. Tulin of Riedel Village. Uh, let's see. We got this. All right, Tulin, come here. Oh, uh, you didn't charge up. That's probably okay. Oh, the soundtrack. God, dude, these dungeons, man. It's so cool. Oh, there's another cannon up there. Why didn't I see that cannon? That's crazy. All right, here we go. Let me save really quick. This is most definitely a boss battle, and I only have four hearts. <laughs> but you know what? I like the difficulty. Let's do it. What's beneath the hatch? What's causing this blizzard? Oh, what is this? This is the strings. Oh. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. What is this thing? What is that thing? Okay, okay. There's some weak spots on it. There's three of them. Bulgara, scourge of the Wind Temple. Dude, it's like a dude. Oh, it's like a. It's a typical Zelda. Oh, okay, okay. This wind is so strong. Don't get me going away, Link. Can I like do that? Is that no, okay, I need to somehow Leave it to me. Um do bomb arrows work probably? From below. Okay. Uh wait, can I like time bomb this thing? I totally can. That's not gonna work though. Uh no it did, it did, it did it did work, it did work. Just heavy item. Heavy item. 
Uh, time bombs do work. Oh, I got the other one, though. That was... Dude, that was a crazy shot. What is it doing? What? What? The, oh, my God! <laughs> okay. Oh, but that... No, that's perfect, though, because I can hit it now. Um, let me hit it with something that's a little bit more substantial, like, um, a bomb arrow. Where is the bomb arrow? Wow, 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 where is the bomb? There's so many. Okay, there we go, bomb flower. Okay, great. Ooh, okay, a little bit too late, a little bit too late. Woo, one down! One down! Okay. Okay. Drop. Stop, drop, and roll. Okay. Um, I want to... Does it matter what I do this with? Let's see. What's, like, a good thing to throw? It has to be something probably, like, a little bit heavy. Like, heavy duty, right? Um, Like a Zoanite? Honestly. Sure. Let's do that. I oh, you know what? You know what? Probably fire. That's... I'm stupid. It's probably fire. That's probably, like, a good idea for this. Uh, do I have anything that can shoot fire? I have some fire fruits. Okay. I missed. Okay. Up here. Blows. Come on. There it is. A second? A second? Nice! Got it! That was huge! Okay, there's another up here. Is that it? Ooh! Damn! He's a sniper! Is there a phase two? There's definitely a phase two, isn't there? No? Did we kill him? Oh, there's a phase two. Yeah! He's back. And with tempests. Okay, that's wonderful. Thank you for that. Okay. I missed. Really? Both? Nice. Okay. Okay, I don't have any more fire arrows. That's probably okay, right? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Okay, nice. Nice! That was huge. Okay, I just need to shoot them. Okay, nice. There's another coming. Oh, he's probably coming up, isn't he? From below? Oh, he's not from below! He's from in the below! Okay, but I can still shoot him like this, right? I don't have any arrows. I don't have any arrows. I don't have any arrows? Huh? Can I get more? Oh, the... How do I... I guess I can throw a weapon? That also works, probably. Dude, the music is intense. Okay. I'll just use this. Okay. Alright, I don't have any more arrows. So I'll just throw weapons, I guess? Oh, no, I can't. Yeah, wait, what happens if I don't have any more arrows? Like, what, what do I do in that case? I can't throw anything. I didn't think it would run out. <laughs> I'm 
don't take damage here. What? Like, genuinely, what do I do in this situation? This is this is not going as planned. I thought I had way more arrows than I actually do. Just give me the word. Hello. No, oh, this is. Oh, is that here? Okay. Uh, hello. Okay, yeah. No. Um, do I just like explore the dungeon really fast for more arrows? <laughs> like, no, no. I'll just give me a second. Uh, Colgara, give me, give me one second. All right, let me just like. <laughs> oh, give me a break. All right, I just, I just, I need to do something real quick. Okay. Um. Oh, more arrows. Nice. There we go. Okay. I'm back. <laughs> Okay, don't worry, I can do this now. I'm, I'm good. Uh, you don't have to wait for me any, any longer, uh, Golgara. I'm good. I'm fine. I'm fine now. Where are you at? Oh, uh, you're up here. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I see you're still doing well, you know, after our last uh, first couple. Uh, okay, let me book Hobbins on this. Oh, please, please tell me I'm not going to miss all of these shots. Okay, I definitely can't miss this shot. There we go. Here we go. Oh, and last shot. We did it. <laughs> Just don't mind the uh, little little thing we had in the middle there. Little skirt uh, kerfuffle. There we go. First boss down, Polgara. Wow. Oh, dude. Yeah, what is this win? I'm so happy with this dungeon, man. That was so cool. Wow. Got like a lotus flower with the tear on top. That's crazy. Dude, dude, that is a that was so fun. Alright, heart container. That was such a fun experience. That was really cool. Alright, let me save. What a good game, dude. What a good game. Okay. Hello. Hi, Tulin. So what is this? Oh, is Tulin getting the tear? memory too late oh my brave fledgling i know that voice it's you you're the one who's been guiding us who are you oh yes. <laughs> your ancestor from a time long ago damn i proudly served hyrule's first king i was a rito warrior and a sage with control of the wind. Where you fight, the winds follow. 
I would expect nothing the less first from Rito. my descendant. You like make old, me old Rito. That monster you defeated, the source of that intense blizzard, it was summoned by the Demon King. He thought he could stop you from obtaining the stone you just found. My secret stone. Demon King? Secret stone? I think we know who the Demon this King is. This is a lot to learn all of a sudden. I, I want, yeah. I'm so excited. But listen while I tell you what happened in the past. A tale of the imprisoning war. And the mission our people must accomplish. Years ago, when the kingdom of Hyrule was still young, Whoa. A great evil, the Demon King, descended on the land. He sought to wipe out anyone who opposed him. Damn! But Raru, the first king of Hyrule, requested my aid, as well as that of five other warriors, Whoa. to help in the fight. Raru entrusted us with amazing art. Zelda? Why is Zelda Secret there? Secret stones. Objects that amplified our formidable abilities. I carried one into battle as the Sage of Wind. I was thrilling to fight alongside my fellow sages. Yet we were still no match for the Demon King's overwhelming power. His magic was staggering, and I was unable to slip past his defenses no matter how hard I tried. In the end... Wow. King Raru realized that we would not be able to defeat the demon king. You can see, oh my god. To save our world, King Raru sacrificed himself and sealed the demon king away. The masks are the same masks, or so that I, I, was the I, as, the, war. as the Sheikah masks. For Vometo, Varuda, uh, Va Naboris, like, like all, all of them. Varudania. The rest of us survived that climactic battle. The Sheikah masks and I would soon based on this. A visitor with a what? request that would define the future of the Rito. That's Zelda. Why is she here? It was another of the six sages. The Sage of Time. Sages. The Demon King will return. The magic binding him will be undone. She is time traveling. When that time comes, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. Link will only succeed with the Rito's help. Summon the winds and support this hero. It was clear what part the Rito would play. It will be an honor to defeat the Demon King. I swear Dude. to you that when the Demon King returns, the Rito Sage of Wind will awaken once more. And you can count on the full support of the Rito. Wow. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. So and Zelda you know is the sage the of time. War and a mission I accepted on our behalf. You've saved Rito Village, but there's more to do. The Demon King will soon recover his full strength. Tulin, my brave fledgling, you must take up my secret stone and honor the Sage of Time's request. Fight the Demon King with the Swordsman Link. Hell yeah, we will. Hell yeah, brother. Let's go. <laughs> so hyped so I turned Southern. Mission, to fight the Demon King with you? As the Sage of the Wind. <sighs> Zelda's the Sage of Time. She's gone back in the past. Link. To this tell everybody so, about this. So amazing! I can't believe my ancestor gave me such an important mission, and it involves fighting alongside you to save the world. And when the when we did the Master Sword, the Master Sword went anything, back in time. Then the world is going to be in big trouble. I can't let that happen. I'll do this. I'll happily take this secret stone. There's so much information here. Wow.
what? Huh? That's so cool! Link, hold out your hand. Sage of Wind, swear to fight by your side until the end. Take this. It's proof that I'm with you. We get another power. <laughs> Just do <laughs> That's so cool, dude. That's so cool. We're collecting all the infinity stones. That's what we're doing here. We got the pinky stone. Now, what does this let me do? Can I summon gusts of winds anywhere I want now? I can summon two Lin. That's so cool. Oh my God, that's badass. The colors too. The, you can the, the use that ring to call on my power anytime. All right. Hell yeah, two Lin. Okay, let's head back to the village and tell Dad. Okay, so there's a lot to unpack right there. Um, but like, I'll summarize it uh, in a second. Um, it it maybe like a little bit longer than a second. I could have actually like summarized it right there while we were loading. Um, but now I'm afraid that it'll load faster and then I won't finish once I start. All right, this is awkward. There it is. All right. Heading back to Rito Village. Tiba. Hmm? Tiba? Tiba? Tiba. Uh -huh. ah. It stopped. The blizzard's gone. Oh. It's actually hot now. Wow, okay, that's really hot. You don't want it to be melting that fast. This should be scorching right now. Things are on fire. That is way, way too hot. <laughs> Like, it, that, that stuff would melt over the course of, like, a day, maybe a couple days. <laughs> but so pretty. Wow! And all the Rito are back. I guess that's why we only saw children in the village, because all of the adult Rito were going around trying to get food for all their children. That makes sense. We solved that mystery. And looks like we kind of solved the mystery of Zelda, too. Uh, well, at least we know what she's doing. We just don't know where she is. Well, actually, we know she's she's in the past. Oh, you guys, you did it! <laughs> yeah, it turns out it was easy once we started working together. Mm. Mm. This was no small feat. <sighs> I still can't believe the Stormwind arc from the children's song was real. Uh -huh. Me neither. You could have knocked me over with a feather. Oh, is that the great eagle bow? For a job well done, Tulin. Huh. Wait, what? This bow meant so much to you, and you're, now you're giving it to me? Hmm. That's... Man, we we saw that from Rivali. It was passed down to Tiba, and it's now passed down to Tulin. It's a multi-generational game. That's so cool, dude. Oh, God. It was only my intention to give it to you once you became a warrior. Dad. Thank you. Oh, and the song's back to normal. I'll prove to you. I'll become a warrior worthy of wielding it. Hmm. Hey, Link. That woman in the vision my ancestor showed us. She Didn't she look just like Princess Zelda to you? Yeah. Huh. You think that was the real princess? I mean, it seemed like a long, long time ago. Hmm. Still a bunch of unanswered questions. Uh -huh. I gotta know more about the figure we saw in the Stormwind Arc, so I'm gonna go look into it personally. Next time you see me, I'll have more information about Princess Zelda. So check in with me sometime, okay? Mm -hmm. And remember, with my sage's power, the two of us can keep working together no matter what. And we got the Vow of Two Lin, Sage of the Wind. <sighs> Damn. That's so cool. Two Lin of Rito Village. 
and us with our pack mule. My god. Okay, so we found out here in, in this dungeon that there's the seven sages, us being, I think, the seven, six sages, right? So there's the six sages, and um, one of them is the Sage of Wind, who we just saw bequeath their power onto Tulin. But the other one is the Sage of Time, which happens to be Zelda from our timeline. Zelda, uh, when she touched that uh, tier in the Temple of Time, uh, or sorry, when she touched that tier underneath Hyrule Castle, um, teleported into the past. Uh, and be what she's doing now in the past is warning everybody in Hyrule that the Demon King is coming. And that later, way, way later in the future, if he ever comes back to trust Link, that's so cool. Uh, let me fix the crocus. Oh, sorry. Um, that is so cool. Um, un momento. Un momento. One second. One second. Um, restarting. Snap, crackle, pop, rice, krispies. Uh, yeah, sorry about the uh, audio uh, snapping and crackling during that cutscene. Still got to find a fix for it, um, unfortunately. But happens every couple hours, looks like. Anyways, so uh, that's sort of what's been going on. So we now know the Sage of Wind, the Sage of Time. Um, looks like there's, uh, well, there's three other regional phenomena that are happening around here. And, uh... Damn, uh, we gotta we gotta find them all. I mean, we we discovered uh, the sky, the surface, the depths. There's so many neat things that are happening here, and I'm I'm absolutely incredibly excited to play more of this. Um, so uh, yeah, I mean, oh, is this is this a, a geoglyph here too? Oh, Impus. Okay, uh, so hey, you know we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're going to uh, next time, uh, we're going to wait. Well, uh, next. We're going to go uh, on the surface, and we're going to uh, kind of explore what this regional phenomena is around Death Mountain, with all of the gloom, the malice spitting from uh, the caldera. Uh, absolutely crazy. Uh, subscribe. All right, so chat, uh, that's going to be the end of stream today. Uh, it's almost I've, I've been live for almost 10 hours. Uh, can you believe it? Uh, as much as I want to keep going, um, I am, uh, what we've been doing while, while this, um, first off, I'm going to be live tomorrow, 8 a.m. Pacific time. We're going to be playing more tomorrow, like within like 12 hours. Well, a little bit past 12 hours, but still, um, I'm going to be live tomorrow at 8 a.m. Pacific time, but, uh, tonight, tonight, if you want to see all 10 hours of today's stream edited down into one video, it'll be available tonight. Um, so if you wanted to see how we got here, everything else, because I'm willing to bet most of you did not spend 10 hours watching, uh, the video is out tonight, okay? Um, so go watch it. That'll be available. Subscribe so you know when that's live. Um, shout-outs to the editors. Can we say thank you to the editors? Shout-outs to Abby. Uh, shout-outs to uh, uh, Nance. Uh, shout-outs to uh, literally everyone from Keep Point Crow uh, for helping uh, uh, out with this whole production. Um, and, uh, and all that. So um, just want to say thank you. And thank you guys for watching. Uh, once again, I'll be live all weekend. Um, I'll be live probably the beginning of next week as well. I'll just keep letting you know more and more and more and more and more. Um, and we'll keep playing more Tears of the Kingdom until we finish. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy being along for the casual playthrough as it is. Uh, and then we'll do some uh, kind of uh, crazy thing. So, all right, chat. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for, for stopping by. Thanks for being here. Um, I'll see you guys later. Bye, chat.